well, we're playing Mongolia. So Mongolia is a, a cool, if not, I mean, they're, they're a cool civilization. They've got some really interesting stuff that's going on. So first and foremost, it's Mongolia. They have their ability Mongol Terror. Combat strength plus 30% when fighting a city-state units or attacking a city-state itself. And all mounted units have plus one movement. Plus one movement for mounted units is kind of good, actually. It's really interesting. Plus 30% combat strength when fighting city-states is pretty inconsequential. It's really easy to kill city-states even on deity. So having that plus 30% is not like the best thing in the world, but I guess it means that you can use combos instead of crossbowmen if you really want to beat up on beat up on city-states. The problem really with Genghis's ability is that killing city-states... Killing city-states when playing with the Dirty AI is just asking to get double teamed. The Dirty AI hates you for killing city-states for some reason. So if we were to go and conquer a city-state, that would pretty much just spell our imminent doom. However, the, the Mongolians have some interesting units. So I think the one thing to point out, and I don't know that we can see the general on here, but the highlight really of the Mongol civilization is this, the Keshik. The Keshik has 16 range combat strength and it's a knight replacement. And it gets you, I think, what does it do? It earns promotions 50% faster and it has more, you. it has increased, I guess, movement and it has a ranged attack and it can move after attacking. So if anyone has seen the Camel Archers, Keshiks are basically weaker Camel Archers, but they gain experience faster and they can move a bit further, which has its own benefits. Camels are just exceptionally OP because they're 21 combat strength, but the Keshik does have... 16 combat strength so it's not the end of the world so something for us to use and then they also have a unique great general which has some bonuses that i don't quite remember right now but when we do generate one we'll have a look and i'll show you what it is you know, back to chat mike like says you can punish the city states with knights like mr swift did lol he's referencing a game where we we got we just got wrecked by swift having like eight knight upgrades in a multiplayer game once Yeah, yeah, Guren says discount camels, exactly. They're like discount camels. But yeah, so all Mongolian mounted units do have extra movement. Indeed, they do, Black Vegetable, you're correct. I don't think there's any reason to move on this start. We're on a river. We can't really settle on a good hill. If we move down here, we just kind of move away from our starting position, which is actually okay. And we can't see what's on here before moving up to it. We also start next to a wheat if we start right here. I hate this. Anytime you see coast on turn zero on Civilization 5, you should almost always move to it. But in this situation, I don't think we need to move to it. But Genghis Khan, we're going to conquer some people. Why, why bother settling for a SimCity? YOLO. Let's settle right here. That is the least YOLO thing I've ever done, but I did say YOLO for it. <laughs> so, oops. And then we're on... Are we on quick game pace or standard? We're on standard game pace. Noted. Okay. We can take pottery again. We probably will want a granary for the wheat. We see no faith pantheon, sadly. But that's okay. You're moving around. Nizov says, the starting location is usually good with Genghis, given their start bias. Yeah, their start isn't really that bad. I've heard Genghis just tends to end up in a lot of plain starts like this, which is actually quite decent. There are certainly worse starts you can get for sure. We actually should have gone up onto this hill here. Moving down here made no difference. I wouldn't have minded a coastal start here, but trouble is going coastal makes our capital really bad. Probably need two scouts to start. So let's get a second one. The more standard opening build order than the one we're using is Venice. Our regional luxury is again incense. I'm pretty sure we can settle. We should be able to settle a couple of observatory cities here. I mean, I don't know that we settle an observatory here, but we've got this silver down here, which needs to be settled. Probably right here. On the lake, next to the silver, close to the bananas, looks good. And then something up here, right in between the mountains for an observatory. <laughs> but Vegetable says, what, what do you mean no faith production? There is wine and incense. I mean, there is wine and incense, but is that is that a good pantheon? I don't think it is. We've only got one copy in the capital as well. With... With faith pantheons, you really want to... If you're going to take something to work faith, it's really something that you want to be able to work quite a lot of in your capital. That's the one... That's the place that's going to be able to work the faith quite a lot. We've met America already down here. And so the problem with this... The incense pantheon is that incense is our regional, but we've got one copy in the cap. So that means we're not going to be able to get much faith from it. 
And instead, we could choose something like... There's Ashurbanipal down here. Instead, we can choose just something... I mean, we probably just don't want to build a shrine here, at least straight away. And go straight into a granary. Here's Assyria. We found Mount Kailash. Is this a settler production start? It's a 13 turn settler. I don't think it is. Let's reveal a horse. Once we reveal our plane's horses, this could be a settler production start. But yeah, because the standard is nice. Keshik's irrelevant for longer, indeed. It's, um... Oh, wow. If we'd actually moved to the coast, we'd have had pearls on two fish. Still, I don't think doesn't make that city worth settling, but it's good to know, I guess. And there's Vancouver in here. So Vancouver could be getting Mount Kailash. Let's reveal horses, and if horses come up with something useful, maybe we can build a settler. So if we can claim our ruins, we're going to beat Americans to this one by one turn. A pop ruin would be great right now. Oh, nice. Okay, we got a pop ruin. Perfect. Well, why don't we just produce a settler then? I mean, this isn't actually good settler production. We probably should still build the granary. Because the settler production is truly garbage right now. As much as I'd like to rush for this, it's going to be a few turns before Vancouver's borders expand to uh, here. The city state up there that we can meet. No food in this start, but that's why we're going for a granary. I'm at the Iroquois now. And the Barb Camp. Yeah, Black Vegetable says city states rarely expand to mountains quickly. Exactly. That's what I'm hoping for. And that'll mean that we get a Kailash. And we can just go plop a city right in here. It's an ob observatory city. We can probably plop it right against this mountain here. And then just one tile purchase for Kailash. We've met Yerevan. That's a cultural city state nearby. Hopefully, we can get them as allies. But Mike says, clearly drawn map. GG, that's a W. <laughs> Game changing ocean tiles revealed. I know. Oh, we have two horse tiles in the capital. So we can... I mean, we're two turns away from a granary right now. But I don't think it makes sense to grow. We can probably just not build the granary. Go immediately into settler production. Or do we just build the granary and have that help? I guess it's two turns away. But yeah, Black Vegetable says, Having said, I might be tempted to settler straight away. Yeah, the problem really from doing the settler straight away is that, like, our capital is going to be really bad. It's got no growth, and it doesn't really have a lot of production to get the settler out faster, which inevitably means that it's pretty terrible. I haven't even opened tradition yet. A monument would have been good right now as well. I guess we'll just have to live with this. It's fine. We'll finish the granary and see what it takes to grow. Let's keep exploring. We actually probably need to explore a bit around our starting area to see if there's any more settled locations. Let's get all this. And we're on to settler now that we finished the granary. It's a 10 turn build. What if we don't build a settler? It's 9 turn growth. I feel like we. I, I feel like I don't want to lose the spot. It's now down to 10 turns, which is much more reasonable. We actually did get a production out of building that granary. I guess the set is much more reasonable. Oh, not Venice, says Booker. Of course, I forgot. Not Venice. There we go. In fact... Oh, I was going to do an exclamation mark or a question mark, but it doesn't work. Oh, we can do an exclamation mark. There we go. Not Venice. Thank you for letting me know about not Venice and... So let's take a sip of your beverage, Booker. Thanks for keeping me hydrated. Go and ask ally them, meaning annex them as Mongolia, right? <laughs> Lol. Uh, I, I'm glad to see the warmonger in you is back. But I'm pretty sure we're actually talking about friending them. This is three city something as Mongolia, and I don't know what it is yet. But it's definitely three city something. Oh, the Black Vegetable says, being frugal is good, but I will get those horses for the settler production. Yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, I did intend to buy one. I didn't intend to buy both, but I didn't intend to buy one. Thanks for letting me know. 
So Barb Camp in there. We need a worker. I'm tempted to try and take something of America's here. It's been a long time. But yeah, Odessa Rick says, wow, what a great start. But why just one luxury? That's true, actually. I didn't even notice, but you're right. We're one luxury in the capital. Uh, we actually don't want to. Let's see if we can steal something from America. Need calendar for our incense. I didn't notice that we were one luxing. Oh, Sophia. Hello. Maybe we can have there. We should probably just take Yerevan's worker. But we're now a bit out of position with all of our stuff. I don't think we will be, though. Let's try and get Yerevan's worker. Sophia's worker will be okay, but it's a really, really long trek through here. now open tradition there's not really any reason to take anything else because we're not seeing we're not thinking about doing much of our start although another reason why i didn't buy the horses because we do need the gold to get the kailash and we now don't have it which sucks and we're not going to have enough gold to get the mount kailash now let's heal Actually, probably need to come back here and heal. And then... Ah, uh, that must have been the reason why I changed my mind earlier. We won't actually have enough gold to purchase Mount Kailash. We're just kind of living on a dream now. But no, Venice is done with the settler. We need to work some gold. So that we can actually get the Mount Kailash. And then build a worker because we're a bit short. Maybe we even need a monument. But you're not sure. But it will be important to get the copper. <laughs> Mike says, uh, don't need happiness. War makes us happy. That's kind of funny. But yeah, get that selling now. The people demand a religion, says Nizef. Long, nice. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, there's a lot. I, don't, I really don't know the approach to this. Because we've now given up being able to settle here, possibly. And we need gold to be able to buy this Kailash. We won't have any monuments either to make this thing cheaper soon. So we're kind of stuck right now. So we don't get killed by the warrior. It did actually die. We need a city-state. I think we've got to settle and then hope for the best. We actually need to kill this camp for Yerevan. But yeah... Let's have a look. We actually probably do need to kill this camp if we want to steal the worker. That's even worse. We're here now. I think we probably do want to... We either settle right here and try and gain the copper as well as the Kailash. Or... Which actually probably makes sense if we're three-sitting. Because there doesn't look like anything up here that we want to do. But it's still kind of annoying that... We don't have the gold to buy the Kailash. But I don't want to settle next to it. In fact, we can't settle next to it. So I guess we just settle and wait for 59 gold. Maybe grow a little bit here and build. We don't want to build a monument, so let's go straight into a granary. Try and take out this barb camp for the city-state. Oh, here we go. We found Bogota. That's a little bit. But not a lot. But anyway, Stabos says, hi, welcome to the stream, Stabos. So some America and Assyria again as neighbours. It's like you have a subscription or something to that. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, America and Assyria as neighbours is not great because they're both relatively aggressive. We'll have to figure out what we want to do about it later on in the game. Our Black Vegetable says, scout southwest of your settler. Could have done, I guess. I mean, I ideally I want to settle on this tile as well. So I don't know what on earth we do about that. We need an archer. Yeah, yeah, Bobby says, meet Assyria. The, the Assyrian military is around the same strength of ours, and then several turns later, it's stronger than us. And then a few more turns later, the military is not to be trifled with, and some turns pass, and Assyria wields an army that could wipe us off the map. That's a pretty accurate <laughs> description of, I think, what tends to happen as a Sir like when you're playing against Assyria. We need, what do we need? We've got mining. 40 gold needed. That's like 20 turns. Bronze working to find some iron. Archery to get an archer. Probably. So we still need more gold. So let's find more city-states. We can kill this and then get out of here. 
That's 25 gold as well. So now we only need 11. That helps a lot. Keep this inside the city. But then I want probably want to do something about that. And now we can take oligarchy. How lot much longer? Okay. See what this barb camp is, because we do need to get rid of it. And then let's disappear up the back. Any more city states nearby? Can't see any. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is an archer. Okay, we can handle an archer by ourselves. Heal next to Yerevan. Or do we steal Yerevan's worker? I think we need to heal first. I don't know what's doing there. Can we buy this yet? No, next turn. Okay. Oh, FJS War says, take a sip of your beverage, FJS War. <laughs> Thanks for keeping me hydrated. So it's good Stevening. Oh, good evening, FJS War. And now we'll take it so that we can work it and have happiness. Let's just get ourselves a Pantheon and then we'll go back to doing something useful in the city. Worker done. We've got like one turn until we do a Settler, so I guess we should just start another Worker. And chop some forests. Yeah, chop some forest. Now we need to probably just back up and heal with the scout. And meet Bucharest. But this erect suggested... Oh, actually, so first of all, the black vegetable suggested maybe you need a monument in your capital to speed up legalism. The tile purchase becomes cheaper the first, after the first time it expands. I mean, it does, yeah. But we do have the tile now. We've managed to make it work. And so we can stop working our incense. We don't need to anymore. We can go back to working slightly more... Well, slightly better tiles, basically. And then do settler production at some point. Um, but I just says Vancouver's going to take the wonder pretty late. A few food tiles before that. I was thinking about it, but really we just want to get it. We don't really want to risk losing anything. And we want to actually use it to get a Pantheon. And then maybe think about religion. So the best thing to do is to buy that straight away. But yeah, I was thinking about monuments and stuff. But we're, we're pretty short on production right now, I think. But FJS will ask, what's the plan this game? Probably to kill someone, but I don't know yet. And with what? I mean, we'll do something with Keshix, I'm sure. The question is whether or not we do anything else. And our only natural target is really Assyria. We're being shot here. What? Oh, this is an iron that we can't see. Okay. And then let's peace Yerevan straight away. For another worker. It wasn't nice to build that settler so early, but it's, it's kind of worked out okay for us, I think. And we probably want to go into this next settler now. Monument would have been nice, but we don't have one, so... <laughs> oh, well. We need to buy out to this copper. Copper's going to be all gold accumulation. That's something we definitely should remember. We need more gold. We'll have to get some of that. But yeah, I haven't decided anything yet. We'll kill something and then we'll figure out what's going on probably. We're gonna we're on three cities, so there isn't really room to not kill anything. Oh. Really? This worker can't okay. Can't go through the city of Yerevan. I did not anticipate that. I guess we have to come back now being hounded by barbarians in here but i don't think that matters to us let's just go deal with the archer can we kill this camp we're gonna get an instant heal with the scout so we can get another slam in do we want an archer though as the black vegetable suggested to try and deal with the camp we actually probably do so maybe we do go for the archer first and then we get there i don't know i don't know what's correct here because we're gonna instant heal now we actually probably didn't need this archer after all, but we've kind of lent into it a bit now, I think. Okay, there's Onondaga. Uh, but Odyssey Rex says, I hate it when I get put on the edge of the map with a warmonger sift so much. I restart usually because it's really hard to attack. They're definitely hard to attack, but we have the advantage of having a civilization that has a unit unit that can actually kill deity AIs, which is the Keshik. Natural wonder faith for sure, if it's still here. It is. Perfect. So it's 20 turns until religion. We could do with... We need to take instant heal here and keep working on this. Let's kill the camp. Hopefully no more barbs spawn. A 
Barb did spawn. That's really annoying. I guess it's a good job we got this archer then. We can pivot into the settler. And we need to back up just for a moment. Looks like Vancouver desires... Oh, not this Barb camp that we're trying to kill. That's unfortunate. And we need to try and deal with the barbarian archers coming out of this camp. So that is this, that is this. And we just want to heal the scout to weather a couple of shots. Looks like we've hit a bit of a peninsula. But I don't really know what to do. Certainly it's not great being next to some more Munger AIs. But at least we have a solution for it on this game. Let's push forward and deal with the camp. Which would be to use our own Keshix. We need to move back now here. So let's do that. This work has been out there for far too long. We're probably waiting too long for a religion in Karakorum. Let's push up. There's even a worker in here now, which is cool. I don't know whose worker that is. But we'll take it. Whatever it is. That's That might be the impetus we need to speed this game up. Spitburn says, wait, this isn't Venice. What happened? Uh, we just decided to restart the Venice game because it was going to be pretty boring. I, it could have easily been won. We didn't get killed. But it wasn't going to be the most exciting game we've ever played. Still 13 production, actually. So we'll just do this to make sure we don't starve when we finish building the Settler. Right, whose worker is this? Take it. It's America's worker. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's our worker now. Water mill, probably sailing for the car for the caravan and then let's go get a caravan we're close enough to the free monument now that we might as well just get the free monument in our capital without building one we can take scouting on the scout and take this worker back that's gonna be nice and we should try and deal with oh the vancouver camp's gone yeah we've got three workers though for three cities which is actually quite a nice start Let's heal the scout. We can heal the scout up quicker in the in our own city before we go. Because we're starting a caravan now, I'm pretty happy to just leave Karakor and work in faith. We will send it a caravan when we get there. But yeah, Black Vegetable says this map looks strangely narrow. It actually kind of does, doesn't it? I don't know where the rest of the AI are, but there's, I guess, probably a little bit of snaking going on in here somewhere that might be bringing us to the rest of the map. Not quite sure. I just realized I'm just totally YOLO walking everything down here. But I guess that's fine. <laughs> We're working all the best tiles we can here, aren't we? We are. Yeah. I don't know if we actually... I would settle this right on the silver. It might be a good idea to do so. Chop this forest down for the granary in Karakorum. And keep bringing workers over. This, is, this work is just going straight down to our new city. Settling on the silver would be quite a fast start for us. Probably gives us access to better tiles as well. Although nothing good to work straight away. So we maybe even settle here if we want the sheep straight away. Or here. Still on the silver is probably fine. Let's just go do that. Finally got legalism. For the three monuments. Let's actually improve our incense here and chop down. And then this worker can go down to the new city. Probably bring this archer upwards. But yeah, America's worker. <laughs> you protesters, Mike. Well, whoops. Noob America getting their worker captured. They have no idea what happened. Oh, the Black Vegetable asks, is Assyria coming already? I do hope not. They desire friendly relations with our empire, it says. I, I mean, if they're coming, there's nothing we can do and we'll just die. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Black Vegetable says, I like on the silver too. Might pick up a banana as well. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of what swayed me in the end, I think. The prospect of picking up a banana. Let's hope America gets penned in here with the Iroquois. And that we can actually make a more successful attempt at attacking them this time. Good granary done next turn in Karakorum. That might mean that we can actually afford to send... Yeah, Syria's not coming to attack us. They just have a random unit here. We've got horses improved and we can start selling them straight away. I don't know why the Iroquois was angry at us. We'll check in just a minute as to why that is. They covet our lands. Really? The Iroquois covet our lands? There's another city-state in there. That seems weird. 
We need to go for a second caravan the moment we get one in Not Venice. Riga that's been met. Nice. Granary done. Is it a worker? Probably is a worker here. We need a lot of early workers. We can go on this silver. Right in America's face. No problems with that. And then we actually need to grow a bit. So let's get a granary in here. Probably actually just want to station this archer down near the city. And then the warrior can go hang out. Need to improve food in Not Venice. We should probably just grow Not Venice. So I'm going to send the caravan back. We'll refrain from settling near America in the future. We need to get America to war with Iroquois pretty soon. This caravan wants to go from Karakorum back to Not Venice. We'll drop a turn into the worker. And then get the next caravan straight away. Oh. Straight away, am I? The voice was not being friendly to me there. And then we should probably just... I mean, exploring the world would be quite good, but we should probably keep this scout around for defense. Iroquois covers all lands, says the black vegetable. I oh, fair. Yeah, fair, I guess. Press X to doubt, says Bobby. Yeah, definitely doubt the friendly relations thing, but if it says it, it says it. So I don't know. But yeah, oh, Mike says, can confirm America doesn't care about their workers. <laughs> Lol, yeah. America doesn't really protect their civilians very well, huh? All right, we need to feed uh, Not Venice. So we can feed Not Venice. There's no food in the city, so that's a good choice, I think. I was going to send the trade route to Karakorum, but now that we've actually got the granary, it didn't feel like a good thing to do. Oh, Odessa Rick says, what pantheon did he choose, chat? One with nature, uh, natural wonder faith. Washington's built terracotta army. Let's just hope that Washington desires Iroquois lands more than they desire our lands. I mean, this is going to be easy-ish to defend if we have to go to war. It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world to defend. We're going to border grow to the horse. Almost oh, worth just waiting there. Yeah, Wath has built Colossus. I would like to take that, but we're not going to be able to. Let's just keep the scout on America to see where they're going. There's Nimrud in there. Apparently we can sell another horse to the Iroquois. We need to see if he'll war America. Not yet. Will America war the Iroquois? I trust you are a friend to Liberty. No, we need more gold per turn for that. Hopefully we can get some at some point. Iroquois grows. Wait, one turn for the border growth to the horse. Get a little bit more food for not Venice, which is now on plus six. Which ballot's going to border grow in three turns. It'll be a better tile. Save some gold. Mike right, says, Carthage cross map covets me, just like the Iroquois. All my homies hate Carthage. Carthage is, yeah, she covets everybody and is incredibly unreliable. If I have one piece of advice for people, it would be never to friend Carthage because they really are very kind of flaky. Oh, I didn't build this caravan. Whoops. Finish the worker now. Yeah, Black Vegetable says, not as easy to defend against Miniman, though, since those ignore terrain costs. That's very true. I'm kind of backing ourselves to be able to defend something early on with America, and then hopefully we can try and just get them in perpetual war with the Iroquois to deal with the, the late game coveting or the later game coveting. We also probably want to go Keshix at some point when Minutemen show up. But yeah, yeah, Carthage has high deception and is very willing to backstab. So yeah, horrible friend indeed. I used to friend Carthage and what friending Carthage just does is making the rest of the world hate you. So I don't do that anymore. Assyria looks like they could be attackable though. Be pretty weird attack, but it is something we could do. Get this archer in Beshbalik that's going to grow. That's as much as we want to grow for now until we get any more decent growth tiles. Two Assyrian units here now. Hopefully that's not for a war. Beshbalik grew and went to the sheep, so we can work that. We need gold. We get a religion next turn as well. How many religions have gone? Just a couple, I think. So we're going to get a good one. Oh, no. Another one went right then. But here's our prophet. 
There's something we wanted to name this one, or was it not? No, we're Genghis. I think we already renamed the Canning Town Massive. Yeah, Nizef says, Elizabeth is another one that will denounce you whatever you do. That's very true. I have that all the time we're playing Elizabeth. But yeah, Carthage turn 137, Declaration of Friendship turn 138, Denunciation is, yeah, exactly right. That's the sort of thing that happens with Carthage all the time. And Elizabeth just always hates us. It was the, I remember I was doing a culture victory once and Elizabeth was like the one AI that had the most culture and it's just, just impossible to get friends because, and you need it, and we needed that for open borders. So that was really annoying. But we need to rename this religion. So we're found. We'll be... Well, we're Mongolia. Is, did Mongolia... Does Mongolia do any religions? I guess we can be Tengriism. Tithe is here, so we can take Tithe. And then we actually have 10 faith per turn, so we could afford to do a building. We could afford to do a building because we've got the 10 faith per turn for something like mosques. Even though I quite like religious community, mosques, we actually have the faith to do probably, so we can do that. And as for the religion name, looks like we haven't had anybody ask for it in chat by redeeming the channel points, which means I'll go with Nizef's suggestion of maniacism. Okay. There we go. Well, we can call we can call it maniacism. But yeah. Oh, anyway, Odisserect actually asked, why would you need five workers for three cities? So that's actually an interesting thing. So typically speaking, a lot of people build too few workers. The thing that all of the sort of top tier players generally tend to advise, especially on multiplayer, is actually two workers per city, and then maybe subtract one for an inland empire and you can get away with closer to one worker per city on a coastal empire but for inland empires two workers per city minus one is actually generally accepted to be good and that's because of what it allows you to do if you only build one worker per city you have to give up things to do things so for example i just found this religion so for example if we only had one worker per city we either we can either improve tiles or we can build roads we can't do both and working all improved tiles is incredibly powerful for your cities early on, especially when they're even when they're like 10 or 12 population. Working all improved tiles is actually really big. So having workers allows you to work all improved tiles, which is really, really strong. And then it also means that if you have five to six workers on three cities, you can actually build early roads and you don't have to give up continuing to build improvements to get those roads, which is quite powerful. So yeah, it's not like one worker per city for an inland empire and it's not really one worker per city plus one. It's two workers per city minus one is probably better, which is why we're getting ourselves up to five workers here. Ashurbanipal already wants to declare war on Hiawatha. And Badaxi joins the stream today. Says, hey, this, do this doesn't look like a really good start. Yeah, it's not. And actually, Assyria is coming. So I wonder if Assyria will declare war on the Iroquois or on America. They would declare war on America for our silver. And we would have to go. Like, if we have to, we'll go unhappy. I think we, we'd do it if we need it. We need food everywhere right now. Library. We can't really defend against an attack that's coming down. All of our cities need help. But Karakorum's the one doing religious stuff. I actually kind of need this tile. We could buy it. We've got a granary. Six turns until border growth otherwise. But I think, yeah, we also need to clear a lot of jungle. And that's another reason for... Having all of these extra workers... America and Assyria, will they war? Go ahead. We can give up our incense for it, though. We don't have to give up the silver. I would prefer it if it was America that he wars. So that's fine. Silver and accept an embassy. We give him like one gold per turn for that. No, okay, well, let's accept an embassy then. And um, we actually want it to be incense. Okay, well, we're going happy for a couple of turns. We'll have to improve another incense, but that's fine. Save ourselves. So we've bribed Assyria to war. Well, as it turns out, America, they wouldn't do the Iroquois for some reason. Yeah, but Katini says they obviously watched the Brazilian warrior rush the Iroquois. They actually probably did. Or not the Iroquois, the Assyrian, something like that. But yeah, the start's very slow. It's not bad, but it is indeed slow. Lands will be good at civil service. 
But yeah, we're living now and we can relax for a couple of turns. And we've got someone warring America, which is good because America might want to be our target. Improving that food was kind of pointless now. We can take tradition happiness or do we want tradition food? We probably do need tradition happiness. As much as I would have liked tradition food. Which means that we can actually grow the cap again. And then we can get our luxuries online in the meantime. Just improve tiles. Got this horse improved in Karakorum. I don't know if it's worth actually just buying a mosque when we next get a mosque available in not Venice. Or a missionary. We're not fighting against competing religions right now. More horses to the Iroquois. That's good. I like that. Will they desire more now? We could have done with this gold per turn a couple of turns ago. And we're going to get the wheat down in a couple of turns. So we'll just wait there. It's not the end of the world to chill two turns on quick speed. Well, Scrambled Megs joins the stream. Says, hey everyone, welcome to the stream, stream Scrambled Megs. Trade of interest to you. America wants a friendship. We don't want that. We'd rather be friends with Assyria and kill America. But if it has to be the other way around, so be it. Three City America is a lot easier to deal with than actually Three City Honor Assyria. It might be that we want to be friends with America. But let's try and keep our options open for a bit. I didn't realise I was healing the scout. No, let's not be at war. We get open borders by any chance. We cannot. Is the following trade of interest. Okay, we can see what Washington Whoa, there's two wonders in Washington. Hanging gardens. Oh, Terracotta Army's a bit meh, but hanging gardens is good. I could go for some of that. And now we're happy, which is perfect. We have our incense. We should trade away this incense. Do the Iroquois. Or are we not getting any more incense? We might have done a terrible job of settling our regional here because we've only got two copies. Thrown to this. Good. Let's work the wheat. Oh, that's actually available to work in the capital as well. But I don't think we need to work the wheat in the cap. Library done. We can maybe lean into a shrine for religion and then go libraries elsewhere. We actually need this bananas pretty soon. And this bananas. But we can't afford to get it right now. <laughs> Black Vegetable says, War America or Assyria? Why not both? <laughs> I like your ambition. I like your ambition, but I don't know that we can... I mean, we, we could war both eventually. I don't know that we can right now. Need more gold to buy tiles. We actually do need to buy out to the copper first, so let's do that. We've got silver... Ah, oh, we've met Poland. Hello. Let's swap embassies and then buy my horses. Perfect. So Poland's miles away. Okay. Yeah, we do actually need this copper. And we actually need to go and improve it pretty soon. Not Venice grew and we can work a little bit more food. In here, we need to start chopping down a lot of jungle in Beshbalik. So we probably need to send the second worker over there. Let's get out of here with Assyria though. How do we get more happiness? We're on copper, incense, and silver. And that's kind of it. Furs, citrus, and silver for America. So America is definitely killable. Cotton and furs. So Assyria is also definitely killable. The question is how do we stay happy in the meantime? We probably improve this wheat and then go to get the copper. Yeah, I think so. We've got more than enough time. Black Vegetable says, America often does Great Wall, which spoils the fun a little. Oh, well, we'll see. Maybe they will still build Great Wall. We need this worker to actually improve a tile for Karakorum and then leave. There goes the Oracle, turn 70. Need to meet some more AIs, but we'll do that. We build a road? Probably not, just improve the horse. Improve tiles that we're working first. Build roads second. Let's get a farm in Karakorum. We have philosophy, but sadly we can't do the oracle. 
I almost wonder if another work is useful here because of how many tile improvements we actually need to do. We can double back for the wheel. Might as well improve the iron while we're on it. Probably going to start working the tile soon. But yeah, this is a very slow start. A one lux cap. Oh, but actually says, did you settle on a luxury for the capital or did you move away from, from the pearls? The, we actually settled in place. Uh, we need to buy these truffles. Well, yeah, we actually settled in place. And we only saw the pearls later on. Oh, there goes the Great Wall. Rip. I mean, there are solutions to the Great Wall because we're Mongolia and because we have Keshiks. But that is kind of annoying. We definitely need that sixth worker, actually, because we've got so much jungle to handle. Oh, these warriors don't come anywhere. But yeah, it's a very, very slow start. One Lux cap. Wisdom and virtue are like the two wheels of a car. Yeah, a sir, a sir could get your copper easily. The yeah, AI would settle right, settle right next to it. No joke, says a disarray. They actually would. You are incredibly correct about that. It's something that they would do for sure. But in our case, we're pretty safe with it. Assyria appears to just be doing war things. We can just pick off whoever looks weaker out of Assyria and America later. That's fine. I think we're kind of fine with doing that. And I, we need to progress towards civil service. This empire doesn't get good without it. And meet the rest of the world. So let's continue. Our corn is going to grow. Oh, there's Brazil. Hello. We need to get our iron connected. And we can maybe use that to do trading. We can't sell our horses forever if we want Keshix. Our quorum grows. Probably just want to work this food and gold for now. And then we'll switch to working the food and production when we get the tile improved. And we can go up for this copper next. Oh, we should have grown Beshbalik last turn. I guess we grow it this turn instead. Need to grow with the production focus trick. Deep for some food. Iron soon. And now we keep pushing for civil service. Maybe horsebacks first. Because the Hanging Gardens is already gone. I would love to take America's capital because they actually have world wonders. Whereas Assyria doesn't. But we, there are solutions available to us. We are the Mongolians. If we buy this tile right here. We can cycle the Keshiks in and out of here. Very easily get a great general and then just capture Washington. But yeah we just need civil service and coliseums. Oh we can buy the bananas now can we? I did not notice. Oh, it's 11. Okay, but we'll do that when it comes available. Worker done in the cap. Water mill next, or do we need circuses? And we should probably go and build our... We need to send this worker straight over. We can build a road with this one, though. Need five to grow, so nothing here. Do we need a water mill, or do we need a circus? We need a water mill, because we're getting this copper built. And then National College, and then a circus. Oh, Mount Sinai is in the game as well, and it's not been settled, apparently. Did we build a shrine here? We did. So we can lean into our faith a bit more. We might as well enhance first, and we can actually sell our iron to someone. Hey. Apparently, America Proceed. will buy a lot of it. But that's nice. All Three, right. four. He won't buy all of it, though, but we can sell the rest to the war that we paid for. Well, it's a shame we had to give away happiness to pay for this war. Cool. I guess because no one else wants this, we can do two for three. Shoot Andy. Yervan looks elsewhere with the quest, apparently. That's fine. And then improve this horse. And then start on our roads. We actually have the opportunity to build three road pieces, so why not? Not Venice is going to grow. And we do just want to work this iron for a bit because the production is too much to give up. And we can buy this banana. Perfect. That's four food as well. That's exactly what the city needs. Food early. And work the iron for a few turns. Or we build road pieces. How are we doing right now? Eighth in food. 11% behind in tech. It's not good. Our national college is going to be alright. I don't know that we want to be... Actually, we can be friends with the Iroquois because they're miles. They're not miles away, but we don't want to war them. And apparently this Assyrian trade route got plundered. Or American. And the Maya. Hello. We should probably just buy these first too. As much as I don't like giving up this gold per turn, we need the happiness right now. Do we need whales anywhere? 
Uh, Karakorum desires Wales. So what we'll do is we'll trade away the last copy of our silver for Wales here. To get the King's Day. Apparently we love the King elsewhere as well, which is pretty cool. Watermill next. Because we need the food to grow. Watermills are a very good building for that. And this watermill times up perfectly with this library, which is great. Build the road here and then cross the river for civil service. Choose research. Keep moving towards civil service. But Vegetable says, you'll need the gold for Keshik upgrades. Yeah, we will actually. It's very true, but we also need happiness to grow first. So I'm kind of focusing on that and then we'll figure out how to fix everything later. Library's done. We can take a water mill and then go National College in the capital. We could buy a mosque. 200 faith. Alternatively, we can go for an enhancer. I think going for the enhancer is probably good. We'll just need to find other ways to get gold. We'll figure it out. This road will help. Won't be great, but it will help. And we got King's Day and not Venice and Karakorum, which is nice. We need to do more deals with Hiawatha. I guess, because all of the horses are gone. We can sell them again. I don't think we're going to be doing Keshiks in like 25 turns time whenever the deal ends. Let's just do tiles in Vishbalik. Which is ready to grow. Complete this road. That's a little bit of gold per turn. We also still need traditions food policy. And that will help the capital growth too. So we have our city connection. We're up to 7 gold per turn. Vishbalik grows. We do just want to work this tile. Because we're going to get the farm on it this turn. And then... Do we build the road here? One, two, three, one, two, three. No, we don't. We can build the road through here, maybe. Actually, no, along here would be much better. So let's actually put a road piece down before we go anywhere. And this is not a farm, so we don't really want to put anything down here. We can instead move over to this tile. Or perhaps let's complete the road for gold. This was going to not Venice. It wants to continue to do so. 10 turns for National College, so that'll be turn 93. That's not a bad timing at all. At least that's not being slow. And we've got more horses to sell. So let's just sell a lot of this early horse for gold per turn. And then the next round of horses that come in will stop selling. I trust you are a friend to Liberty. Like that. And then I'm going to need to take a quick... Five minute break chat because we just had the shopping turn up. It needs to be handled and then we can get back to this game, but not quite yet. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> My girlfriend says sorry, everyone. It's okay. Right. I just need to go and handle the... We've just had the shopping delivered. I need to go handle that. I'll be about, two, about four minutes and then we'll be back. So BRB. Yeah, Booker says I swapped to the football then, lol, lol, yeah, see you in a bit.
All right, what's going on? Mike says, chat, PC is AFK quick. Cancel your trade agreements with England. They were hosing me for 5GPT luxuries, lol. <laughs> yeah, it's the sort of thing that England does, isn't it? But I'm back. Just had our food delivered. So now I actually have things to eat. All good. I don't know if our population's a bit low here. It might well be. Mm. Let's get our civil service farms up though so we actually have food. You can see Berlin down here. We've actually met all of the AI, which is perfect. Who don't we have embassies with? The Maya. I oh, know we do have embassies with everyone. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we've, yeah, we know where everyone's capitals is, which is pretty good. So now we just need to explore the map. We're gonna get yeah, we've got a two food tile here, so we can actually work this over the gold. It's actually quite nice. We've got more gold that we can work. Which is good because we'll need to work some more gold if we want Keshig upgrades. But we're actually back up to plus 15 gold per turn. Which is nice. If we spread Tithe as well, we'll get more. Gold per turn and horse is ended. Push for civil service. We can build more roads. We just need more food. For the capital, so we'll just improve some rando food tiles with our six workers. They're proving very, very valuable. If we had only three workers right now, we'd be miles behind getting all these improvements done. And instead, because we got six, we're actually okay. And there's a Lux from Bismarck available. I think I'm just going to keep paying for them. As much as I hate it. We need to buy another banana as well. I don't want to redo these horse deals anymore. Fifty-nine more gold for that final banana, and then I think we're done buying tiles. And we've got we love the king's days in every city, which is actually really helpful. Get our road. Water mill is nearly done. We've got three garden cities as well, and two observatory cities, which sets us up quite nicely for this game to recover from something like Keshix. Still bottom food though. But we got 15 happiness, which means we're going to get a golden age soon. It means we don't actually need circuses yet. But we need to get them out of the way. But if we're doing religion, we can go shrine into circus. We need to get shrines and coliseums and stuff out of the way before we do any war. It's quite important for us to not get complacent and build things even though we don't need them. I think we still need to focus on the important things. Because... Or only the important things, because we will go to war at some point. And then we're going to be kicking ourselves if we haven't actually got them by the time we do that. Uh, but Vesha says, recover from Keshix. I thought these just keep going. Um, well, I was thinking more in terms of stuff for us to actually do after Keshix. In terms of we kill our first AI. And then what do we do? We probably go on like the... Either we kill another one. Or we need to turn around and sim once we've Keshik some stuff. Or do you want to work this? Either way, like, or we need to, or we need to build up so that we're ready to use Keshiks, and then we can just spam military when we actually want it, as opposed to anything else. And this F makes a very good point, which is that the land of Assyria looks like suitable Keshik land. It does indeed. And there's a nice three to four cities we can take off of them as well, which I think could be really good for us. I'm pretty sure that's where we want to go. I was thinking about America versus Assyria, and I've still not quite decided. America's land is perfectly Keshikable as well, because we can come drive in, take Washington straight away, and then Boston and New York are easy to take. And the benefit of this is that America's dirt themselves... But they've also got Hanging Gardens and Great Wall. And while this doesn't look like Great Wallable territory, 
what we can do is we can pop it if we buy this tile we can pop a great general right here or even right here and we can just take these tiles and then we can cycle the Keshiks in Washington. And that gets us the city with the hanging gardens in it. Which is what we really want. But yeah, Black Vegetable says that's what I meant. Kill all the others too, lol. <laughs> but yeah, they're not camels. With one to two Keshiks and then the rest with modern units. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. We can kill one to two AIs with Keshiks and then the rest of them with modern era units. So we've got our three city core. Can maybe go into America with Keshiks just because Washington's a nice city. And we still get citrus, truffles, and furs that we don't already have. And then we can maybe turn around and take on Assyria after that. And then that's our two camels. And we can go up to maybe like six or seven cities or even eight, depending on what we do. And then after that, we figure out how to get the rest of the AI with planes maybe or artillery or something. I've got to be really careful with this right now. Because this is one of those things that I could eat which could end up looking really embarrassing on stream. Our quorum grows. We want to work the gold probably. Another city connection for more gold. Keep improving tiles everywhere we can. Anywhere that we can do a civil service farm. Which we're going to get soon. And just improve a few more planes tiles around the capital. But in general, we don't need any more. This caravan is done to Karakorum. Karakorum will do fine as soon as we get civil service. I'm pretty sure I just want to grow not Venice. So we send this to Beshbalik. But yeah, Nizov says, yeah, that sounds good. Buy one tile and then use a Khan for the American heartland. Exactly. And because we are... First and foremost, we're not going to be able to march in and attack Washington straight away. What's going to happen is... We're going to have to wade through a couple of lines of units that come and attack us first. And then after that, once we've gone through the wave, we can then sort of general and start using some of this stuff. So we can use the wave to train and get enough great person points to get that general. And then once we have the general, we can plant it and push in. But the Black Vegetable makes a good comment. It says, the only challenge about attacking Washington is that he can spam units from both Boston and New York into your attacking force. It's very true. We'll have to see how it all works. I mean, with Keshiks, what's going to happen is that our attack tile is here and our units are going to be cycling all along a road that's placed right here. So the units aren't really going to come spamming into attack force. And if they do, we'll have more than enough stuff going around to kill them. But you're right. There is a potential problem there to handle. What is drama? We can enhance maniacism. I guess that's how we pronounce it. Shrine happiness could be good. We're pretty short on happiness. And if we plan to war, that's going to matter. We do have a shrine as well. And then I'm pretty sure we just want to take a spread of belief here. It's always good to take a spread of belief. If you're going to be using a religious building like we are. To get your religion spread around. Beshbalik's pretty slow in growth, but we have to remember that this is pre-civil service in an empire that desperately needs it. Do we want circus now? We still kind of don't need a circus. We should think about military though. Do we want like a barracks? Do we want... I think we need circuses. But a stables is pretty killer in not Venice. So we'll take a stable instead. At least start. Wine is available from the Maya. But we can't afford to take the wine. And it's not a quest and we don't need it for King's Day. So let's not bother. And we can grow, not Venice. Still need these bananas. 44 gold required. We're going to struggle for purchasing, for purchasing for gold upgrades if we don't watch out here. Well, I think we'll be okay. Gerard says, and then suddenly Minutemen. Yeah, Minutemen is... Uh, Minutemen is quite... Minutemen could be daunting, but they're really not as much of a problem with Keshik, Keshiks as they were with Longbowmen. Keshiks are 16 combat strength, which is a little bit less, but we can put more damage onto them, and we'll really quickly get to logistics and range on Keshiks. That's not going to be as much of a problem as we had with the Longbowmen. The Longbowmen, we just struggled to get enough damage, but with the Keshiks, we're, gonna, we're basically going to get to logistics and range quite fast. 
which will be much better. It'll be a much easier ride, and the best thing is that the, the reason really why our attack failed against America when we had England was because America had like eight cities or nine cities that game, which meant that they had loads of cities that were able to produce units and back up the ones that we initially killed. The reason why I am literally salivating over three city Washington is because, yeah, he'll get Minute Man, but it's only three cities producing units at us, not six, which is a very important oh, difference. Panic. Probably want to go on to some food. Yeah, some food is fine. Keep growing for now. We want to grow as much as possible before the point that we start turning around into war production. So it's a bit different. The Minutemen, it could be a problem, but it's not It's not as big a deal as when we're using longbows. Because as Nizza says, Keshiks can dance around the Minutemen. And that's exactly correct. We don't even have to dance around. We just move back and forth and the Minutemen go into our Keshik kill box. Which is a different problem to just having to handle Minutemen with crossbows. Talking about Keshiks and Camels is a different thing to talking about crossbows. So Longbowmen and uh, Longbowmen and Chickenoose is a lot different prospect to talking about Keshiks and Camel Archers. And Keshiks and Camel Archers, while things like Longbowmen and Crossbows are, you know, they can be just as devastating as Keshiks or Camels on multiplayer. On single player, there are some units which are more devastating than others. And I think Keshiks and Camels are more devastating compared to Crossbows, especially on Deity. So we won't have to worry so much. But the Black Bash also said, sad production is gone. Yeah, it's true. It was very sad. It says, I sometimes greed a building in the hope that religious community will, st will still be there. Yeah, me too. I thought about greeding a building, but with a lot of AIs in the game and a finite number of, a finite number of religious tenants to take, That went well. Booker says, take a sip of your beverage, Booker. Thanks for keeping me hydrated or perhaps not choking to death. Oh man, I've been chilling. It's the you're on mute thing that you always get with uh, when you're at work, right? But yeah, thanks for thanks for keeping me hydrated, Booker. That was not bad. But yeah, I was just reflecting on the fact that production was gone. And I was just saying that I elected not to greet a building because we're on standard map size. All of the same religious beliefs are available, but more religions are available because there are more sieves, which means that we had to we have to go sooner to get ourselves a decent religious belief. And that's what we did. And so we got Shrine Happiness, which is perfectly fine. We've got Shrines in every city, so it's plus three happiness. And that makes up for the fact that we've got Mosques, which are only one happiness as opposed to the two for Pagodas or Religious Centers then. So not bad. But we are still going to sort of follow the general war things of paying people to declare war before we go and attack them. And Booker is definitely correct. Camels and Keshiks can focus fire so nicely. The best thing about Keshiks is they actually do have the fifth movement point as compared to the four with the Camel Archers. Which is quite important because camel archers struggle to get in, shoot, and then move out. Whereas Keshiks really have no problem at all in doing that. So that's quite a difference. But it still takes a lot of Keshik shots to get down a minute in rough terrain, as the Black Vegetable says. But it's a totally different proposition when you have Keshiks. And one of the strongest things about Keshiks is the way they train up XP as well. 
S6 will get to logistics fast. They will get to range fast. And, and that is one of the things that's strong about them. But indeed, killing unit units on deity is a pain. But we have Keshiks and they are good. And we will try and make use of them. But also, we've got this war that's still going. And if it continues, and America has no gold and they're still chilling with things like warriors. Look, here's a long swordsman already on turn 93 standard speed. Hopefully things will look a little bit better for us when the war comes. Grind done. Stable would be nice, but it's only one tile. I almost wonder if a barracks is the correct choice now. A temple would be nice, but a barracks for extra promotions on those Keshiks will help greatly. Or do we start thinking about the military push? Because we're not far from chivalry. We get a golden age soon. We need gold. Let's pre-build down the most expensive thing we can build. Which is the horse horseman. And then we'll think about barracks after that. And the reason we're pre- <coughs> Ooh. But the reason we're talking about pre-building the horsemen is because the whole point of a pre-build is to put production into your military units before you can actually build them. So what you can do is you can put production into the horsemen and then when the Keshit becomes available, it obsoletes the horsemen and the production that you put towards the horsemen is actually then also put towards the Keshit. And if we pre-build a chariot, we can only put four turns worth of production into the chariot archer pre-build because five turns finishes it. But if we do a horseman, we can put six turns worth of production into the horseman pre-build. And that is quite vastly different. So we actually get a better pre-build off by building the horseman. Now we do also need to complete a few horsemen because we will not have access to mounted units apart from the Keshik. And so if we want a unit that can run in and take cities, we'll want to have a couple of horsemen standing around. And then depending on our gold situation, we'll probably decide whether or not we go for chariot archers to upgrade or whether or not we go for horsemen to upgrade because horsemen are cheaper. We've got so much happiness now though. It's quite, quite mad really. While reflecting on it, we should probably try and make our capital quite a, a bit of a unit production center as well. Where we're actually going to get the stable. Stables provide you a bonus towards building mounted units, which I'm hoping applies to the Keshit. But I'm not sure. But if it does, we're going to want to build a lot of units out of there. But yeah, Booker asks, going to open honor at some point? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I definitely want honor. We'll see if it's viable. The problem is, is that on three cities, when you don't get a culture ruin and you don't build a monument, your culture is really slow. Ideally, we don't take any filler policies here, but if we have to take one, it probably will be honor. Let's see what our gold looks like when the golden age comes around. And then we'll decide. But yeah, we're probably not going to go to discipline or faster experience for honor, actually. We would choose it for the great generals. Golden Age next turn is when we find out how good that's going to be. Uh, it would be wise of us to get engineering before going to chivalry. And then we can just head up to chivalry. We're not ready for the war anyway yet. But we do now have our civil service, which means we're up to plus 27 food in the capital, which is ludicrous. And then we've got 6.25 food here. That's really bad, but we can get more as we grow. And in Beshbalik, we're at 7.5 food. So I think we really do need the engineering trade route. We're up to 10 here, which is not the best thing ever, but it's certainly not the worst. I feel like we need to find a way to get some more food. And that will involve working civil service farm tiles. This city probably does need another trade route. So I think it's probably wise for us to go to engineering. And then we can turn back for Keshiks. We don't have to rush them. 
We could also give up one of the caps tiles if we have to, but I don't think we want to. We probably just want to buy these two tiles here, or not buy, but expand to them. Probably better. But yeah, I don't know if we need them. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what makes sense. We might be drowning in generals, as the black vegetable says. We'll see what makes sense when we get there. But we're up to only five gold per turn with our golden age, which suggests to me that we probably want to be upgrading horsemen, not camels. Not camels, not chariots even. So we can build some horsemen. And it looks like our capital builds them so fast, we want to be building the majority of our military out of our capital. Which means bringing the horsemen down to one turn and just leaving it pre-built. Loads of nice tiles in here. I want to clear this marsh. And this city's quite nice. We can work all this extra food. This is what we need. We do. We need. We need to get Karakoram a caravan for sure. It might off. It might honestly be not worth building any units in Karakoram. We probably only need five or six Keshiks, of which we'll pre-build three. So we'll get a pre-build in with a horseman, and then we might just upgrade the rest from the cap. How do we get more food for Karakoram? Sixteen turns until border growth is pretty bad. But we could do with the gold now. Let's let's figure it out. We can find some more food. But yeah, yeah, Nizza says we don't need honor with the Keshix. Oh, Scotland equalized. That's kind of cool. I don't know how England... Are I bet England are still nil-nil. That seems like a very England thing to do. Yeah, one gold per turn's rubbish. We need to find a way to get some more of that. What cities are actually doing good for gold? Not many, really. Probably build a market in the capital. Ahead of this horseman. Incense to here while ended. We can trade that again. Let's trade about the last couple. Oh, Andrew Boyd has just gifted one sub to FJS War. Andrew Boyd, thank you very much for the generous gifted sub and welcome to the stream today. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to the stream and hey, FJS War, I guess. Now has a sub too. <laughs> Andrew said, oh, it went to FJS War. That sucks. <laughs> Oh dear, that's, that's kind of funny. It's, uh, Andrew Andrew doesn't really think it sucks, by the way. Andrew knows FJS War IRL. So he's having a bit of a troll. Just before everyone starts feeling too bad for FJS. What do we do? There's food up here to be had. Improved Besh Ballet. Plus 10 food per turn is not the greatest, but we have we don't even have free aqueducts yet. That's not a thing. And we're getting our horses back. We need to build a horseman as our pre-build. And then Booker says, I still, still feel bad for him after he died like six times in the England game. Oh, lol, that was funny, yeah. The, the units we named after FJS War kept getting killed over and over again. It's very true. We need more border growth. I'm glad we were tradition here. This could have been so bad as Liberty. Maybe just get some more food up. But Vegetable says, do markets increase city connection gold? I always feel my gold per, gold per turn is terrible before I build markets, but quite decent after, even if the cities are not working many gold tiles. We'll, te we'll check actually. We're going to get a market in a bit. So our city is generating 13 gold and the market gives you plus... One gold and plus 25%. So if it's true, we should be getting... We should be up to 14 gold and then take 25%, which is another three. So we should be up to producing 17 or 18 gold in the capital once we're ready. And if we if we get any more than an, an addition of about... If we get any more than an addition of about five, we'll know that the market is actually, actually quite good. Oh, we completed this horseman by accident. We'll build another. I guess we need some horsemen anyway. We should probably just delete this archer. It's not going to be useful. We're not going to upgrade it. But yeah, Andrew says, Frankly, FGO should be ashamed he's not subbed anyway. I mean, I wouldn't ever want to shame anyone. Certainly, no one has to sub if they don't want to. It's very generous if you do, but it's certainly not required. Uh, maybe maybe FJS is like sat next to Andrew right now or something. Maybe that's why Andrew's given it a bit of attitude. But 
But yeah, just in case anyone's thinking it, don't don't read into what Angie said. It's definitely definitely never any shame in not subbing. You don't need to. Incredibly, incredibly generous if you do, but there's never any requirement to do so. We'll delete this archer. And you shouldn't feel you need to. Black Vegetable says, you can keep the archer for garrison handy if Assyria decides to attack halfway through the war with America. I mean, I would, but it's an archer. Like, I would, I would, but it's an archer. It doesn't feel like it's going to be particularly helpful to anything. The Maya. Are the Maya at war with anyone? They're not. Okay. We can do that. We now have engineering for the caravan, which we should build. What are the horse here? We can go into the caravan in the capital. We can, we've can. we actually got aqueducts researched before we even get traditions free aqueducts, which is kind of interesting. That Ragusa. We've got this truffles. I guess this truffles is what we were buying from the Iroquois. Let's, let's keep doing it. We're only going to have enough gold to upgrade like two or three Keshiks, but that might just be more than enough. It's like a hundred and... What is it? It's a hundred gold to upgrade. So if we can get to 300, that'll be fine. I don't know how we get to 300, but hey. We can find our way to 300. That would be good. And America's currently running around with loads of classical trash. And it's actually being attacked by Syria. Right inside their territory. Which means that we've got... Something useful. And we, we need to start setting roads for this war if we're going to do it. Complete the horsemen. Or save it as a pre-build. I think we save that as a pre-build. And we can go back and build maybe the Colosseum instead. Happiness. I really don't want to push it. Missionary still needs some stuff for the missionary. But we might just get our cities converted over to our religion. Definitely don't want to finish this horseman. So we'll wait one turn and then switch to something. Black Vegetable says, A unit in the city is needed for the oligarchy policy to work though. So a scout is also fine. It's true. But if, if Assyria turns up and actually attacks us, I feel like we've got bigger problems. Plus 6 versus plus 10. So we want to send this to Karakorum. And then Brazil is back and we can trade away our last copy of copper again for this Lux. We don't want to give away any more gold per turn, otherwise we're going to be short of gold. We've oh, also only got one horse. We no, no, no longer need to do any anything else on the horsemen, so we'll flip into a Colosseum. I'm I'm really going hard on getting Colosseums built here because a lot of our happiness is built on luxury resources, which we don't have of buying luxury resources from other people, which we don't especially have a lot of. So I don't really want to push it in terms of luxes and happiness, and we're going to need it all anyway. Again, we're going to war, so we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. We actually do kind of want to... You now we're going to war. Buildings are going to be behind. So let's not build fluff buildings and fluff things if we don't need to. Let's build actual things that are useful. So things like circuses and coliseums and the cap will eventually be useful. But where are... Oh, Washington's built Notre Dame. Oh my god. I mean, we have to kill Washington now. There's, there's literally nothing else we can do. We have to kill him. Because he's got Notre Dame. What can do? It's got Notre Dame. It's kind of crazy. Ashbalik's about to grow. We're ready for that. And we've got our horsemen in not Venice, which we can just do oligarchy with. And we said we wanted to upgrade three. So let's build a third in the capital and then stick with our pre-builds and everything else. And we have like six Keshiks, which is a good enough start. Yeah. Booker says, ask him to get you a Humber, etc. too. Yeah, I actually might. No to that research agreement. Each 100 gold is a Keshik right now. And nine turns still chivalry, so we should be able to get three Keshik upgrades in nine. And apparently, one of the AIs has already entered the Renaissance era. The question is, what do we do? So we've got 39 friends with Riga, who's got gold. But we'll also need culture at some point. Without, I mean, Yerevan, when we ever generate a great scientist, we'll probably get allies with them. And I highly value, value culture, especially when we're doing tradition war. And our culture has started so far behind. Just grab that. Need to work some food here. We've got this road up. We need to get another couple of roads up everywhere. 
We're a little bit behind in our road building. Lake Victoria. Wow. Lucky Kathmandu. I have re-available from Poland, but we can't afford it. Let's just bring our workers around to do more roads. Low Venture says, oh no, Washington gunpowder already? Uh, maybe. 958. Someone is actually a gunpowder. I don't see any Minutemen yet, but I'm sure they've texted for it. I'm not worried about it. If they've done it, they've done it. We'll handle them with Keshiks. But I don't see any yet, and they're in quite a prolonged war with Assyria, which is really helping our cause. So not Venice grew. Perfect. Work the iron. Finished a horseman. That's our three. So we just need to pre-build one now. And in fact, can we can we pre-build a chariot and a horseman? Oh, we're out of horse. Really? We've got 12, but we're selling seven. When do those deals end? Iron was 107. Horses was 110. That's a bit late. Can we try and just like buy a couple of horse? Let's buy a couple of horse so that we can get these pre-builds going. I wonder if we can pre-build both the horseman and the chariot archer. I doubt that works, but it would be interesting to know. I think we'll need to spread our religion here before getting a mosque. No, let's get a mosque first. Because we get the culture from it and we get the faith back. So I think at least greeting one mosque is a okay thing to do. And then we'll carry on. Yo, Stabos says, America's probably probably going to peace Assyria as soon as you war him. You might need another alliance. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna, we're going to try and pay America to war Iroquois the moment we... On the turn that we actually try and do the war declaration. This... Yeah, let's be friends with Poland. It's fine. Poland's winning. It's good to be friends with whoever's winning. Oh, look. We are vindicated about Yerevan because Yerevan is going to get... Yerevan desires our own regional luxury as their quest. Which is actually pretty cool. That is exactly what we wanted to see. This is why not only do you want to trade away the last copy of your luxury for to secure deals, and I'm going to talk about this in the next YouTube video we've got coming for, the, coming for the YouTube channel, hopefully releasing on Wednesdays, about how to keep your citizens happy. In there, we go a bit more in detail about securing deals. But not only do you... There, go, there goes that Assyrian Washington piece. Yeah, it's very true, actually. Not only do you, by trading away the last copy of your luxury, secure deals, but you can also sometimes convince city-states to ask for your own luxury for a quest. And that is just free questing for city-states. Really, really powerful. Highly recommended. So I'm always trading away the last copy of every one of my luxuries where I can on day two difficulty for that exact reason. So pretty cool. We need to get a couple more roads up. We probably want a road on the banana too. But yeah, Black Vegetable says, yeah, that sucks. Especially if Assyria will come looking for a new target. It will. They may. But hopefully they won't because we've been not angry for a while. We'll see. If they do come looking for a new target, we may have to kill Assyria instead. Which is okay. I don't mind that. It'll just suck if we have to. We can maybe sell him our iron though. Or do we want to give away our iron to get America to war the Iroquois? To or the Iroquois to war America? Five iron and 107 gold. No, we can't afford that. But we might be able to do it if we just sell all of our iron away to someone. We get a better rate if we sell the iron one for two than used in a deal. So let's just try and sell it all one for two. And then see where we stand after. Again, we want to get up to our 300 gold, though, to upgrade to our Keshiks before we do that. Not a lot of people want to give us a good deal. Oh, we should probably actually give away two for... How much is each piece here? It's, like, it's usually 37. Is it like 50? So is it 100? Or is it like 90? Yeah, two for 90. So that's our Keshiks. Perfect. And now we just have to try and figure out how this war is going to go. We might even drop something into a market slot for the time being. See if we can pay for that when the war comes around. Because there's a lot that we can do to be working more gold than we, than we are right now. Although it would benefit us to have a couple of turns of the war. We can grow to some of the gold as well. Especially in Karakorum. And as I said, we can work the market slot in the capital if we need. Let's see if America's units move towards us. They might just... They've upgraded another longsword, which is fine. Anything they do, any money they spend that's not going into Minutemen, we're happy with. 
We don't want to finish this horseman now. So we've got our three pre-builds, do we? Yeah, we do. We don't want to finish the horseman. Instead, we still don't even have the three aqueducts from tradition, by the way. Turn 110 standard speed. Probably should build something, right? That's useful. Like a pike, if we just need a unit to stand still or something. One pikeman could be quite handy. We also actually don't have a horseman to, to capture cities. So let's actually finish this one and build another. And get our roads going. We could do with a road up here on this hill as well, if we can get one. Black Vegeta says, if you do intend to upgrade three, you'll need an additional horseman as a capture unit. Yeah, we will for sure. Oh, wow. America just claimed this tile off of us, which means that this is the tile we need to... I mean, we, we can still general right here, and that takes all of the tiles we need. It's interesting to note, we've got aristocracy, which is going to help with our happiness too. But as we just got back, probably need to keep paying for that. We don't want to finish this horse. We've got the Colosseum. Machu Picchu is available. But we don't really have the time to get it built. Temples would be good for us. Market would also be quite nice. Maybe a market if we're doing war. So there's this horse. So we want to hold that up to the front line. And then we actually want to just do another horse pre-build. Or probably just complete a couple of horsemen before we even work on that pike. And keep doing our roads. Ishbalik's got a better tile to work. Let's work it. And Karakorum did have its growth. So this is fine now. But if we need more gold per turn, we can get that. Oh, Black Vegeta says, I would stop paying for luxuries. You don't need them now. Yeah, we probably don't. We can probably stop paying for the first one, the furs. Probably. And then when we start getting cultural allies, yeah, we won't worry about it. That is a minute man now. Eshik's in five. Will America okay. war the Iroquois? I'd rather do it this way around if we can, because at least we get the gold back. Yeah, the Iroquois wants eight gold per turn and open borders, so we just need to touch more gold per turn and we'll get this done. Open borders with the Iroquois. I, mean, I don't like it, but we'll just do it. Stops them asking for it. We might need to pay for this war. Silver and Wales with Pedro ended. Maybe keep trading away our silver unless there's a quest for it. There actually was a quest for it with Cahokia, but we can maybe get a better quest for it. So maybe try and use our last couple of turns to get just a road there. It'd be nice if we found a city state right now. I'm feeling pretty insecure about our gold position as we look to pay for these wars. Don't want to finish this horseman. Probably a market because we're doing war. So the market might be quite helpful. And we do need to think about getting this war paid for. What going on, Wero? How? Six gold per turn and 184. And Shabana Power, we can't I'm pay to do it back for like 10 turns. In America, we really would like this war that way round. We probably actually should have held the open borders back as a bargaining chip. That's a mistake. This is like a market slot. Get our gold up a bit more. Okay, now can we pay for this war? 11 and 57. How much have we got? We've got 11. I don't want to give up 11 and 57, but if we can wait a couple of turns, that'll be ideal. America's units aren't here yet. Okay, let's bail this out of the market slot then and work some food for a little bit. Apparently Washington's plotting against us. Oh, Black Vegetable says you can work the copper still. We can actually, yeah. I was looking to work the incense because it's it's still a little bit of food that Karakorum desperately needs. Oh, I completed a horseman without realizing. Did I? No, I didn't. Perfect. Okay, I thought I did, but something else actually just happened that I didn't notice. That would have been really annoying. So we've got two horsemen now, so we need to have a pre-built horseman. Oh, we can't. Okay, fine. I guess we're rolling with five Keshiks then. That's okay. We got all of these roads up. And this worker can come back and get us a hill. And I guess this one can build some more roads. These roads are pretty bad for our GPT, which is probably why it's hurting so much. We've got this caravan that we should send back to not Venice. Which can grow next turn if we work some food. 
let's do that. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of gold that we can work to make up for our problems. All right, one turn for chivalry. We actually were selling some horses. So we're back up to three, which means we can get back to building some here. So not Venice grew. Want to work that. Probably do just want to work this market slot now for the gold. We've apparently lost out on some gold per turn that we had. Then let's do this and maybe this for the moment. Just to see what we can squeeze out. We're only up to seven now. I don't know that we need all of this. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have two pre-builds. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five Keshiks. Because we get three upgrades, two more is five. We probably want another one is six and then a horseman. A couple of horsemen. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So actually we've got, yeah, we've got five to pre-build, two to capture the cities. So there's like two to capture the cities in here. Two, three. And then we've got another three, three, three pre-builds, which already accounted for. So we can sell two horses now. And I think that's okay. Let's do that then. So we're up, we'll be up to like six Keshiks and two horsemen. We can't actually sell the horses though. Oh, well, that, that puts a bit of a... Downer in those plans. Seven gold per turn and 159 is too much. I trust you are a friend to liberty. And Assyria is not ready for war yet? No. Okay. Oh, we have to keep our eye out. There's not a lot we can do, really. They don't want to war each other. I don't want to construct a trading post. No, I wanted a road. Let's not finish that road piece for now. Because we want to complete it when we're actually ready to use it. He wants to go and attack Pakal now, really? I mean, I'm fine if you do that. And now we have Chivalry. Perfect. So, Keshik upgrades then. Horseman, Keshik, Keshik, Keshik. And then we need to finish the horsemen. But they, because it's finishing next turn, they will get the opportunity to transform into Keshiks. And then we've got these capture units here that can stay inside the cities for now. Probably finish this turn because we'll declare war on the next with these roads. And then we've got horses that we can sell to a lot of AIs here. Keshiks do take up horses, right? I'm sure they do. I guess that just meant we had some deals that ended that we can do back for gold. We've got four available now. We don't need any more than this. We should actually keep two, though, shouldn't we? I don't suppose America will declare war on the Iroquois. I think we need to. Oh, Bukatina says, let's go Keshix. Is their symbol a little hat? It is kind of a hat, isn't it? It is kind of a hat. And we need to go for education, I guess, to get universities up. It's going to be more important than the workshops, probably. And we need to hold two because we're currently paying for a couple of horses. So we're importing two. Although, no, we, we don't need to do that at all, actually, because we're importing them for one and exporting them for two gold per turn. So what we'll do is we'll just buy the horses back again if we can't afford it. And I don't suppose we've got enough gold per turn to pay for this war on America now. We do not. Oh, well, we tried. America's not looking too threatening anyway. Probably means we pro don't need to concentrate so hard on GPT. We can actually go back to working good stuff in our cities. Well, it might be Keshik time. Only one minute man visible so far. Yep, and see, our, our pre-builds came through and now we've got three turns left on Keshiks. So Beshbalik grew. I want to work this food. Do we wait or do we go now? I would like to go now, but we actually do only have three Keshiks. But America's just going to be running right into our kill box. So it's probably okay to just go now. Let me bring the scout back though. So if we go now, we can probably shoot and kill this horseman. 
We're getting four gold per turn from them. Right. And it's just a couple of turns for these Keshiks to come through, which we can probably weather a storm for. There's no sense in waiting. We want to get to work on the units. The units will come up. We can shoot them down with the city of Beshbalik and so on. Maybe bring some of these horses over. I think we'll be okay. Alright, well, let's go to war. No sense in waiting. I think we need to be able to back up a bit with these Keshiks. So let's do that. And then we can move forward and just... There we go. We've already dealt with one horseman. Perfect. We need to sell our iron to someone else. So, Brazil, hello. These buy our iron so that our gold return isn't ridiculously bad. Is an American scout right there? That's kind of annoying. Okay. So, let us roll the turnover and see what America does with their units. Yeah, this is nice. Look at this. They're not actually pushing in yet, which just allows us to... Completely kill a load of stuff before they even get in. Look at that. We can go right up onto this combo and shoot it and get back without any problems. Because of our roads. It's perfect. We just do need a couple more Keshiks to be able to make a, a difference in this war, which we'll get. And then once we have all of these Keshiks, we should be golden from there. We could have chopped, tried to chop down some of this jungle while we were here, but didn't really feel like we needed to. Yep, good. Carry on. See if any more units show up. So this combo is moved towards Beshbalik. And there goes Machu. We can just bombard that. And then we have our worker that can just improve some tiles. That's dead. We probably need to get started on the... Minuteman now. Yeah, 10 damage isn't a lot for a, on the Minuteman. Why? I guess we need some more Keshiks. But we'll work through those. We'll have 6 Keshiks soon and then we'll be able to do a lot more damage. And as we improve the Keshiks as well and they get stronger, we'll be able to do more damage. Might be nice to get another Keshik built and not Venice. And queue another one up. It's five turns. Going to grow here as well. Karakorum is going to grow. We can actually work the production there. That's fine. So now there's long slog. We lost our scout. That's actually saved us gold per turn. And... The AI is just like moved right next to us with a horseman. It's perfect. This Minuteman is very vulnerable, but we should probably just kill a unit while we have the opportunity to do so. Uh, we need to do something with all of these Keshiks though. But this is the only tile we can shoot the Minuteman from. What happens if we move here? 1.5 movement points, so we can actually get all the way back here. And these Keshiks have shot, and they're already ready to level up, which is perfect. And we have this Keshik that's just chilling in the cap. So this one, we can probably pull back to where... Put the Horseman in Karakorum, and we can pull this one back over there. And then this one can come here. It can put a shot into the Minuteman, and then we do like a bit of a shuffle with all of these Keshiks. And pop that into Beshbalik. We were paying for Coco with Bismarck. We have stopped doing that. And we can't afford to pay for it back. So we won't. Probably work a little bit of food and gold. In Karakorum. Because we are a bit short on gold. And we do want some more food. Well we're up to our six Keshiks now. So see what kind of damage that they can do together. The American units are moving into Beshbalik's range, which is what we want. Would be good for us to just kill a minute man, I think, here. We already have a... We'll take rough terrain on this first Keshik. And then we need to back up uh, rough terrain on this Keshik as well. Rough terrain on this Keshik. They're already, they've already got experience.
Good, and we can just keep doing Keshik things, because we have Keshiks. Has this one got movement? It does, okay. That's that dead. Then here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Wait, where's all of our six? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep, and we've only got one shot left. Just drop that one into that Miniman over there. Good says, I wonder what slowed America down with their expansions. Usually they have quite a few cities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got boxed in by the Iroquois, I think. And I guess they didn't see... They should have settled this down here. That's the sort of thing they settle. But I guess for some reason, the AI just did decided not to do it. Which I don't really get. But they didn't. So I'm not really going to complain. But you're right. Like, it is, it is quite weird that they were slowed down. And we have this caravan to send back to not Venice. Which we should. We have another city-state desiring our silver. Actually, I think it's the same one that desired it earlier. We're going to finish a couple of markets as well to fix our GPT. America appears to have backed up a bit. We still don't have our general, but that's okay. So market done. Temples would be nice because we need mosques. And now feels like a time to get some temples. We probably want to just shoot down something like the trebuchet. Or do we try and get rid of the Minuteman while it's here? How far can we go with this one? And then we can get back. Oh, we we oh okay. So we couldn't get very far with this. Maybe drop a shot in here then and try and get back. Can we get back? Where can we get back to here? We need to move this as well. If we can get back to here, then we should just swap with this one. And where can this one get back to? So this one can get back all the way back here. It's fine. Kill that now. And then do we have anything left with shots here? Just the one inside Bishbalik. So we need to swap in for this and then drop a hit on this. And then we can back up all the way here. Seems okay. Booker says, one of the roughest parts is when you have too many Keshiks is having to press spacebar like seven times to end the turn. It actually is, yeah. Gonna have to figure out a way to not end up doing that a lot. But it might just be unavoidable, sadly. This worker can go improve a tile. This worker doesn't really have any tiles to improve. Okay, Keshix and end turn. We ran a lot of Keshix out of movement, so it was a much smoother end turn press than we might have previously had. Washington builds Himeji Castle. Yerevan's election got rigged, which is okay. Kind of annoying that they built Himeji, but there's not a lot we can do about it. There's another Minuteman here. It's on a hill, so we might want to move some stuff over. At least that's dead, and we can swap these around. And we can back up. Then we've got this Keshik to come in and do some stuff. Again, that Minute Man. Okay, we need to back up. This one needs to shoot. And then this needs to swap with it. We can shoot in there, and we can get back to where we started. Perfect. And then get this one in, shoot, and move back. We need that other Keshik that's in the capital pretty soon. Uh, Mike says, should we bring back Hoof Hearted to lead the charge? <laughs> Booker says, it'll soon be your Himeji. We could bring back Hoof Hearted. Maybe we'll name Horseman Hoof Hearted. There we go. Oof Hearted is back. Fish Balak will grow. Got perfectly fine tiles to grow to. I think we can safely go and improve that tile. And hey, we got another civil service fund for Karakorum. <laughs> Mike says obligatory Hoof Hearted tax. Lol. In, the, in this case, we'll have to use um, Hoof Hearted 2. Because we've already got one. Unless you want to rename it something else. Oh, hey, this Keshit moved back too far. Not going to complain. How's, how's our pop doing? We are no to open borders. We've got 31 population, turn 121. <laughs> Mike says, I was just paying for the first unit change. Like, well, you got two now. And we have our first bit of experience on here. 
We still want to try and handle this must this minute man if we can. We can take our rough terrain promotion and shoot it and move backwards. We need to kill this minute man if we can. Okay, swap with that. And this can go back to where it started over there. Shoot there. Apparently, this Minuteman is pretty damn resilient. Uh, we should move this one back a bit further and then bring this one in here. But we have a seventh one now. It's only got one shot, so we hit the trebuchet. This seems fine in terms of the tiles that we're working. And then we can move forward and just improve some tiles there. Going to grow in the cap. Continue to make use of a bit of extra food. I think our population is doing okay. It's just it's quite slow. <laughs> Guren says the mobility. I know the mobility is something. And yeah. Yeah. Booker says once we get them promotions. Exactly. Once we get the promotions. It will be pretty game changing for the Keshiks. As, as the promotions stack up. It's pretty good. Wow. That Minuteman got an instant heal. Should probably just kill this trebuchet. Let's do that first. And then we can start on the Minute Man again. And where can we go back to? Over here. This can heal. We've got this. We've got our General finally. This Minute Man is going to take a bit of damage, I think. We might need to probably buy a Missionary as well while we're here. We can do that. And then the cap grew. We're going to finish that pikeman that we were building there. That's okay. But yeah, can Keshis get logistics? Asks Mike. Is that a thing? Yeah, they absolutely can. And range. So they'll be pretty good once they're promoted. Ours just aren't really promoted yet. And we've got Timur Karkan. So we'll pull him forwards. And the idea is probably just to general out this tile next to America. So that we can move into Washington. On the back of our... Keshik movement. And hey, look, there's a Minute Man that's not. Bogota declared war on us. There's no one nearby, so I guess we're fine. We actually had a lot of gold per turn earlier. We probably should have done something with it. Maybe is it temples to spread our religion more? Or is it another Keshik to help push this war forwards? Yeah, this one's a lot easier to kill. So we can try and kill that one instead. Maybe pull back there. And then on here, shoot that and find a way back. It's this one that we can get back to. So let's move it forward and then pull this back. Where can this go to? Okay, where can this go to? So go back to where it was. This can go back there. And then this is the last one to end the Minuteman. And go back into the city of Beshbalik. Perfect. Probably need to drop a, a road just down there so that we've got better road movement. And just continue chilling, fighting through these units for a bit. Let, let's kill a unit a turn. Invert Karakorum over. Did get some civil service farms up in a minute. But yeah, oh, Black Vegetable says, I think you need some more Keshiks though. He can build them as fast as you kill them. Yeah, we. I mean, we do. So we will build some. I'm certainly not going to stop. We have horse now. But eight Keshiks is about as many as we can project damage with. And we've got education, which means that we can do unis next turn. We've got a second promotion. Convert our city to our religion. That's more gold per turn. So, promotions on Keshik. So, a lot of these are getting promotion level 2s now. Karakorum expanded, and we don't have any tiles to work until we get these civil service farms up. I wonder if we can now pay the Iroquois to War America. Oh. Or perhaps if we can pay Assyria to go back and war America again. So it won't. But this might be a good thing to do. 10 gold per turn and 82 gold is quite a lot. We actually can't squeeze out any more gold though. Maybe we can. How about now? 
13 gold per turn and 6 gold. Or we just make it 13. Hopefully that will speed up our conquest a bit. And then we can just knock this out of the market slot. Like that. And now we need to... Do we need to manage a renaissance entry? 9 turns required. We absolutely do. But I don't know that we can get in there. Unless we build unis right away. How long is a uni? It's like 6 turns. We might... I mean we should probably just try it. But new turn. So America's got the Great Wall. Although we can claim this land for ourselves now. Let's take it. There appears to be no units here, so like maybe Assyria will go again. Us blood vegetable. Yeah, I think we. I mean, I think we tried and we didn't get there. This musket man is going to be a real pain. We really don't want to leave this so far behind, so we'll just swap in here. Eight. Can this go? Back there is about as far as we want to go here, even. So, heal, sleep. Not doing anything here. And then we got a couple of attacks left, do we? Was this one. I remember if this one had any attacks left now. Back up there. Back up there. And then this can come in here. I guess that's every attack that we've had. Yeah, sleep, sleep. Do nothing, sleep. Yeah, it's already sleeping. Okay, and we've got this pikeman that we can pull forwards, but there's nothing we can really do with it. Oh, book us. Are the minutes double cover promoted? They prob probably are. Knowing the minute man, this one probably is. Yeah, it's got two covers, actually. That's why it's so ridiculously good. I've got the graphical glitch. Hold on. It's fine. We can afford to just chill for a moment. Piling through these units. There's no real rush. Apart from maybe to try and get another worker up to put some roads down. We can even perhaps just try and kill Washington. But as long as this Miniman... Oh, it did actually instant heal. Oh, look. Look. They moved towards our citadel so that they took damage. That is like ideal. Oh, Yiga Bombs joins the stream today. Says tanky as shit. Looks like he only has one though, lol. <laughs> Paul Revere. Yeah, maybe. But he's got two now. He's actually got three. But this is okay because they're in really good positions for us to kill them from. We need to make sure we kill this first one. So it's this one that we want to bring up. Yep. And then how far back can it go there? And then this one can go back here. We'll probably need the room for a moment. And then maybe just swap with this one, which can shoot that. And then this one can kill this. Uh, wait, what? This one, oh, this one can't shoot. This one can't shoot. This one can. And this one can't. Okay. And this one can also shoot. Okay, so that's dead. And then we get a shot off from this. And it's going to move into the citadel, but it won't be able to capture it. So it might take ridiculous amounts of damage. But I'm pretty sure we don't actually need to worry about going back too far. We can just pull forward all of the Keshiks that we've got. And hey, look, we've got this pikeman that we can bring forward while we've got some room. While we keep exploring the map with our scout. Keep the worker here. He's going to take the worker. We can cap it back with probably this pike that we've got. Because if he goes in and takes the worker, he'll just take damage from the citadel. Oh, he actually pillaged it? Oh, of course, because Minutemen can move. Rip. Minutemen actually have additional movement through this kind of terrain. Well, at least we're going to take out a Minuteman. Where can we go back to? Okay. And I, can we finish it off with this pike? Good. And we've got a worker back as well. It's nice. I'm just bringing another one forwards. Are they all out? Yeah, they're all out. It's fine. We're just spending some turns wading through units right now. It's the way this kind of works against the AI sometimes. I need to keep training away our incense. 
Yeah, because we got the quest with Yerevan through now, so we can go back to trading our incense away. Yeah, Black Vegetable says, I was about to suggest maybe you get some knights as well, but of course that's not possible indeed. Oh, Yigabomb says, is it possible to take cities at this point without artillery? It actually is. We're just, um, the Keshiks will be able to do enough damage to the city as long as we've got enough of them, which we do. And eventually they'll start getting logistics and range as well, which then will mean that they're pretty powerful. It just takes a little bit of time. we just got to wade through some stuff for a moment. And then when we're done wading through everything, we'll be okay. I wouldn't worry too much, but yeah, it might be might be some nice. Booker says if this was multiplayer, we'd already have all three. We'd have all three cities of being eye and been eyeing up the Iroquois. We probably would have done. Yeah, these Minutemen are the only thing that's stopping us. But yeah, taking the city might legit be easier than a Minuteman at the moment. It's actually true. Minutemen are quite powerful, but now we have this Citadel. It's gonna enable us to get through a bit easier. Let's repair it. We have some more promotions on Keshix. It would have been really nice to have a barracks. We It would have been nice to start with one, but we just didn't have the XP. So we got a minute man that's up here that's vulnerable. So I guess we'll shoot that one. And then how far can this one get back? There we go. This is one of those games you play where you're like, how far can my units move this turn? Which is always kind of a classic thing that tends to go on when you're using something like Keshiks or Camels. Okay, so that's the Minutemen down and we're out of moves, aren't we? We are out of moves, okay. I wonder if we actually just need to upgrade a, a knight to a Keshik here. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things progress. Our gold turns pretty bad at the moment, but we'll fix that as we grow. We're just moving to work nice tiles right now. I would love to be able to get a road in on one of these tiles, but it's going to be tough. But we'll queue up some workers. And heal our pikemen in our territory. Maybe this uh, this minute man will get a bit fancy and move forward. Two more minute men now. Incense and marble with here worth it ended. Let's just keep trading. Not Venice grew. Oh, we weren't ready for that. I guess we were actually. I didn't even notice. Oh no, we weren't. We were not, but that's okay. Make a proposal. So we can propose the World's Fair just to make everybody like us. And the free social policy will actually be quite handy once we're done with our conquests. There isn't really a way to slow down our cultural accumulation now. Oh, rip. We could have done a better job with our workers there. There's not really a lot left to improve around the capital though. But that's quite funny. We've, had, we've got six workers on three cities. And it's only now that we're actually out of things to improve. Which is very good to know. Drop a road down on here. We can start building a road. And then move in here and just fix the citadel. Yigabomb says, <laughs> yeah, yeah, AIs love the world's fair. Blood Vegetable says, I would shoot the city this turn. It is almost worth it, isn't it? We can still kill a minute, man. But it might be nice to kill the city. Hmm. I'm intrigued. This pikeman, we're going to have to move a bit. To allow our Keshiks to shoot. I know I can't get away with... I would quite like to keep shooting these Minutemen. How far back can we go there? Perfect. Go there then. Did I just move a unit that wasn't supposed to move? I did. This one could be the one that just waits here. And then this one still has movement. Can actually go back to where it was stood. That's fine. These are all good, but these two have still got movement, which I guess is how we kill this Minuteman. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, well, I think we've shot with everything, so that's fine. Which means we can now move. Minuteman have 40 defense, city 34. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> agree with Veg. Shoot the city. Yeah, I think we will. I've, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling shooting the city as well. But I've got the, this opportunity to kill one Minuteman. Do we want to stand on this? No, we'll get our pike killed. We'll just leave the worker just chilling. We can maybe do some like worker funky shenanigans or something later. In fact, let's bring this horseman up because the horseman will be able to take the worker back and then move next turn. Let's hope this war with the Iroquois. He wants to make peace now, so that means, yeah, look, all his units have moved away now. So killing that has meant that all the units are now gone. So... We need to shoot the city. 
with that and then we can move back we can only go to here actually we can't go very far because we don't have roads everywhere so there's actually not a lot we can do in terms of city shooting because we're not on a road so let's pull all of this stuff forward And then next turn, we'll have all of the correct roads available. We'll just, let's just heal this Keshik for a turn. But then Mike says, do we know how his units, how his units are gone? Um, it, yeah, so the units all ran away. The war with Iroquois is finally paying dividends. <laughs> because it's because it's spring break and they're all in Florida. Maybe, I would love that to be the case. Also need to bring this knight forwards now, or this knight, this horseman. Stop saying it like we have actual knights, which we don't. We should actually get some more food around for Beshbalik. Got a lumber mill. Got that. Kill this pikeman. And then let's see what the, our workers do. If he doesn't take the worker this turn, we've now got... Here we go. So we're now kind of all good to go in and attack Washington because we can complete this road. Which is perfect. That's what we wanted. So finish the road. When are we going to do this? We still need food here, so let's take that. And Beshbalik, yeah, it's growing. We really do need food, but there's not a lot that we can do about the food. Although, we can just give this over. It's not great, but it's better than nothing, because this is a much better tile to work than whatever else we've got. <laughs> that spring break comment is really funny, though. So we can keep putting damage on Washington, or we can try and kill this Minuteman. It's a nice opportunity to kill a Minuteman. So I would probably quite like to take the opportunity just to kill a Minuteman. How far back can we go here? This Keshik. Okay. And then this Keshik's already attacked, but this one hasn't. Sleep that. Sleep that. So we've only got these Keshiks left. So this one can go up here now. And then we've only got two more to move. Which is good because I guess that kills us the Minuteman. It doesn't actually kill us the Minuteman. It's kind of crazy. I almost want to just go and horseman it. But I think that would be... We could have done with the extra Keshik that we're building in the capital. If it instant heals though, it'll die next turn. But that just says get the city before it builds a castle. That's true, That's true actually. Oh, Croatia 3, Scotland 1. That's unfortunate for Nizef and England still up 1-0. Uh, yeah, probably should try and get the city. We'll focus on it as soon as this Minuteman is down or dealt with. We'll do something about it. Not Venice, though, is kind of ready to work university slots. Well, you need more gold, but we'll handle that. We actually lost production on the Keshik. Really? We need the one hammer? We do. I'd rather not work the market slot and just hemorrhage more gold per turn for a couple of turns before we figure it. Yeah, seven, seven, seven Keshiks and then, yeah, nil minute man is perhaps one of the more important scores. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's go next turn and see how everything goes down. It would definitely be nice to kill the city before it gets a castle. What I don't want to do, though, is just have him recap the city. Because that's very much a danger. If we go and capture the city, he could just like recap it and then we'll get Washington with like four pop at the end of it. Can we actually kill this minute man that's over there? We can. Okay. And then a couple in to do some city damage. Back up here. And then have we used everything? I have used everything. So we just need to get this pikeman up in this citadel again. Just to hold it for a moment. Okay. Yeah, I think we do need to start putting damage on the city. I don't want to flip it, which is why I'm not like really YOLO going for it. But at the same time, Washington will grow back quickly enough. But yeah, it would, it would not be ideal to lose it exactly. 
Like, I just don't know that we want to flip Washington a couple of times. Just kill Minutemen and then let them run away doing stupid things in the Iroquois War. And then, yeah, we can move back to this Keshik here. This Keshik can only move back to there, so let's just do this swap. This Keshik can move all the way back with this one. Then these still need to shoot. Okay, perfect. And then we've got this one left to shoot. And is that all the Keshiks? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's all the Keshiks. And we've got a new one. Which can come forward and be ready to shoot on the next turn. Let's move this horseman out of the way. This horseman, I guess, is our capture unit, which can take Washington. We've got a deal end. Truffles and Golpatern with Hiawatha. I only need to start circuses and Colosseums. Because at this rate, we're going to be running into Cavil Infantry, lol. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's fine. Don't forget, this is a standard game pace. So turn 150 is actually like turn 100. Just remember that. So we've got a little bit of time. Got back in there. Actually, we kind of want to... Yeah, just wait there. And then Karakorum still needs to grow, so we'll do that. Yeah. It's one of the benefits of standard game pace is that you can do stuff like this. And be okay without having to run into cavalry or infantry. As like on like turn 133 on quick game pace would obviously be pretty dismal to be at war with something like this. But we've been gifted a warrior. Old Mati, let's just give that straight back away to Yerevan. And unfortunately, we have to take a social policy now. Honor doesn't make sense. Because we know that we're going to get the kill with America. So let's just take something which is going to help us actually win the game. Something like patronage to keep our city-state allies would be quite good. Or commerce for gold. Commerce for gold probably feels okay. And then we can buy a mosque. And university done. We can maybe build a garden next. And then a garden here as well. And it would be nice to have some more Keshik. Oh, this is a Pikeman. I thought it was a Minuteman. And it's a Pikeman. Let's do some damage to Washington first, and then we'll see how we want to handle the Pikeman in a bit. How do we do this? How do, how do, how do I make this swap? Oh, it can't go far enough. That's why. Okay, are these done? No, this one's still got some movement in it. I really don't want to kill the pikeman. It could just walk away now. We've seen him do it quite a lot. Where the units just kind of stride away. As opposed to actually doing anything useful. So instead let's just do damage to the city. Make sure that we've used up every Keshit we can. Which we have. Then this one can just come back here. And if it gets attacked by the pikeman. It gets attacked by the pikeman. But it's going to be attacked across a river. Moved on a road there at some point with a scout. This pike's still here. This pike can actually... It can't actually take Washington. It's fine. Next, so if it moves down here and actually attacks our Keshit, we can kill it. Because we'll need to relieve the zone of control on our horsemen. Horsemen might be able to get round with... Yeah, even, if, even with the pikeman there, but I don't know. It probably would have been wiser just to put the worker right there. Can we still attack Washington from here? We actually can walk all the way around. But now we have Barrage 3 on this one. There's units around Washington now. And I think we have another general. So this one is the one that just moved. So this now needs to come out. We've got Barrage 3 here as well. This one to swap if we can. Which we can't. Okay. Let's swap for this one. And then we can swap that one for this one. Perfect. And we can shoot Washington down. That's Washington down at basically zero. Which means we probably don't want to do any more damage to the city this turn. What are we doing with this Keshik? Go right here. I think we've used up every other Keshik shot that we've got. We do. Copper and Silk with Pedro ended. 
That was just our last copy of copper. And there's actually Sophia that wants it, so we can wait a turn. Oh, we've got a bot. Yeah, the general down for all the attacks, says Booker. Um, we definitely... I, I probably should have actually bought the general over. That was a bit of a mistake from me. Should have bought the general over first, just in case... Just in case we, yeah, could have got the combat bonus, which we actually wouldn't have done. We were just a tile away. So maybe it was okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Black Vegetable says, it would be annoying if the Iroquois take the city now, I know, wouldn't it just? We're still in danger of flipping it. So this pipeman runs off or something, or these like Minuteman that are around in front of Washington go and fight the Iroquois. We don't know where they've gone. This is good. This attack the horseman. We wanted it to attack the horseman, so that's pretty good for us. We're into the Renaissance era on acoustics. Another third promotion. It's logistics soon. Okay, we need to start. We need to kill this minute man. It's in the way. And then we've got just a couple more Keshiks left that can shoot. So this one can get Washington down to zero. And this one can get Washington actually down to zero. And are we out of Keshik shots? We actually are. There we are. Can we and should we take it? I don't see anything here. I guess we should just take it. Because it gets rid of a pikeman. Nice. <laughs> ours. Washington is ours. And we've actually gone up to 18 happiness because we captured Notre Dame. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ivory for copper, please. And we've even got an immediate trade with AI. What is this? But yes, we've got it. And we're kind of happy. We're taking look, he's actually settled Philadelphia. The question is now how many cities do we want to go up to? Go and says calculated. Yep. Done. Taken out. We'll rename Washington to PCJ's court, says Booker. When we get it annexed, we will. Do remind me of that, but we definitely have to do it. We need a garden in the cap. It's definitely PCJ Law's court. It's PCJ Law something, isn't it? If only we were like the Shoshone. And we could have trolled a bit with that. We should go in on banking. Do we need to? Okay, it would be nice to get some trade routes, like caravans and stuff, right about now. So maybe we can go for compass and then go in for banking. Or do we just go straight for coal? I don't really want to delay our tech too much, but we've actually greeded pretty hard. We should probably go back for metal casting, actually. It's something that I was thinking about. Yeah, but don't worry about it, Booker. We'll solve this. And we can start our road as well in Washington. Let's just drop a pikeman in the way so that the AI can't come and capture it. And then look at our attack path. We've got a nice, nice road. Oh, anyway, yes. Book says, quick, look at the wonders attained when you get a minute. So we have the Great Wall, Hanging Gardens, Himeji Castle, Notre Dame, and Terracotta Army. Which is kind of crazy. Really, really good. But the Black Vegetable asks quite a good question, which is whether to take all of America's cities or go after another AI. It's an interesting question because we definitely could do it. I think the first AI that you attack... It's quite nice to take some stuff off of them. Because those are going to be your sim cities. Oh, decent building survived too as well, did they, Booker? Oh, yeah, we've got well, look, we got a workshop. We, we don't even have workshops in our main cities yet. We've got a market. We've got an amphitheater, which means we can still do the hermitage. Aqueduct is in here. Colosseum, forge, granary, library, mint, monastery, and a stoneworks. Perfect. This is a really good city. And look, it's actually the same size as some of our expansions. We're up to... Where are we at? We're at 46 population now. So we're actually going to be on benchmark for turn 150 as well. Remember, the benchmark is turn 150 on standard speed, not turn 100 on quick speed. So our benchmark is actually going to be looking pretty good too. We need to be working this tile again. In fact, we've got the civil service farm completing Beshbalek. We need to work that. Which is really nice. And then... But yeah, if the other cities have a unique Lux, I think you take them. And then, yeah, Black Vegetable asks, does Boston have two unique Luxes? Boston actually kind of does. So Citrus is not something that we have, and Truffles is not something that we have. We can look at it here. If we have Truffles, we're trading for it right now, but we're actually not. So Truffles is unique. Citrus is unique. And then New York gets duplicate silver, but that's actually okay, because we can trade our silver away with, look, we can trade our silver with Poland. For their cocoa. So we can actually probably take all three. And all three cities look decent. So I'm quite happy to take them all. 
And I think then we can take six cities into the late game for whatever it is we choose to do. We don't need to do any improvements in our own city, so let's just pull all these workers forward. And then what we want to do is we want to move our Keshiks just forward a bit. So that they are closer, so that we can do the Keshik silly stuff. Move on to the next turn. So America's going down. And look, we don't even have to finish America off. Because they've got Philadelphia now. You're going to ask, does this mean America no longer has the Great Wall bonus? Exactly, they don't anymore. No longer have the Great Wall bonus. And Bukatini says, and the Keshiks have had their promo growing pains already. The next step is logistics. Exactly. We've got about three, is it? Keshiks that have the third promotion. Well, we do now, if we didn't before. Four. There we go. So they're through their growing pains. And we might even be able to do something else. I don't know what to do. I, I always feel like you take your sim cities from the first AI. And then the second AI just kind of serves to give you a capital. I would love to go after Assyria next, but Assyria actually don't have the world's largest army. We're only 10% behind Poland as well, which is perfect. Even though we've got unis up everywhere, that's actually quite good. Because we do have unis up everywhere. As for these AI, what's quite nice about where we're at right now is that this road is ours, which means we can go up onto this hill and be able to shoot Boston and all of these units. What I want to do though is take this Keshik and finish off that Minuteman before it becomes annoying. But yeah, it's sad to stop warring once you get range and logistics. Exactly. I think we'll we'll just war more to take a capital, but it's not going to be one of our sim cities. That's what I'm thinking. Oh no, we oh no, we got stuck on top of this hill. That's really bad. I didn't notice that one. We might have just lost ourselves a Keshik. And we can't really rescue anymore. There's nothing wrong with putting two Keshiks on hills now, though. I'm trying to just get rid of this pike. Oh, we don't even actually have to do that. We shouldn't have done that, though. That was a bit of a mistake. Hmm. Well, we can do damage to some units for a bit. And we might as well, because we're stuck here. Maybe if we push this pikeman forward, they might choose to go after it instead. Or we can sacrifice this horseman. Let's sacrifice the horseman. Because we've got another one. We've at least killed that now. And we can pillage this for some health there. I almost wonder if it's better to put this pikeman in front of the city, but I don't think so. Oh, we should have moved this general last turn. We definitely should have done that. I sacrificed the horsemen to try and not take any damage to the Keshiks. We don't really need it. We can we can take cities with pikemen. That's fine. I've done it before. Camel archers and pikes. So it's all right. We don't, we don't have to worry too much about the fact that we totally balked that. And then we'll keep bringing these workers over towards our new city since there's nothing we need to improve in our old ones. Let's hope that we don't lose a Keshik. I'm pretty sure we've done a good job just sacrificing this horseman to make sure we don't lose it. FJS Wolf says GG England. Ah, nice. I'm guessing that means England are through. Did they get the win as well? So we lost our horse, which is exactly what we thought would happen. And we have a promotion. Another barrage promotion. The Iroquois are actually in here with a knight. We want to make sure that the knight doesn't do too much. Make sure that it gets killed. Minuteman coming up from behind. That's what this pikeman can manage. Oh, we didn't finish this road still. That's a mistake. Yeah, well, we've got to finish now. Where can this get back to? It can get all the way back here. And this one can get all the way back here. I mean, we'll leave nothing in range, which means the knight will be the thing that Boston kills. And then we actually need to pull a horseman somewhere. Like there. This has not got something, because we need to get back there into the citadel. 
This is already attacked, has it? Oh, hasn't it? I think it has attacked, hasn't it? Well, it's moved a bit. Oh, okay. Well, it hasn't attacked. I didn't really notice. And we've just got one more Keshik, right? To shoot with. Yeah, it's this one that's currently in city range. It means that we need to bail it out and get it not in city range. We can actually come back right there where the worker is. That's perfect. Start chopping down a tile. And we can maybe try and repair some stuff. While we're here. Or like build some stuff. But yeah, 1-0. Nice. Good job, England. I mean, England have scored a grand total of... Was it two? Was it two goals in the tournament or something? Or three? It's not really a lot. But I guess they're through. You can score goals when you need them. We get a scientist in 10 turns, which is allies with Yerevan. Hopefully. Yeah, it is allies with Yerevan. Stay friends with Iroquois, which means we probably need to attack Assyria next, which is fine. I think we're happy killing Assyria. City connection established to Washington. The Karakoram and Beshbalik grew. Do we have any good tiles for them to work? We do indeed. And Karakoram needs some tiles. We should think about buying that banana. I guess they can work with that for now, though. This says, might be England versus Germany in the last 16. Oh, yeah, England weren't supposed to top the group, were they? Supposed to tactically come bottom of the group. We'll trade away the last of this iron that we've got. I guess we probably should. Let's trade away the iron. And then continue to get to work on Boston. Let me go back this far. Has this one moved already? It hasn't. We've already gone back here, so we need to swap swap this one in. What are we doing here? Why can't they switch? Oh, because this one can't go that far. Okay. Need to kill that minute man while we're here. This can go back to where it was, and this can go back to where it was, and that's everything attacked. I think. Sleepy Keshek attacks like this. But yeah, you do have to be really considered to make sure you don't make a bit of a mistake with your Keshiks. This is what we're doing. Pretty sure Washington's production is good enough. We can turn that into a farm. Gwen says, oh, and you have Baba Luther King. You and Baba Luther King might have to have some issues with each other. Lol. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see who England face up. Germany have been okay, right? But they, they certainly weren't looking good when they took a bit of a beating compared to France. We're good now, though. And we've got gardens finishing by turn 140 standard. Which is kind of ridiculous. And our horsemen get in to Boston in one turn. We just want to check that. We should be able to take Boston soon. We actually should just trade away these horses because we don't we're not using them. Although maybe we should have got another one for Assyria. America wants us to give us Philadelphia now. I don't want to do that. This Philadelphia is the city we want to leave him on. There's a crossbow that's appeared on the field. But again, not to worry. We've got our trusty pikemen stood right in the way of the city. Gardens done, workshops next. Now that we finished metal casting, and now we can turn up for banking. So, Washington's in resistance for four more turns. We don't want to finish chopping this down until that's ready. Can this go into Boston in one? That's oh, the Keshik. I, was talking, I want the horseman. Yeah, the horseman can go in in one. So, we just want to be careful to make sure the Iroquois can't actually capture it. Can we kill it this turn? Probably. It's going to be a bit of a risk to try it. I think we can get it this turn, though. We've got a lot of Keshik firepower. Oh, wait. This one hasn't moved yet. This one, where does it go? This needs to go there. Okay. Yeah, because we've still got a couple more Keshik attacks, right? This one still hasn't attacked. And that's Boston down. Oh, it's a Keshik, this one. Create Puppet. Wow. <laughs> uh, the Iroquois were ready to kill this city. Ah. <laughs> uh Okay, that war really did pay dividends. Come back here. So what do we have left of shots? Just one Keshik shot, which is fine. 
Just use its damage a minute, man. Wow. That's kind of kind of close. We didn't take that city a moment too soon. We can now push up onto this tile as well out of our great general spot. We're still ridiculously happy because, yeah, sure. We'll spy this bananas while we've got the chance. Bark it over this kind of garbage tile. And then move on. Again, scientist in seven now because we got the garden up, which means that we will get Yerevan as friends as soon as that pops out. Open borders with the Iroquois seems okay. We want to continue to be friends. But they're not going to challenge for New York. Yeah, Booker says that was close. I know. Like, look at all these units. I mean, we, we missed them now. But it was an almost carpet of doom right there. And America hasn't actually even improved their citrus. I didn't even notice. And now we fight. Oh, no. We still don't finally have logistics. We've got another triple promoted one. So we need to capture New York just to get logistics in. Is this a road that the pikeman's on? It is. So we'll drop the pikeman right up onto our silver. And then... What movement have we got left? Two and a half. Okay. This is fine. Cool. And then here. This can only go back there. So we'll swap this one in. And this one go back here. It can. So we've got this one to come out. Go the pike now. What shots have we got left? Send that up there. And we just got these three ones in here. So we can keep doing damage on pikes. And then move back. And that's all of the Keshiks out. So we just need to clean up a couple of melee units. And then we'll be all good. Washington's in resistance for a couple more turns. This worker needs to go and help out in Boston. For sure. Because Boston has got like no tile improvements. Should we just like get open borders with Brazil? Hola. Seems relatively friendly so that we can travel through their territory. Who farted two is hanging around? What's who farted one gone again? Oh, we sacrificed two farted one. So at least we got two hoof hearted. And this can keep going towards not Venice. And when we get new caravans, we'll send them to Washington. But Washington almost doesn't need it. And so we're now up to turn 141. We're now on 53 population. So the benchmark that we usually have for five cities is 55. So we know we're going to meet that happy days. And when we take New York, that'll even meet us the six city benchmark. We've got like 60 to 65 pop, which is perfect. Our gold per turn is nearly neutralized as well. And we don't even have Washington connected to our trade network. Should we build the Sistine Chapel? Probably not. I would like to, but I don't think we can afford to. Oh, what did we capture in Boston? We captured an amphitheater again. That's so good. We're getting really good with these building captures off the Deity AI. If there's one thing that's good about Deity AI, it's building captures. We need to find a way to get a city to work this tile. I guess this one for now. We have to figure that one out. Okay. So there's another Minuteman that's coming to be a bit of a nuisance. And then this needs to go back there, does it? Okay. okay so that's a Minuteman out of the way. Then we actually still have a couple of Keshiks back here that haven't done their shooting yet. So that's two and a half. One and a half movements to go all the way back here. Perfect. Do that. Where's another Keshik that needs to come in here? Okay, where can this one get to? There. And this one can get back across the river. Like that. And this can go over there. And finally, this Keshik can shoot New York and back up. Good. Okay, we're nearly ready. We just need to heal who farted for another turn. FJS Wolf says, AI hey, never... AI never vote for re also. Oh, that's true. Yeah, no retakes has been nice. <laughs> but yeah, the... Uh, you mean like not having the AI recap a city? Because yeah, that's... Um, we we tr we worked very hard to make sure that that didn't happen. For sure. Because we don't... We really did not want... To have to... I mean, because we lose population by getting something flipped. So especially when you've got something like Keshix, you can afford to be incredibly quite unquote surgical about the way you do things yeah no retaking the city to avoid making to lose that pop sometimes you just have to take a city to break into something but especially on the deity ai 
you really want to work hard to make sure that you clean out a lot of the units before capturing the city. Just make sure they can't retake it. Like, you don't have to kill everything, everything, but just make sure they can't retake it. And just, and be a bit more careful and surgical about things, because lose having a city recapped is like the most devastating thing ever because you it's like three rounds of potentially losing buildings which is just terrible this is kind of why you know we we landed up with a load of buildings in washington which is really good for us but it would have been all down the drain if we'd lost some buildings And especially if we'd flip something like Boston, it would have made Boston, frankly, not worth actually keeping. We've got a bit of time to put some damage on there. Oh, we should actually have this general inside Washington. I have no idea what I was doing not having that general for so long. One turn of resistance in Washington. So here's a nice trick for everybody. Oh, Black Vegetable says, good luck with the rest of the game. I'm heading off for the night. All right, see you later, Black Vegetable. Thanks for joining the stream today. Have a good evening. So here's a nice trick for everybody. Because, and this works exactly the same way as the production focus trick, when a city is in resistance for one turn left, you can actually annex it this turn and you get the production next turn. And that's because the resistance counter is kind of like at the end of your turn. It doesn't clear at the beginning of your turn. Or you know, some, some things are weird like that. But basically, the resistance counter ticks down before your production goes through. So what we can do is we can just annex Washington. Set it onto production focus. And queue up and get all of its nice tiles sorted like this. I mean, it's so good. We probably want the horses. We probably want to work the iron and the silver like this. And then we want to get rid of wealth. Probably want a courthouse first up. And we'll actually get production to it on the next turn, whatever its actual production per turn is. Really nice. Really nice trick to remember. So you get a turn back. And that doesn't matter so much on standard game pace. But it 100% matters on quick game pace. We need to get this luxury up still. But yeah, well, Booker says, I didn't know that cheers. Also, rename, yes. Well remembered indeed. So it's uh, it's PCJ's court, I guess. I don't think we can rename it PCJ Law's court. Oh, we, we can? PCJ Law's court. There we go. No longer Washington. We, uh, we should have done this a different day. We'll save something fun to do with America for perhaps the I think we're going to do a stream on Independence Day on the 4th in case anybody's around I'll definitely plot something to do with America then I won't tell you what it is yet but I've got an idea in mind but I think I've got an idea which some of you will hopefully enjoy or what we can do on the stream day it's not going to be wild but I, hopefully it's going to be a bit of a fun thing to play with a declaration of friendship with Brazil ended okay We've finished a workshop, so now we can actually build a Colosseum in our capital. We still don't have one of those. And we need to be thinking about guilds. It's actually a 12 turn 16, which is perfectly fine. I wonder if we do try it over the Colosseum. Oh, and here, here we go. Look, so we actually managed to get our 17.6 production into our courthouse over the end turn. So perfect. Everything worked out exactly as we hoped that it would. And PCJ Law's court can continue growing. We've got plenty of happiness. This, can this horseman take New York in one turn? It actually can't, so we've made a mistake here. I don't think it's going to make a difference, though. So we want to attack New York, which means this general can actually just chill with the pikemen on the hill. Because we come into the horse, we're now next to the general. So we get the great general combat bonus. This can actually only go back into PCJ Law's court, so we should remember that. This has still got some moves. Yeah, this can oh this one can also only go back into PCJ Law's court. This is fine. Sleep. Uh, this one's still got to attack. Fine. Oh, it can go back to where it started. That's perfectly okay then. Attack New York. Oh, we can't actually take the city on this turn anyway, so it wasn't a mistake at all to be stupid. I mean it's always a mistake to be stupid, I guess, but our stupid mistake didn't actually cost us a turn on this war, which is fine. Bring over more workers to this theatre of war to do stuff. I'm pretty sure we don't need this lumber mill. So let's just chop down for that. And we can chop this forest down now as well. Oh, 
Scott joins the stream, says, oh boy, I'm late to the party. Welcome to the screen, stream, Scott. Says, this hit and run strategy, I know. We are hitting and running. FJS Wolf says, July 4th, shots for subs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're actually not supposed to do shots for subs. Um, I mean, I, rem I, I don't actually know for sure, but I'm pretty sure someone, like, filth I caught Filthy Robot on stream at one point saying that he wasn't allowed to do shots for subs. I mean, we'll do what we do, but I'm pretty sure I can't do it. <laughs> Even though it, it sounds like a pretty terrible idea anyway, I must admit. I mean, it's sort of great fun. We'll, we'll try and think of something. I need to try and think of some fun, fun things like that. Even if shots for subs is not what we eventually do. It's nice to have some fun stuff. Let me just stay friends with Brazil. Oh. I guess we can keep selling these horses now. We, we should probably keep two. Scientists in a couple of turns to get allies with the Aravan. Boston, we can annex as well. It's building a wall, so we don't want to do that. Go to production focus and work some nice tiles here. Got a banana, that's good. We've only got like four pop. Something like that is okay. We don't want to be building the walls. We do need a courthouse. And we can get a mosque here. We need 25 for a mosque, I guess, because we've gone to the next thing. But anyway, F let's see. Uh, Booker says, let's just pretend it's water, <laughs> lol. Yeah. Yeah, FJS Wall says, Booker, I remember someone saying it's against terms of service or something, like sips of beverage for subs, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how that works, because Twitch... So, um, drink... Take a sip of your beverage is a Twitch thing. Like, it's genuinely a thing that Twitch sort of recommends oh, okay. you to have as one of... Uh, yeah, as one of its kind of suggested things that you can do for That's channel points. Cool. So maybe there's a grey area there that could be used. Like if your drink is just just like shots and then people do like <laughs> take a sip of your beverage. Booker, thanks for keeping me hydrated. I've got to fill this up actually. Alright, well, I need to fill, fill this water up. So let me do that. I'll also take a quick toilet break. So I'll be back in two minutes. We can get to finishing off America and then we'll decide on which AI to kill next. Okay, I'm back. And Scott says, Keshiks are so cool. Indeed, they are. Keshiks are really fun. They're not as good as Camel Arches, obviously. But what is their big strength is the fact that they gain XP faster. So we're about to get logistics on our first set of Keshiks. Should we just build a stable here now? Production's actually not bad, but we don't. Amphitheater. I've just clicked Barracks by accident, but we want an Amphitheater. Because we need to start working on our Hermitage. Since we've actually managed to capture Amphitheaters... Working on Hermitage is actually... Hermitage is not a pipe dream, basically. So we should go for it while we've got the chance. Gurren says, I guess it's good that Keshiks are not as strong as camels. Otherwise, you have those and special generals. Yeah, exactly. It could be kind of ridiculous, couldn't it? Can this horseman now take New York? It can. Okay, we're all good then. 
How far back can we go with this? We only need to go back as far as this. And just movement checking with Keshix. Such is life. Where can we go here? We've moved this one yet. No. Okay, this one's one of those that can only go here. I bet this one can go back there, which it can. And it looks like this city's going to fall. With one Keshik left to go as well. It's kind of fun. And there's New York. And we can create Puppet. We want to keep these cities. We've even kept an amphitheater here. This is kind of ridiculous right about now. Wow. Okay. And New York's got seven population. So we've got flat zero happiness. That's okay. We'll build some courthouses and stuff. And we're up to our six cities. We can even peace. I would peace Washington. But I would quite like to get logistics on some of this stuff first. Do we need to do that though? If we just go to another war, we'll get to logistics pretty fast. That's cool. And Mr. Jarvis asks, are the buildings you keep here RNG? Yes, it is. So every building has a percentage chance of being kept when captured. If you hover over the building, it actually tells you. So library 66%, Coliseum 66%, Circus 66%, Watermill 66%. Amphitheater is actually 100% captured chance. I never knew. That's why we're keeping them right now. That's why capturing deity cities is so good if you can do it, actually. Because the amphitheater is like 100% capture chance, which is really cool. And we're going to have to bring some workers over to New York as well. It appears the long, long wars that America was in has not been kind to its worker situation. Which is to be expected. Let's actually... We need to rip up a couple of pointless roads to save gold per turn. So we can do that now. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just rip up some pointless roads with some of our remaining workers. But our Booker says, I think the diff in Camels and Keshix is bigger in multiplayer, though. In single player, it's much easier to keep Keshix out of range and trouble. Yeah, so that's the one thing. So there are a lot of good players that would claim that Mongolia is truly a rubbish civilization for multiplayer. And the reason is because where Camel Archers have 21 ranged combat strength, they're pretty impervious to everything of a similar era. However, Keshix with 16 ranged combat strength and 15 melee combat strength means that they're actually pretty damn vulnerable to knights. And so what you tend to find is that because Keshiks are at the same place as knights, if you if your opponent gets to knights at a similar time that you get to Keshiks, it's very easy for your opponent to knight slam your Keshiks down to death because you've got 21 knight combat strength going against 15 combat strength. So it's, yeah, Keshiks are, Keshiks are okay, but in simultaneous combat, it's a lot harder to do this stuff with all the movement. And Gurren exactly says, Rough Mercy's pushed back Keshiks with combos the other day and multiplayer exactly. I didn't see it, but I mean, like pushing back Keshiks with combos is a bit much. It's probably just because the opposing player was bad just as much. I mean, obviously you have to play well to push back Keshiks, but I imagine it's, somewhere, it's something like where the other player also made quite a lot of hefty mistakes. Like, you can't just push Keshik's back with Composite Bowman. But you, at the same time... Oh, it was boss, lol, was it? And in, in this case, maybe it was just... Maybe it was just Keshik's being bad then. Oh, no. I mean, I, I originally assumed that, like... Because Keshik's, like, combos... If you've got combos, Keshik's going to ruffle stomp them. Because they're as, they're as good as Crossbowman, right? So, if Keshik's are as good as Crossbowman, except that they can move and shoot... Because they are as good as Crossbowman then they're supposed to ruffle stomp combos just as much as regular crossbows ruffle stomp combos, but even more so because they can actually move. So like there's an element of the fact to it. It's like, you know, the only reason you push back a, a Keshik attack with combos is if someone isn't doing their Keshik attack correctly. But it's definitely possible. Like as with practically, as with everything except probably camels, everything is push backable if your opponent plays badly with it. And that's probably just something that I would point out right there. It's like, it's not that Keshik's are rubbish against combos. Everything's pushed backable if played badly, except for probably camels. But you still have to obviously play well to push them back. So GG's are rough for pushing back bosses' combos, but... Or no, for pushing back bosses' Keshik's. But it just kind of outlines where they struggle sometimes. But also, I think one of the worst things about Keshik's in multiplayer is that... If you spawn next to Mongolia, you're aware, you're very aware that they can go Keshiks. Whereas if you just spawn next to someone who's playing 
Rome. Well, no, Rome's a bit of a bad example, but if you just spawn next to someone who's playing a normal Civ, you don't expect them to go, you know, if you've got someone who's got, who goes, who's got Keshix, you're thinking that they're looking for an opportunity to use Keshix. Whereas if you spawn next to someone who's got no unique unit in that era, you're not so much expecting it. And you can go crossbows instead, and they're just they're just as strong as Keshix. But Keshix have got the movement advantage. Like war, movement is a big thing in war. It's by chariots better than composite bowmen. So that's kind of it's kind of the same deal, really. It's like chariots versus combos, Keshix versus Expos or combos. It's kind of a similar story. But Booker says I watched Rough Attack Someone Cities with comp Composite Bowman this morning. Yeah, it's kind of. I mean, it's all to do with the person you attack. I think the the real reason why Boss is such a frighteningly good multiplayer player is, I mean, he sims very well, clearly. But I think Boss is very good at finding the what I would call the cheap attack. Like, Boss is one of these guys who can find the turn 80 combo rush, which is so much better than doing a turn 90 crossbow rush. And I guess that's the thing that I would say about him. Like, Boss, for, yeah, he's got a way of being able to find that attack if it's there, which is something that I need to learn. And it makes it so much easier for him to do silly stuff. Because if you can do a turn 80 combo or turn 70 combo rush, you you can actually then afford to pretty much just kind of sim like normal because combos are so much cheaper than crossbows and by nature of it if you're combo rushing someone the war is in general a lot cheaper so you can almost follow pure sim city in your home cities after dedicating about 10 turns to military production which is pretty much just free at that point and then you can claim like three extra cities from it and you can go all the way up and you can you can do some of these ridiculous six city sims like going for a crossbow rush usually means that it's unless it usually a crossbow rush usually means that you cannot follow a pure sim path and take six city op sim. But with something like combo, not a combo rush, but just like finding a combo attack post national college is uber powerful. Guren says boss is Attila IRL changed my mind. Yeah, I mean he almost kind of is. It's that early war thing as well. You know, Attila Attila's got early war units. Boss does some of this early war stuff as good as anybody. And then manages to turn it into a great stealth sim. Booker also says, I'd also put ship of the line next to camels as something you should just want to r run away and cry from. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is why people ban England and Arabia pretty much every multiplayer game. Because it's very... You don't want to spawn next to someone who is just going to do camels for the sake of cameling. Like, I am not going to do camels for the sake of cameling. Because you want... You, like, camels are camels. They're good, but you still want to do them in the right situation. Whereas you can easily spawn against someone who will just decide they want to just do camels because they're Arabia. And that is what you want to avoid. Because if someone just decides to do that, your game is ruined. You can't play a game of normal Civ 5. You either just die on turn 80 or you have to chariot rush them. So people like England and Arabia always get auto banned for that exact reason. And it's why Mongolia doesn't get auto banned. Although Mongolia often gets banned as well because you want to avoid someone getting it into their head that they're just going to Keshik because they've got Keshix. And again, like Keshiks are even worse. So that's the last thing you want to do. So when you're up against one of these random war sieves, it's China, England, Arabia, Mongolia. You're always worried if one of your opponents is just going to decide they're going to use the unit unit because it's there. And so a lot of times people will chariot rush someone who's doing that. Or you just outright ban the civilization so you don't have to deal with that nonsense. Gwen says, even if you're not going to camel somebody, they wouldn't they war you anyway because they don't want to rescue cameling them? Exactly. Exactly. But sometimes you don't want, sometimes it's hard to do that as well. Which is why it's so annoying when something like Arabia, England, Mongolia or China makes it into the game. China's got a more viable sim and Chikanoos are pretty damn flimsy to knights. But it still doesn't prevent someone from just getting it in their head that they're going to use this OP unit unit and doing it. Which is why I would ban them. And yeah, exactly. If you pick them, you have to always worry about a chariot rush. We need to go on to this next turn and then think about who we want to attack next. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I want to... We should spend that gold on the research agreement with Poland, actually. There's no reason not to. Oh, Kazimir's just spent his gold. Lol. He actually wants horses. For a Lux. I don't think we need it, or do we? He wants horses for a Lux, though. I mean, I would like more camels, but... Or more camels, more Keshiks, but we've got seven and they'll have logistics soon enough.
And here we go. Logistics. Logistics. And a horseman with um, shock. Okay, so we got two logistics. PCJ Law's court group. Want to work a bit of production for a moment. In fact, we can finish this courthouse next turn if we work one more mine. Let's just do that. Finish the courthouse in one to make sure we're happy. New research agreement connected. We had a deal run out. We need to get that back. This city grew. We actually now have, apparently... Yeah, we do have this hill inside our borders. We need another worker. We should just build one somewhere. Karakorum, maybe, because it's a little bit ahead of its amphitheater than Bishbalik. We need to figure out what are the best tiles to be working. Let's quickly sort our tile assignments while we're here. The Bishbalik has some stuff that it could work. But so too does Karakorum. We don't... I guess we do want to try and work the copper for the moment. So we can happily do that. And then... We've got this worker that's here. I mean, why doesn't, this, why, why doesn't this come back and do something useful? We can deal with the dirt roads another day. And then, oh, Nizif says, I think Arabia, England, and Mongolia, etc. were not designed for multiplayer at all. I like them a lot in single player, but for multiplayer, they're not very interesting. I mean, it's true. The interesting thing about their civilizations is killing stuff. And so, like, they're pretty... I I'm not going to say, like, one-dimensional, although they kind of are. It's quite, like, one-dimensional in multiplayer, I guess. We need to make Boston better fast. It's a truly bad city right now. And we need to... We probably do want to attack Arabia, right? And we can just run the Keshiks up around here. We should probably get a road right on this tile, though. Would like that. How do we... Our units are all in the wrong place, but we can probably Keshik them without the use of... Roads. But let's move all this stuff down, because... It would definitely be a shame not to do anything with our logistics Keshiks. Like, taking an extra capital is totally worthwhile use of it. And we've got like seven of the things, or like eight. So I think we can do something good with them. How, about, how many Keshiks do we actually have? I've probably just grossly overestimated as many as we do have. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we do have eight. Perfect. And then this Keshik here is also sleeping. Yeah, I just didn't look. Okay. Well, we've got eight Keshiks, so it's something for... I would definitely agree, like, the those sieves are just a bit less interesting. Is PCJ Law's Court fine for food? Probably not. We don't really need to send it to not Venice. We need to make PCJ Law's Court better. Or actually, probably more important, make Boston better. PCJ Law's Court is okay. We should try and get Assyria to war someone while we're here. If we're going to go for them, we need to get them to war someone. Iroquois would be perfect. We won't do it. I mean, we don't have the resources to do it, in fairness. Uh, Iroquois would, however, water Syria. For copper, 94 gold and 1 iron. We can actually kind of afford to do that. We've got a courthouse coming in. Uh, the DPN joins the stream today. Says, hey, welcome the DPN. We would quite like this war. I don't mind giving up gold to do that either. It's a shame that we can't get Assyria to do it back on here, Watha. Like copper and iron. Because we're not friends, I guess. But let's guess that, let's get this war going. We can maybe try and get a discount on here as well. Let's try like 70. 75. 80. 85. 90. Because we've got a courthouse coming anyway. Like, what did he want? 94. Okay. Can we get this research agreement with Poland? We can get one with Iroquois. Let's do that. Use our gold for something. Then we can move on. This horseman will heal quite fast and then get to the front. We won't need it for city captures for a while. And because we've got six cities, there's no way that we want to sim on Kartikul Tinanurta. So we want to raise that in Nineveh probably and just go straight for Assur. We have our scientist. Which is going to mean that we're... Wow, we're not even allies with the Yerevan. But when we rig, we will be. And that's in three turns. We'll just run away from America. We should peace them. He says, let's make a deal. Can we not at least get two gold per turn? No, okay. Of course not. Let's just get peace with America then. There's no need to do anything fancy. 
Porterhouse is done. We'll need some happiness for a bit, but it would be nice to get a uni. We've got our general that's chilling. We, sh we forgot to move that around last turn. And we get this citrus improved as well at some point. The Boston. Which is doing better now. And we can maybe push for... Let's take economics before we make a decision about where we go next. Actually, because we captured cities, mini compass for the trade routes. I'm building a swordsman. That's why it took so long for the work. <sighs> Lol. We kind of don't need this worker. Let's actually get a caravan up. And let's try for the Sistine. If we lose the Sistine Chapel, we've got our guilds queued. We've got quite a lot we can do. We do need a worker though. So at least put a road on a useful tile around here. This worker that's here in New York. I guess we captured that. I want to chop down the forest at some point, but we should first improve some deer. Move along with these Keshiks. Have we got any more here? Yeah, we do. Perfect. We might even border expand to that incense over there, which would be quite handy. What's quite nice about these Keshiks is that they like move around the battlefield so much easier. And we have a scientist. It's before turn 100. We could even plant this if we felt it necessary. Plant it on like a horse tile or something. It's maybe worth doing with the first one. Let's move it up there and think about it. But that's probably a good idea. Just to plant the first one of these things. Some workers to take with us to the front of Assyria would be good. But we've got them all doing work now. It's because we're building this wonder in the capital is why we're struggling so bad for this stuff. Because we need these workers to improve our actual sim cities. Move our general forward. And this pike can cross the river. Let's just have a quick observe what's going on in the Syrian territory. There's literally nothing here. We want to back out of city bombardment range just in case he does something like ask us what we're doing. That's Halab that's actually being attacked by Yerevan. I wonder if Syria's going to ask us for war. We'll have to. We'll actually have to go to war if he asks. But, you know, we'll try. We can just go plant this on one of these horses. Seems okay. There's some extra science now. Sistine Chapel in eight turns. We didn't just bought with this, did we? No, we didn't. Good. Which ballot's going to grow. We're ready for that. We're not going to go unhappy. And New York needs four turns in resistance. It's almost like we do need... No, because we're going to improve that luxury. Oh no, we're going to have to declare war. Okay. We only took damage on one Keshik, which is okay. We'll have to heal it. I thought that might happen if we moved all of this up. This Keshik can actually attack twice and then just run away for a bit. Oh, there goes Sistine. Well, it's Guild's time. And we've got some gold, which is actually another research agreement. But we can sign that. So, Keshik can get a double shot and then just move away. Somewhere it can heal for a bit. And then we need to try and get out of city bombardment range with these Keshiks. Which apparently we can do. This warrior is just totally useless. Let's just run it in and pillage something. And we've got this Keshik that can actually do something in here. So if we just like move these ones around, what we can do with this one, that's actually got another shot apparently. But well, we actually just need to move over. And then this one is in damaged territory, but we can move that back here. And that's a better position to be in. We lost the Sistine Chapel, unfortunately. But I think we can go for earlier, early-ish Hermitage and be okay. We're actually being attacked here by the city-state. 
Let's just bring some military units over. We're going to get this worker captured if we're not careful. Sophia's a bit annoying. Oh, well. We can deal with that, I think. Get another caravan in Beshbalik. And we can bring... Oh, we should have brought this general forwards for the war. But oh, well. It's there now. Scott says, nice tile. Oh, what, what's, the, what's the tile? Are oh, you talking about like these tiles in here? I didn't notice. And now we go for economics to delay our decision about schools and stuff. Oh, the great scientist horse tile. It really is a nice tile as well. Yeah, it's up to our science by quite a bit. We need to get our guilds going and we'll get this cultural ally in just a couple of turns. Lost the warrior. Expected. But now we're pretty much ready to wreck the Assyrian city of Kartikulti Ninurta. Get our horsemen over. And then we've got our general that can just move in here. So that we're sort of maximally doing great general stuff. Oh look, the siege towers have turned up. Our logistics here as well. So that's two movements. Shoot, shoot, and come back. Wow. In, shoot, shoot, and come back. Oh my god. I mean, we can take the city when we're ready. We've probably bought up the movement a bit because ideally what we would have done is. Yeah. So they're two and one. We'll have to stay in city range if we do anything other than shoot the city with this Keshik. One, two, shoot, and then two back. Should be okay. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. And then we can move this general back and out of the way. A warrior did in fact die and Boston grew. We've got another great general too. So we can pull that forwards. We're seeing our great general's bonus now with these Keshiks kick in, which is perfect. What about this food here? We're going to get a pasture up in a couple of turns anyway. And then improve tiles. Needs to be done. Oh, so, oh man. Lost Che says, is this game quick speed? No, it's standard game pace. So we need to send this one to PCJ Law's Court. We should just send it from somewhere like Boston if it's got a granary. It does. So each of our new cities needs to have a trade route. Sleep the Keshik. And we've got this pikeman that just wants to defend against the city-state for a bit. I only need the horsemen, really. City-state stuff took some damage. Some knights have showed up. We'll have to handle those now. Yerevan's now our ally, which is perfect. Apparently, Pedro's gone into the industrial era. And we've got another Keshik that has logistics. We're taking logistics first over range because logistics helps us get to range faster. We can do two shots instead of one. So that's in and then double shoot and then move away. Oh, it's actually only got one shot. Well, that's okay then. We're on a hill here. We can do two shots. In, shoot, shoot. Back up a couple, probably. Is that we need to create room for this. So in, shoot, shoot, and then back up. And then here, and go in, shoot, and then back up. And then that's two. We can only shoot once here to be able to get back out of city. No, no, no. We can actually do two shots and get back out of city bombardment range. That's perfect. And that gives us a little bit of extra time to pull forwards this horseman, which is now here. We can move this general over so that we can put a worker just with a road there. But yeah, oh, Lost Chase says, oh damn, nice pop and science by this turn. It is actually, so it's turn 151. Let's review the benchmark. We've got six cities. Our benchmark is usually 50 population for four cities on turn 100. Add five for each additional city. So 60 population for six cities. And we've got 66, which is perfect. Now, granted, we don't have any universities. Send this to PCJ Law's Court. We don't have any universities, which means that it's not quite the same as a, a sort of a sim empire. So the fact that we've got 10% over the benchmark is probably actually about right. Given where we're at. A couple of turns for more happiness. So it's, yeah, it's nice population. Or we'll turn 150 on standard speed. Is Sophia going to be really annoying? 
is actually being really annoying. Like, what? Why is the city-state being so aggressive with their stuff? And logistics again. So, PCJ Law's Court grew. Perfect. But we just want to start working food here. Not Venice has grown. We've got a Writer's Guild in the cap, which maybe we should just work. We need more food here. What can we do now that karakorum has got plenty of good tiles? We can perhaps do a bit of a slight tile reassignment where possible. Can we finish this? Yeah, we can finish this. But let's take this over. And then let's just redo tile assignments. Yeah, this one, this one, and we can just take that one. Seems okay here. Plus 19.6 food. This is plus 10.6 food though. So let's actually just take this back for a production tile. And then in Karakorum, we can just give up one of these tiles for the cap. Like that. And then the capital can just borrow this for one of these. To give us a bit of room to work the Writer's Guild. We're already at 19 population though, so we don't need to rush about growing anymore. Caravan is done here. It's Opera House next, I think. And then the caravan actually wants to go to Not Venice. And then, so we have we have Not Venice, Not Venice, Karakorum, Boston, and PCJ Law's Court. I don't know what we do about Karakorum. I think it still needs the food, but we'll figure it out. New York probably is just not going to be a particularly great city, which is totally okay. More units around Karticulti Ninurta. We don't mind flipping it. The problem is, is that we lose the horsemen if they capture it on the next turn. Which is the problem. But I think we can... Oh. Okay. We go there. We can only shoot once and then move back. So we can only shoot the city with this. then we can get back a couple there. This Keshik can sadly... This Keshik could actually shoot over the back of the city, couldn't it? Yeah, there's a couple of units in here. We definitely lose... Oh, we couldn't actually do that. We definitely lose the city again. We've got another Keshik that's in here as well. It just wants to come forward a bit. We definitely flip the city and lose our horsemen. If we were to capture it, which we don't want to do. So let's just have a little bit of patience. We need to kill this army anyway if we want to push through. Tarnil says, is it still worth working Kailash? It's a good question, actually. I mean, I think we want to continue to build faith, but you're right, it's sort of in hindering our ability to gain food in Karakorum. The city-state is really going for it. This is unreal. I don't know the last time I've seen a city-state push its units into our territory like this. There. Take two shots and get away. Perfect. Okay, that's that long swordsman dead at least. And then we need to deal with these trebuchets that are right here. Almost finished this road. And then we can just back this up now. Probably just to there. Okay. Kill that trebuchet. Such a small amount of health left on that thing. But hopefully it, it goes. Again, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We can take it quite casual. We're not taking these. Yep, logistics heart, says Booker. Indeed, logistics very, very hard right now. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves with all of this stuff. We're only capturing a sewer just to hold a capital. We're not capturing these cities for our sim cities. Our sim cities are not Venice, Karakorum, and Beshbalik. I don't want to buy this horse anymore. We might have to, actually. We'll see how it nets out in a bit. Oh, we generated a profit. I, I get why Tarnil was st saying still worth working Kailash now. Fair. 
Well, welcome to the stream tunnel. Thanks for that comment, even if I didn't use it when I should have done. What is going on here? Like this trebuchet is so annoying. We'll just save the profit for something useful. We can plant it on some coal or whatever. University done in here. We can maybe grab a, a monument would be quite handy in some of these cities. So that we can get our culture up. There's a combo at the back. We just want to give this a double shot and then move away. Yep, like this is perfect. Get back. We can shoot the city once and then get away. In here, shoot. We can actually get our double shot and then come back. In here, we can push forward one. There's a siege tower there and then we get back. Then in here. Oh, we've, we've bought this one up again. We can't even get away now. We're going to take some more damage on a Keshi that really didn't need to take any damage. Not sure these siege towers are particularly useful. <laughs> See, Tunnel has discovered Nightbot and the fun we've had with it. Let's take a bit of damage then. Yeah, so we're down to half health here. Well, we can get our two shots with it before we back it up to safety. And this road has now been built as well. Got Keshik that now has... Oh, it's got Barrage, okay. And we can finally adopt Rationalism. Turn 155 standard speed, which is late, but okay. Let's kill this trebuchet. Get that out of the way. Karakorum grew. Yeah, so now we're out of food tiles here for sure. And we need to find some more. Seven point something food. We need to try and give up one of the ones that Besh Balik's working. It's got plus 13 food. We can move this over for now. And then what we can do is we can just give this tile over. Get back up to plus nine. And we need some workers. Let's just grab a couple of workers while we're here. On the cap, maybe, before we start on our amphitheater. Well, new turn, new things to do. And let's just, like, deck a couple of units while they're in the way. Like that. This one can go in here. No, it can't do anything apart from shoot and get out of here. So let's do that. This one can actually just step forward, give us a shot. Give us another shot and get away. And in here, we can do the same. Try and end the long swordsman. I think this is going to be logistics on this next Keshik though. So pretty cool. And we'll just make sure to hit all the ones that are back and healing. Hopefully they'll be ready soon. He wants all of our cities for peace, but he's getting a bit low now that he's asking for it. Probably running out of units. I think it's going to be safe for us to take Kartikul Ninurta Ni Ta Kartikul soon. All we want to do is get a knight in so that we can raise the thing. We don't actually want to keep it. We just don't want to flip it because we've only got one horseman. Yep, work the sheep, please. We actually have something in a workshop slot, which is not what we want. We want to bail this out like that and go into manual specialist control. Monument done here. Probably things like circuses and stuff for the happiness. Keep ahead of happiness. Start to transition to food where we can. New York's going to be okay for food. I guess I'm not. Logistics in here. Perfect. So let's step forward. We'll get a shot and a shot and then we can come back. Start building roads. And then here, what can we do? We can step forward. You can take two shots on the crossbow and step back. Two more shots on the crossbow and step back. In, shoot the crossbow and away. And then we can use these two cities to actually brick put damage on Kartikulti Ninurta. Which is now down to zero. Horseman can take it. Here we go. Raise. And now it can't be retaken. And we can sell a windmill here. What? I like that a lot. We can keep improving. Uh, Lost Chase says, what is the basic general criteria of when to annex a city or leave it as a puppet? I I do it when... So annexing versus puppets. So when you capture cities, it's always better to get them flipped over. And in fact, it's been a mistake not to flip New York over, but we don't actually have the happiness for it now. We don't want to go unhappy now that we have... 
I mean, New York's not actually working bad tiles anyway, so we can just let it do its thing. Uh, but so generally, cities only really become useful to you when you get them annexed over. Because although the puppeted ones don't really cost you unhappiness, they are gold focused. They don't really grow and you don't get to choose what the buildings are. And they always work silly gold tiles and build things like banks. So, yeah, puppeted. So you should generally try and annex everything as long as you've got the happiness to do it, which is what we're trying right now. We don't actually have happiness to grow, so let's just work the artist guild. Capital's food is pretty terrible right now, but we're at pop twenty. We don't need to go that much further. We can sort out our food when we get around to it. Wow, Assyria is almost so back for this city, which is actually fine because we captured the city all and all we wanted was for the horsemen to survive we can sell the university slot now as well but yeah so generally generally you want to annex everything that you've got the happiness room for the only when you don't have the happiness room is when you wouldn't want to annex it because you want to get the cities actually usefully contributing to your empire declaration of poland declaration of friendship with poland needs redoing he actually doesn't like us anymore probably because we've been warmongering best ballot pcj law's court works in production there yeah, we've gone unhappy, which is what we really wanted to avoid. It means we're going to have to build a Colosseum in Boston. Why did we go unhappy? I don't know. I mean, capturing the city is a problem, but it's not the reason why we're... We need three production to get happy here. So let's just do that and build the circus. Bobby says get ironworks online. That could be a good idea, actually. How do we make sure this city lives? I'm pretty sure we can't get Karticulti and Inerta to live. Which means we just need to get this horseman out to somewhere where it can survive. Which means we need to kill this trebuchet. And this can actually just wait there. Step forward because we can. And then step back. Road is nearly done here. But we do have a road here now. then back up like that that's okay we don't have to worry about the whole city thing right now because we're this is now our territory and then we just want to make sure to kill this crossbow and then hopefully nothing else can harm our horsemen as we try to get out of here let's pull the horsemen back and then we can start to work on probably the crossbows just to make sure that they're not damaging to us anymore like that. And then we're all good here. Oh, this one's got range. I didn't know. I, I totally didn't notice that. And I should have done. In, in his orders. Yeah, let's get the sheep online. We need all these tiles for Boston. It's a bad city with no fresh water. So it needs all the help it can get. We have our profit. Let's just, let's just put the profit on the horse. And we can improve this food tile first and foremost. Before doing anything else with the worker. Anyway, Nizef says, I'll get some sleep and you're doing fine without my support. Good night. All right, good night, Nizef. Thanks for hanging out. It's been nice. Bobby says, sell the city to another AI. We could do that, actually. I would like to get it out of the way. But you're right. We could sell, sell the city to an AI that we have an open borders with. The only problem with doing that is that we would like to keep this sort of line open for us to build our road to a sur. So what I don't want to do right now is... Oh, we didn't actually even lose Karticulti and Inerta. What I don't want to do right now is give this away to an AI and then have to war the AI later. Because the only AI that we don't need to war later is America, but America hates us. My love, King. And that we were trading for the wine, were we? Wine and incense. So we just got our own incense back. That's fine. We've actually got two copies of furs. And wonders went down. We have another Keshik with range, which is perfect. Taking the North City seems easy, says Bobby. It does, but we really don't want that. We want to take a Sur, and then we'll see what else we can burn. We definitely want to reduce them down to nothing first. So this has got range and logistics, so why don't we just do something like shoot that? We actually need to get this horseman out of here. Road, perfect. Because right, this is roads, we really want to get the horseman on this tile right there. And then we can, I guess, double shoot the pike because we've got range there. We actually want to kill this crossbow so that it can't hurt our own Eshix. But now I think we're out of attacks here, so we're just going to take a crossbow hit. Okay. 
Not the best thing, not the worst. And then we've still got some logistic shots to do here. That was really powerful. We could go here and then just do a couple of shots like that. That works. Nice. Okay, so we've actually got rid of that long swordsman, which is perfect. We can just sell some buildings. We don't want to sell the Colosseum because otherwise we'll go unhappy. And now here we can go opera houses as we're looking to push for amphitheaters. Although we probably don't need to do that quite yet in PCJ Law's Court. It's actually probably better just to build the watermill in PCJ Law's Court and then come back for the opera house after. Sleep that. But yeah, the North City is definitely takeable. But the reason I'm not taking it is because it doesn't really cause us too much of a problem right now. And the thing that we're really interested in is making sure that we get to a serious capital. And then after that, we'll decide what we need to do. New York, we need to annex as soon as we get the happiness to do it. So we'll build a couple of Colosseums and then we'll be fine. Also, once Carticulti and Inerta actually gets raised, it'll be okay. But we might just have to stomach a bit of unhappiness for a little while. Brazil actually wants to go to war. Like, what is that? Yeah, Pikeman's just been attacked. It's fine. But another Keshik with range. Yeah, we've got range promotions on these Keshiks now, which is super good. Do we want one more worker? Probably. It seems to be a bit behind in workers. Okay, attack the trebuchet. And then attack the trebuchet. Don't really want to go anywhere now. Let's push up. Attack the trebuchet and attack the pikeman. And then come back there. This has got two shots, so we can attack the longsword. We actually just want to kill this longswordsman. The city's actually ours now. Which is kind of cool. We should build our road through Karakorum, I think, through this mountain pass. Where have we actually got moves? Don't have moves there. Got moves here. Got moves here. That's fine. This needs to heal. General can push forward one step. We actually have... Do we have an attack here? We do actually have an attack here. But I think we want to cross the river with that. And then let's just do that damage and then pull back. And then the general and this general... Or the general and this Keshit can just push forward a little bit. Sign delegates. We'll vote for the World's Fair. I guess we're going to have a decent shot of trying to win it. We are fourth in manufactured goods, so we've got a chance. We're only 8% behind in tech as well, which is perfect. New York's got some great food tiles now. We just need to actually get control of it. But I don't want to go negative happiness. It's five, so we can annex it next turn and get building that courthouse. If only we could get this. Let's try and sell some of our strategic resources. If we can succeed. Two for three. No, okay. Yeah, I think our warmongering is catching up with us in terms of dealing with AIs. It actually doesn't look like it is, but I feel like it should be. Let's see if we can sell enough strategic resources to Brazil. We actually can't. So we're only on plus five, and the Maya won't, won't do a deal here. Oh, well. Got the shot. We'll find a way to get that Lux that we need to give us the breathing room. In fact, we're going to build the Colosseum next turn and continue to raise Carticulti Ninerta. I don't want to buy the horse. Yeah, what is plotting against us, apparently? Is it really? I mean, it's America. Salamanca? Man, Assyria and America, the Iroquois are still at war with. Marble and incense with Hiawatha ended. We actually do want to keep trading that. He seems to be happy about our deals, and the World's Fair has passed. Jewelry also got banned. Never understood why AI bans luxuries like that. But we can go World's Fair now, because it's passed. And then we probably do want to pivot into a zoo afterwards now that we've got our opera houses out. Similarly, we want to go World's Fair probably into the Worker if we can. And then not Venice, we'll go World's Fair into the Worker. PCJ Law's Court can afford to go World's Fair. And Boston can afford to go World's Fair, I guess, as well. And then we can just uh, annex in here. Set to Production Focus, click Manual Specialist Control, get rid of the bank. And let's get building a courthouse. Want to work some decent tiles. Let's work all of this good production so that we can get the courthouse built. We don't have the room to grow right now. Actually, 13 turn growth. We could do that. And then the courthouse is in 7, which is perfect. 
And then what we've got is these workers that can help improve tiles. We need to improve the deer that's there. As long as Sophia doesn't pressure us. Lost Chasers, classic Hiawatha, expanding like a madman, I know. It's kind of crazy, isn't it, the way that Hiawatha does something like that. I was a bit confused because Salamanca is a Spanish city name, but... Oh, well. I don't think he minded. We nearly could have lost this city. What can we kill then? We need to kill the trebuchets. Otherwise, we are going to lose our city. Okay. We've got range here. I don't know that this city can get killed by slams, but it would actually be wise of us to get our Keshik back across the river. But that doesn't stop us from doing two shots before going back across the river. Oh, this is out of shots, is it? We're actually a bit in danger of just taking some hits to the face. From one of these long swordsmen. So I want to try and see if we can handle that. Yeah, we've got the long swordsman out of the way now. We can just pull that back and like that so that we cannot take any hits to the Keshik face with a long sword. Because that would be pretty bad. And it looks like that's the end of the turn. So let's hope we can do something with the world's fair and win it. That'd be pretty cool. Because there's lol banned jewelry, I know. Jewelry is like banned again. I really know the, the deal with that. AI always likes to ban weird luxuries, especially like a city state luxury is kind of the strangest one. He's crossed the river here. We're actually just building our road crossing. It's chilling, building a random road that's not connected to our capital, which I think is quite funny. And another Keshik with range. All right, well, let's just kill some stuff. Oh, there's a trebuchet over here. I don't think we have any more shots to finish the trebuchet off. But it, it is looking pretty dead. And we can maybe cross the river back again. And see if we can manage this. Should have finished this road first. So let's cross the river where we can. We can actually just chill on our own road, actually. Because that's going to allow us to cross the river. So let's pull back over there and cross the river to go after Nineveh. In fact, we were able to shoot from here, aren't we? That's what This is why I originally did it and is why I'm probably looking quite dumb right now for not sorting it. Keep building mine. Ah, so Lost Chase says, you're right. Spanish sounding name. Yeah, it is. So yeah, from the Civ Wiki, Salamanca Town, a reservation of Seneca Indians shared with Spain. Not buildable if they are in the game. Yeah, kind of weird, isn't it? But yeah, old Booker says, pillage it all for gold. You're you're raising it, right? It, yeah, we are raising it, actually. I should sell some more buildings. I forgot to do that. So carry on. And this pikeman is chilling in Beshbalik still while the city-state continues to be annoying. Uh, why did Assyria have to have Sophia as one of, like, all things? Oh. So America's dead. RIP America. Philadelphia got captured by the Iroquois. We didn't even have to be the one to finish him off, which is perfect. We could use the Prophet to convert America's religion to ours, but it's actually perfectly okay. We're not that desperate for anything. Sign delegates, choose the host. We can vote for Brazil, who's our friend, and not particularly powerful in the game. And we can go back to this theatre of war, where we need to do some killing. What can we do? So this is a ranged dude. This isn't. We need to kill this general. Died. Good. We actually have range to attack Assur now. But Nineveh needs to get out of the way. So, okay, that's a good use of this one. We actually don't have any good... The best place to attack from is... It genuinely is over here. Pop in for one hit. Then we need to get up here. And get a shot off. And then get back. And then what else can we do? 
I guess we advance in. So we can get here, take a shot, and then get away on Asur. This can back away over there. And then what's in here? I mean, it just has to go there, doesn't it? One shot and then get out. And then uh, the rest of our Keshex actually needs to go and stand where they should be shooting from. It's here. And then we've got some that can cross the river quickly. Oh, we just went in range of the city. Fail. Oh, well. Let's just get a general nearby so they can have some general combat strength to help. And we've got our road done now, so we just need to continue building our road. Oh, not the mic. Apologies. We can just continue it there and go through this mountain pass. Oh, we've finally done this tile as well. Karakorum kind of doesn't need it. We actually need it here. But we don't need it here yet. Yeah, okay. Well, it's fine. Karakorum can use it for a bit. It's an extra production towards the world's fair. Oh, Victor, Victor Abuser says, Native strike back, lol. Yeah, something like that, I guess. But yeah, bye-bye, America. Iroquois kills America and gets them out of the way. Yeah, and Bobby says, good. Less votes that can go against you and skip the extra penalty for warmongering. Exactly. I think it's quite good, actually. America out of the way is just getting out of the way a sieve that will hate us. Which is perfect for what we need. We are just kind of chilling in city bombard range. I mean, let's only take damage on what we have to take damage on. A worker that can head towards Beshbalik that is continuing to be annoyed by that one city-state. Karakorum actually needs this food. We can carry on sending it. Wow, we nearly died here. Well, I mean, we can pillage, double shoot, and get away. So I'm not concerned for this Keshik, but... Kind of sucks. So pillage, double shoot, get away. And this city is gone, officially. We need to deal with that. The long swordsman. That's the long swordsman dead. Then get away there. And then we've just got this triumvirate here that it's got things to do. So let's get rid of the crossbow. And then in for a couple of city shots and out. And in for one city shot and away, like that. Perfect. We've got another great general. Find a crate. Let's just put this one underneath the pikeman on here. There's not, there's not even any use for it. Karakorum has adopted a religion. Oh, it's been converted. Maybe we do just convert our everywhere. Alright, well, that's what we can do with this profit. We don't really need to get coal online. Then build our roads. We could really do with some more workers still. I keep saying it, but it's more lamenting the fact that we can't really do anything. Get rid of this road, though. We meant to dig this road up for a while. What are we doing here? Building a mine. That seems fine. More production towards the world's fair. And this can also build roads for us. Oh, Scott says, slow and grueling conquest. It is a bit sluggish. I mean, wars like this against the deity AI, they happen. You have to weather a few waves of units before you can truly start moving into them. It's going to be over pretty fast, though, soon. But you do usually have to weather the storm just a little bit. I see this settler as well. I don't know what we're, do what, what we're going to do about that yet at all. Range here. Okay. It would be good to get a vision on Asur. So something like this. And then we got this one, which can... I think we just need to finish the crossbow off. And then back up. And we got this that needs to pillage before it heals. That was a bit of health. No logistics there, sadly. Got range on this one. Actually got range on this one as well, but we don't need to use it all. And the World's Fair is now 38% complete. I guess we're winning it. If the World's Fair is 38% complete. New York can now bombard the city-state crossbow. Why is the city-state adventuring... I swear city-states aren't usually this YOLO with their stuff. But the city-state is really going for it.
We'll just get rid of some of these roads now. But yeah, a slow, a slow conquest, but it's pretty satisfying to put a bit of beat down on the AI. I must say. We've taken some more hits here, but I think there's some more stuff that we can pillage going around with this Keshik specifically. The city set is actually pushing again. That's so annoying. So not helpful as well. As the world's fair doing, we've got 700 production into it, so we're probably going to get it actually. Do we have a Colosseum here? We have a Colosseum and a Circus here. Get a monument then. And then probably an Aqueduct required. Convert our city over. The Maniacism. How do we do this? Step in, get our couple of shots on Asa. And then we'll just use that as vision for the rest of our Geshiks. This one needs to heal. We're being a bit slow right now because we're attacking two cities at once. But we'll get there as soon as we break through a little bit. We might even actually need like the horseman or something to come back. Because the city state is definitely going for a domination win. I know. Like, I'd, it's been a long time since I saw city states going this rogue. Like, the usual way that it works for me is if I've got a city state ally, it barely advances into my opponent's territory at all. But apparently when the AI has a city-state ally, you know, of course it does it. YOLO. YOLO runs into everybody's territory. Yeah, pillage and move away on this Keshik, which is quite nice. Asura is slowly being grinded down. We've got a great artist now, which is good. Oh, and hey, look, this Keshik has got so many promotions, we can now just take March. It can heal every turn, even if it performs an action, which is kind of ridiculous. Logistics there. The city state is actually making an assault on New York, which is kind of funny. It's also kind of bad because, I mean, we don't want to lose it. Which we are running a risk of. Let's just greed schools. There's no reason to not greed schools here. So this will heal every turn anyway. Let's just step it forward. And then with all of this stuff, we can... I mean, we need to kill this crossbow before we go anywhere. And just take this settler now. Okay, so we got all of our moves off here. Yeah, we do. Which means that this one can now happily come back. And it will heal every turn. Because it's got March. And then it continue to do some damage to Nineveh. And yeah, this is going a lot faster now. We have logistics everywhere. So this is what you need once the AI start getting slightly stronger units. A bit of logistics isn't going to hurt anyone. Helps you get that extra damage that you need off to get them killed. I didn't realize we'd healed. We started healing there. We can keep doing roads. Scott says, what an elite squad of Keshiks. I know. It's very elite, isn't it? It's what kind of happens when you start killing multiple AIs with something like Keshiks is you get... These kind of super upgraded range and... Oh, what was I trying to say? The ra the range and the logistics Keshiks, which is really, really powerful. This is where they come into their own. Keshiks are pretty mediocre units when they don't have range and logistics. But it's all about when they do. We don't even need to expend this artist right now. I only use this artist for building schools. This horseman took a lot of damage. Why the moment our horseman shows up, does the AI now surround us with three knights and a long swordsman? All right, pillage. We need to do some damage here. And we can take March on this one as well. We need to just get the horseman out of here. Just back up a little bit on the road. And then we've got, yeah, we've got all these horses that don't have a lot to do. Not worry about that knight. Let's just do some damage to Nineveh. Nineveh's ready to get captured. So we just need to get the horseman in. I don't know where it can go. Probably like right there is fine. It can even get a pillage off actually on this luxury while we're here. Yeah, this is okay then. And again, the city state is making its push on New York. 
Boston grew. That's perfect. This really bad tile. Let's just work that one. Actually, there's a perfect tile over there that we can work in Boston. Fresh Balak grew. Not really any good food tiles to be worked, so we can maybe try and fill up the university slot. And Karakorum grew. It's a 15 pop, but we kind of probably want to work that production right now. And Coco and Silver with Poland ended, which has sent us unhappy. We're back to being happy again. And this profit to go chilling around doing some conversions. And get rid of America's religion. Oh, Scott. Oh, so Scott says I lost. A, I lost. A, no, it's not Scott. Booker says I lost a city state. Lo I lost a city to a city state before once. I didn't realize they could take cities and they raised it. Yeah, that's what city states do. They take cities and raise them. They can actually do that. They don't tend to action on their warmongering desires unless they're like really close to you. But like Sophia is actually coming quite far for a city state, which I think is quite funny. It's annoying, but we'll be over we'll be over and done with with Assyria in just a couple of turns anyway. Hopefully, as long as it does like the city says, not going to take New York in two turns, even though it does have a cannon. We should probably actually try and city bombard the cannon. We actually, might lose New York now. We're not ready for that. Walls. 400 gold. It'd be the correct time for it. Mm hmm. Okay. See, New, New York unironically is going to die to a city state. I know. I'm kind of thinking about how we best tackle that. Is it's the cannon that's the source of most of the damage? And if we buy walls, does it stop it from dying to a cannon? It's an extra 50 HP and 5 combat strength on defense. 50 HP will probably allow it to survive a turn. I mean, we have to bombard the cannon. And if we want it to survive, we'll have to buy walls. It's up to 25 strength now. And then we probably want to just go stand this worker out in front of it. It's not a lot we can do. Apparently we need to capture this worker. And then in here. So we can take Nineveh now. Raise. We can actually get the horseman out if we've got some room, which is fine. This Keshik took a lot of damage, so we need to back that out. Go up on the road. We sadly just need to focus on some city-state, not some city-state, some Assyrian units for a bit. We really want to take the city, though. We can just get out of the way here. Oh, we actually can't shoot because we're... Okay. We're going to wait until next turn with this Keshik. Probably better just to move it over and get a general in or something. Move this general in too. And then let's hope our city-state doesn't kill our stuff for like a turn. It almost would have been better just to get a unit here, surely. Over the walls. Oh, what can we do unit-wise? A scout to get in the way. Something to boost New York's combat strength. Might be worth doing to save it. With the spare gold that we've got. If we buy a scout, we're going to get this oligarchy bonus, aren't we? Yeah, cities with a garrison gain 50% ranged combat strength. Does that, I guess, matter next turn? So let's buy it and see where we get to. And then this horseman doesn't want to stay in Nineveh at all. Wants to get out of there. And let's hope we just don't lose it, I guess. We might. We can trick the cannon into coming after it. If we lose it, I guess we're simming on five cities. 
getting close. We did win the World's Fair at least by a, a long, long way, which is going to allow us to take secularism and humanism off the bat. If we can kill the cannon, New York's going to be fine. Golden Age dawned. We completed the World's Fair. This Golden Age is perfect. Apparently, we've got some truffles in range somewhere. Another Keshe that can have March. And another... Seven damage because we don't have any health left on these long swords. Logistics can just shoot that down. Okay. And then we need to do what we need to do to get the... Syrian cap. Which is just a couple more turns. It's not fast enough. But hopefully if we can get all of these Keshiks projecting their damage. Probably back up there. If we can get all of the Keshiks projecting their damage. Then we might be able to take it on the next turn. Which is kind of what we want. Because otherwise we are running the risk of losing New York to a city-state. <laughs> Which would be kind of troll. Finished a worker in here. I didn't even realise we were building that. Let's get a zoo. Road, road. Then this worker, I guess, to do that. Hopefully we don't lose New York to a city-state. We've got this scout as well. That's just there chilling to increase combat strength. Or ranged garrison combat strength. Let's see if we can tempt the city-state with a couple of workers. Should be able to. This worker here, what can it do? There, that's a food tile. And this Keshik needs to heal. In fact, this Keshik can probably just try and run home. <laughs> Horseman wants to heal a turn. But it dies. Sleeps. Workers cross the river. But I think we got all the roads we need. Let's hope our city doesn't die then. New York, fingers so crossed. That cannon's pretty dangerous. Damn. <laughs> we lost New York to the city state. Lol. Oh well. We can maybe. Oh, and Nineveh actually got recapped too. Does that mean we can't reach the city now? It actually does. Okay. New challenges await us. Yep, yeah, indeed. New York is lost. Oh well. Raise this city. Maybe back out. And can we kill this musketman? We certainly can kill the musketman. Then we need to back up. Then have we got any Keshiks that need to heal and stuff? What can we do here? One shot and then get away. Okay. Darn city state. Oh well. New York was a lagging city anyway. So I guess we'll just take solace in that. This is a bit annoying. We were, hope we were very happily hoping to sim on that city. But alas. I guess the city state is going to raise it. It's actually puppeted the thing. We definitely don't want to keep it now. So we'll just sim on our five cities for a while. Are we close to generating another profit? No, it's 800 faith. Well, at least America didn't get liberated. I guess is all the solace that we can take in that. I mean, it's either take a serious capital or lose New York. And I know which one I'd rather do. That was perfectly okay as far as I was concerned. Although it's a bit annoying. Because it would have been nice to be able to sim on that city. Oh well. I 
Serious Knight needs to get out of the way. We're going to finish raising Nineveh as well next turn. There we go. Nineveh is gone. So now we just need to get rid of the Knight. Okay. And now we can start doing the damage to the city that we need. Is this a ranged one? It is. And Horseman. Cool. Great puppet. And that is Assyria's capital down. Do we kill any more Assyrian stuff? Or do we just chill? Will they peace? No, he actually won't peace. And there's no need to peace either now. Like, the city-states. Reign of Terror is over. Almost. But they're not going to capture the city now. We've actually got a pikeman in front of it. So that's not a problem. So I guess we can carry on going after Assyria. We just need to kill all of their annoying cities. Nimrod's okay down there. That can just like live. It's not in the way anymore. But we could at least try and raise some of this other stuff. Those worker first. Oh, there's Shabbat in Inuil as well. There's a lot of cities to go just like take and raise around here. I'd much rather just peace this area. But I guess we have to be at war for a couple of turns. Let's just like go and take cities from Assyria. And then we have the road connection to the Assyrian capital. Yeah, we do. We've repaired this sheep, but for absolutely no reason. <laughs> and there's probably a better job we can do with the road as well. Bedding post, please. Okay, well, I guess our pop's not looking as good anymore, but it's fine. Still an 80 pop on six cities. Because we've got the Assyrian cap. Oh, we're building a worker in not Venice, which is really not what we needed. Oh, the city state is going to try and take our worker, perhaps. Lost the scout in New York as well. I can't believe the city state is even keeping New York. I don't know how it's decided to do that. Got a, a ho hoof hearted the horseman, which can have medic, I guess. How do we? We need to kill some more units now. There's so much Assyrian stuff. Will he peace? He will actually yeah, yeah, yeah. peace. We need to think about whether or not we want to do that. I mean, there's no reason to peace in the sense that we should take a forge, probably. Although the Circus Maximus wouldn't go miss. Does Boston need to build? Not perhaps it does, but after the aqueduct. Because Assyria's got all of this stuff, they're just going to come back and war us again. What oh. The Iroquois would go back to war with Assyria. They don't like iron though. We don't really have a way of getting rid of our iron easily. No, unless Germany goes for it. Gun says maybe it's because it's a militaristic city state. That's a good question, actually. Maybe. I don't know. It certainly could be. I assume we don't have truffles yet. We don't, so that's a unique luxury. In Boston, which is nice. Get our workers away from New York. Eh, we can just grind it down versus Assyria for a couple of turns, I guess. That's what we're going to have to do. It's a bit annoying because having to grind our way through something like this is quite hard. I say it's quite hard, it's just not a great use of your time. This this scout should just be deleted next turn. Got this worker. Just chill. Maybe scout for a bit. We've got a stacked artist with a worker in here. It's a bit annoying that we build this. Hey, look, there's an instance up there that we can get online. That might be happiness. More aggro and keeps land. Yeah, maybe. 
That, that, that could be what's going on with it. It's certainly having a good push right now. Okay. Well, we can next turn this. See what the city state does around here. B is actually our religion. That's good to know. We have how many spare furs? We got two. I guess we can get 240 gold from Brazil. That'll be a research agreement at some point. We have another scientist that we now just need to save. Oh, okay. We need to take the instant heal on this pikeman, otherwise he's going to die. And then we've got this Keshik, which now also has March. We've got a load of Keshiks that are like healing every turn, so it's kind of like OP air repair. Things that are going to cause us the most problem are these muskets and long swords. As much as I would like to... Kill that crossbowman for the longevity of our own units. We need to kill the musketman like that. And then this crossbowman can just kind of chill for a bit in there. It's not got the capability to do as much damage as a musket does because it, it can't melee slam our Keshiks. And hopefully this means we, yep, yeah, we do. We now have a city connection to Asur, although the road is a bit mad. I guess we should probably just make a better road, but I don't think we should actually. Our city is getting really surrounded now around here. Let's just use this Keshik to reinforce. Six turns to get those truffles online. Okay. I mean, if Assyria offers us like a couple of cities for peace, I think we can take it. So maybe that's what we should look out for. Like if he'll give us like three cities that we can just go and raise, we can do that. So maybe let's try this peace deal again. He's on nine cities. You know, give us Halab. Where's that? Halab's that one up there. We can leave him on Nimrud and Dur Shurukin, but it does mean that we need to try and kill some of the rest of this stuff. Yeah, deity city states OP indeed. Something like that. They just got a load of random stuff here. I don't know why they're doing it, but they are seeing to it that they will. It's fine, this is all this is all dealt with now anyway around here. You need to start negotiating peace with Sophia Lol. Yeah, I would have done as well, like, if it wasn't the fact that Yeah, see all of this stuff is dying and getting rid of itself. Boston is fine, like that, please. Opera house done here, so we can maybe turn into a mosque could be kind of nice. A little bit more culture, let's do that. Even though it's a bit late for a mosque. Then we can turn around for a garden. And there's a zoo done in here, so we can look for a bank. This worker can go build a better road. Although I think we're probably being too cool about roads here. Is the pikeman dead? Where can we attack in one turn? Should you bat en Enlil we can attack in one turn? That's the kind of city that we'd rather flip. Oh, okay. So let's just do some damage on that city. And then we've got a couple more Keshiks that are around just to kind of handle this nonsense in our back lines. It's fine. We can apparently sell cotton to the Iroquois. But another 240 gold, which we definitely need. That's, again, one more research agreement later. Because says, I imagine what, imagine that one Keshik being like, what happened here? I was gone two weeks. I know. That's probably, I mean, that would be exactly what the Keshik would think about as well. It's like two weeks away. I left it all in under control. And then a city state has the city when we get back. Kind of, it's kind of silly. But we're good now. Let's keep scouting with this worker. We don't need it. All these units coming from Karmachesh. But we can just take Shubat and Lil. And then Kanesh and then Karmachesh. And then just peace with Assyria and leave them with Nimrud and Dershurukin or something. I mean, it'd be worse for them to lose something like Nimrud. ECJ Law's court has grown. That's fine. We actually need to start working more food here. In quite a bad way. 
probably working too much production, actually. Range on another Keshik. All right, well, we need to step forward and attack Shubat and Lil. Our worker was providing vision there last turn. I didn't even realize. That's Shubat and Lil down. Raise. We've got March on this one that's in PCJ Law's court as well. Just come out here, shoot this twice, and then get back. And I bet we've got another great general, which we do. Who's this one? Kublai. Just literally wait. I know what we do with all these great generals. And a stable in here, I guess, because we've got not a lot else to build. Bank would be good, actually. And then Opera House in the cap. Build a courthouse here. Kublai doesn't have anything to do. These Keshiks can just chill. Because we have different cities to go and capture. Horseman needs to heal. There's some more Assyrian cities up north. This one actually still got a couple of shots. Let's make sure to dispense of the crossbow that was there. It's going to take us a few more turns to convert Assur over to us as well. And then let's just get in range to take Kanesh. Keep scouting. What do we got here? This <laughs> we've been trying to improve a tile here for a literal age, and we've finally done it. Veshbalek. Our pop is not bad at all. Five horses for silt, yes, please. So we are on 84 population right now. Not the worst thing in the world. We're probably looking for 80, 95, about 105. So we're well on track. Oh, we can just take, we can only take cover on this Keshit because it's done everything else. We can actually buy another mosque. Is that in Boston? It is. Okay, one more mosque. Just kill some stuff here. Crossbow, make Assyria not happy. And see if we can take Kanesh this turn. I don't think we've got enough firepower to take Kanesh this turn. No, we don't. But we've got enough firepower to take it next turn. It's fine. We probably might have had enough firepower if we actually had the general going around. And can this? Yeah, this horseman can take it. This horseman's having a whale of a time. Who farted too? Captured so many cities. And then we need to back this one up so it doesn't take a city bombard shot. Yeah, the city state is backed out of here now. I wonder if what happens if we liberated America. Like what, what, what they would think if we actually liberated them after killing them. He wants, he wants to give us Halab and Karmachesh now. Which is actually perfect. Those are the two cities we want to get rid of. So we can raise Shabbat and Enlil. We'll take Kanesh and then we'll just take Halab and Karmachesh off him off the peace deal. And that'll end that. Take free thought. Turn 177 standard speed, which I'm hoping is a good timing. I don't actually know. Cover on more Keshiks. I would kind of like to do the warpath, but there's really not a lot more point for us to do any warpathing anymore. Rush Ballot grew. Nice. Oh, we've had secularism for like the longest time. We should have been working workshop slots for ages. Over mines. That's a mistake. We should have been doing that. That could have been a big boost to production as well. Not production science. Oh well. We've done it now. The tyranny of Sophia will be over. Yeah, I don't know what we should do. Should we? Because we, we're Genghis, should we just take Sophia? I, that would probably make everybody hate us. Are we still in a golden age? We are still in a golden age. I think what we want to do is switch to schools everywhere. Except for that one city that's building a opera house. That actually still needs a uni. We can actually buy a uni there. That sounds like a good idea. And go Opera House into the school. And then what we'll do is with this Golden Age, let's just carry on. So we've got 10 turns of Golden Age. And that's going to make sure that we get our schools done in a reasonable time. 11 turns is perfectly fine. We can even push our way up to electricity and maybe we'll Oxford something. 
And then this worker, can we just rip up some roads? Anywhere we can rip up a road. This one. Okay. So that we can save on the GPT maintenance. We actually need workers around the city to repair the damage that the city state has caused. And in here, oh, look, a cannon has come back for some fun. That nearly died. It's pretty good. And we are in a new turn here. So let's just take Ganesh. Then this can just switch. And then this can switch. Capture. Raise. And then what is the piece still going to be now? It would be nice to get Dur Shuruk in too. Halab and Imgur Enlil. Where's Imgur Enlil? We can't actually see Imgur Enlil, but we can raise that. Or do we just stay at war for a bit? Like we're not at threat of losing anything. So we can just continue to destroy Assyria at will. Probably. And that will be totally fine. We're nearing some more promotions too. We've got a couple of Keshiks that can still attack. Probably worth just bombarding these musketmen. To get rid of them. We can actually even try and pillage that trade route if we get the chance at some point. Okay. Well, we can just stay at war because there's no reason to not. We can just continue to take Assyrian cities all day long. While we do... Oh, we're being denounced by Germany. Okay. I mean, Germany's down here chilling. It's like the worst AI now. Seven cities, 81 pop. It's actually not worse at all. So nice that we got hanging gardens in that American capital, though. City connection broken. Ah. Oh. I guess that probably harms our GPT, but we're about to fix that, aren't we? There we are. We're just preemptively getting rid of roads, I think. It's okay. This worker can do nothing but cross the river. Booker says that Keshik sound is so much better than the camel sound too. That's actually kind of true. Camel sound is pretty bad. That's that dead. And then do we want to take Karma Chesh so that we can convince him to give us like Dersha Rukin or something? What have we actually attacked with? Just these two. Okay. We haven't attacked with what's in here yet. We haven't. We haven't attacked with this either. We've got two more. And then this here can just push up. And what we want to do is just chop down a forest, I think. Oh, there's two hills here, is there? Oh, that's going to be a bit difficult. If there's two hills... I think we do need to chop down a forest if we want to push into Karmachesh. Which is okay. At least if we want to do it with full movement, we need to chop down some hills. We could do it without using full movement. Nothing going on in New York now. Where's this going? This is going to Peter Joe Law's court. That can continue. We're building the Opera House instead of a public school in Boston just because we want to get that hermitage built. We're doing okay in terms of culture right now, but our culture is going to be pretty bad as soon as that stops. Could do with the city-state. Vancouver's 93 away. Bucharest is 75 away. So let's just chuck this in Bucharest. And then we can carry on. Oh, look. These units have come from behind here. That's wild. Maybe we just need to capture Halab as opposed to something like Karmachesh. And then just take Karmachesh in a peace deal. I really want to take Dur Shurukin off him though. That's like my one goal. If we can take Dur Shurukin, that would be great. Nice tile over there. Jungle truffles. Even more happiness for us too. Caravan 2, not Venice. Finish. Oh no, we haven't finished the road connection yet. Any roads we can delete? No, okay, that's fine. Oh, well, we need to take out some of this stuff that's decided to come running up behind us. That's all dead now. I don't know how Karma Chesh is going to work. It's one, two, three, shoot, and then get out. Yeah, it's not going to work at all unless we 
Take the worker, so instead, let's just kill Halab and then we can just take Karmachesh in a piece still. Halab and Imgur Enlil. We don't even want Imgur Enlil, we'll just burn Halab. Okay, that sounds like the plan then. We need to capture this worker. This has got range. So can we get some vision here? We have got some vision now. Oh, I've shot the worker by accident. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe we should just kill the worker now, like lean into it. Got our moves there. Okay. Getting a sir and bring one of these generals over. Oh, we can't actually get out of here now. We're going to have to take some city bombard damage. I just like take the worker. No. Okay. Well, we shot a worker. It's fine. And we didn't even really pillage that many tiles around a sir, so it is annexable. What does it have? So it doesn't actually have an amphitheater. So if we annex it, we are going to lose the chance to build the hermitage. So I don't think we want to do that. We just want to keep it there. War crimes, Mongols, exactly. Oh, we lost to Keshik. Yeah, that's what we've been fearing for a while. We'll lose a Keshik at the moment. We lose some, leave something in city bombardment range. We got bombarded and then slammed a couple of times. That was the end of our Keshik, sadly. Oh, well, it's the first Keshik we lost, which is actually a pretty good achievement. The rest of these, though, are still going strong. So PCJ lost court grit again. Really nice. Just keep working these civil service farm tiles for a moment. Not Venice actually grew. I wasn't expecting that, but I guess that was going to happen at some point. And then, oh, this is PCJ Law's growth, court, court growth again. Do we have any other cities that are growing right now? Not really. Our growth is slow. Grinded to a bit of a halt at 86 population. We still need to try and find another 20, yeah. probably. The question then is, we need another research agreement. We need to get them with both the Iroquois and Poland's ended, but only, but we lost friendship with Poland. We have no way of getting a research agreement with Iroquois unless we sell them horses. It's two horses for like 90. And that's still not enough. We're on 222. Citrus and copper. We can't afford to give either away. But yeah, funeral for the Keshit would be 9pm Thursday, bring flowers, lol. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Just improve tiles, make our cities actually good. That third city that we conquered, to be honest, made a lot of Amer the American War worth it. But oh well. Oh, we got another shot here that I didn't realise we had. Finish this road connection to Assur again. Just bring these workers back. We might now have too many workers, that's okay. And then next turn it. Horseman over there is healing. I don't know what this pikeman's doing here. This is Syrian pikeman's chilling. Don't know how it goes Assyria. Not well, obviously. Bottom gold now. We've got a city connection back, so we're stopping losing so much gold per turn. This pike is just trolling. Lumber mill. Okay. Now it's time to attack the city. So just move everything around so that things are in range. Looks like the city's going to die next turn. I guess we're doing well in terms of taking it out. Seems fine. Let's actually move over one. Lots of Keshik sounds. I mean, let's just leave this worker here. Maybe it'll convince that pikeman to capture it or something. Which we're not really worried about. And a worker that we can probably delete. Save a bit of gold. All these generals might be hurting our gold per turn. Can we sell Poland some iron? No, yeah, he doesn't like us because we've done too much warmongering. That happens. 
Yeah, Watha is declared war on Ashurbanipal. Good. Finish him off here, Watha. He wants inset. No. We're sorry this is caused a divide between us, Brazil. Why are you just demanding a resource for no reason? Three cities, 47 pop. I think Brazil's dying. Rio is being blockaded. But Karakorum grew. That's fine. I really do just want to go into working university slots now. In fact, working university slots is better than working workshop slots. We can give up this copper to work a workshop slot. Here we're still growing. Here we're doing not a lot. The cap's doing what it wants to. Okay, let's take a lab. Yes, Sophia is after Brazil, lol. I wouldn't even wouldn't even be surprised, I guess. Okay, and horsemen in. Raise. Halab is actually quite a big city. So raising is going to take some time. 62. It also had a windmill. Can we piece Assyria now? It will give us Colombo and Karmichesh. Yes, please. We'll do that. Got Colombo. Okay, we'll take Colombo and Karmichesh. Will you give us 81 gold as well? Okay. Goodbye. And then natural wonder found. We'll liberate Colombo. And we will raise Karmachesh. And we're now 150 allies with Colombo. Perfect. Apparently we're unhappy of all of that because we're raising two cities probably. Okay. Well, that's good. That's the peace done. Assyria is now down to just four cities, of which I'm hoping the Iroquois will take a couple. And that looks like we can calm down now. I think the next port of call for this game is a lot of the AIs are a long, long way away. So I'm guessing stealth is where you go to finish this off. Which means the time of Arkeshix is sadly over. But Hoof Hearted has captured about nine cities all on his own. We could do with getting rationalism back though. How do we get happy just in one turn when we raise something? I think. So we can get all of our Keshiks back. I don't think that we liberate New York and we're now peaced with Sophia. They're very angry with us. I don't know why. Well, let's pull the Keshiks home. There's no reason to do... Um, we can leave them in a Sur because there's not really... We can leave a couple in a Sur and then pull the rest home. Just in case the Iroquois gets any funny ideas. We'll want that. We can take one of our many, many, many great generals home too. Okay. Sounds good. So see, we have peace, Sophia, now. That whole escapade is over. Ill hoof hearted. Research agreement with Iroquois. Get another one of them going. A couple of turns until we get some schools up. It's perfect. So Sally doesn't have a lot of buildings. It's building a library, so it's perfectly fine. Pakal is now at war with Ashurbanipal as well. Everyone's trying to take their revenge all of a sudden. Electricity up, down for industrialization. We do have aluminium. It's perfect. In Karmachesh. Aluminium in Karmachesh is our only source. Are you serious? We'll just general over to that with our million great generals, I think. Let's just take another one over and we'll get ready to great general with that from us, sir, when we need it. Just keep some random generals going around. We've got so many other. So these Keshiks just wait. And then we've got the remaining Keshiks to just come and chill in our own territory. Next, the Iroquois gets any funky ideas, we'll be ready for them. Put a monument in there or something, build a public school in there, doesn't matter. Sell the workshop. And the Karmachesh, sell the aqueduct. Fix our horse. Sleep the Keshiks wherever they need to be slept. Oh, we've got a worker here. Bring it away. Probably delete the worker. Actually, don't need it. Delete. And then this horseman can actually get out of here as well. Or well, he just wants to come back to Karakorum. Uh, anyway, Booker says, all right, PC, nearly midnight here. It was fun to watch the, watch the Keshik Rampage, but got work tomorrow, and this doesn't look close to ending. Have a good one. Yeah, you have a good one too. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this game tonight, because it is, as you said, nowhere near close to ending. But yes, have a good evening. And I'll see you later. I don't know how we finish this. If it's not close to ending, how do we get it finished? Do I upload it to YouTube or do we finish it on a stream at some point? Probably finish it on a stream at some point. But we do probably have to think about ending this game because our city got converted. Karmachesh, okay. It's fine. 
New York wants to be converted over to our religion now. Oh, Sophia's actually got switched. We actually just need to keep this profit for religion defense for a while. The worker, we can get rid of our citadel now. Probably. In there for a mine. Here for a lumber mill. More Keshix. This one can go in PCJ Law's court. Maybe. We actually have this one that wants to go in Boston. And this one comes to hang around in Boston too, I think. Just in case there's any Iroquois danger. School's up next turn. We're happy. We've got to sell buildings in these cities that we're raising. But there's not a lot of great buildings there anyway. Sell a university. Sell a university. Our Venice is just going to look for a hermitage. That's fine. We can take sovereignty. Gold from science buildings, which is perfect. That'll fix our gold per turn. A PCJ Law's court grew. Want to work more farms if we can. Actually, this gold is pretty good. Let's work that. In fact, instead of the gold, we need to be going into the uni slots. The science. Did we sell our buildings? Yeah, we did. Perfect. Horses are improved now. So we've pretty much got everything that we wanted to do around here. In terms of workers as well. We can actually get rid of some of these derpy roads to New York. They're still here. Fix this road as well. Yeah, fix this road. Build a mine. And we can replace this citadel finally with a mine. Nakeshik just to wait and ward off the Iroquois. Okay. Well, we're doing okay. We've got 94 population now. Um, friendship with the Maya. Seems reasonable. It's another research agreement. Friends with Brazil, but they're not really research agreement worthy. The Maya, however, might be. We've got some spare gold. We can do one, which we do. Our city converted. Our Karmachesh is flipping back and forth again. Sell the stoneworks here. Build that. Sell the aqueduct here. That's that city gone. Public school is done. We now need a bank. Or do we need a zoo? A zoo might be nice. And we can start on the hermitage in not to Venice soon. We should probably think about bulbing these writers at some point. We'll, we really want to do it when we get ideology. How long is it going to be to do Oxford? It's like eight turns, so let's not let's not do that. We really wanted to wait until we do ideology. But in fact, actually, what we can do is we can rationalism finisher into radio for our ideology. So that's not something I've done every day. Rationalism finisher radio for an ideology. But we're doing it. We've got that much culture. We don't want to put the, the policy anywhere rubbish. So that's what we needed to do. We've got another spy that I guess we can just drop in Colombo. Or do we want faith? No, let's just put it in Colombo. And how far away are we from Bucharest? A long way. I didn't want a trade route. Did we, have, did we capture any wonders in our surf? Of course we didn't. So we are just chilling with our Great Wall, Hanging Gardens, Himeji Castle, Notre Dame and Terracotta that we got from America. We trade incense with the Maya now. It looked like they want to. I guess we're friends with them because they decided to go to war with Assyria too. Wine for incense. Oh, we got loads of incense apparently. Oh, that's even more happiness. 47 turns until the Golden Age. And we can pick ideology. The choices are autocracy and freedom. We don't really want to go order because one, we're kind of chilling on four, six cities. But also there's already someone there and our culture is not very good. We could go for freedom now or autocracy. The only problem with autocracy is that we can't actually build the Prora. And I think for that reason, we probably need freedom. Specialists consume half food and avant-garde as well for great people generation. And I think that's actually perfect. Do we have any more writers? We just spawned a writer. Let's get another one down. Because our, our World's Fair win is about to end. We don't really need to keep golden aging. We can save this now. And build a bank to start working on gold. Or do we build a zoo to start working on happiness? We need a hermitage. 
Where do we need it in? Oh, it's Karmachesh. But when Karmachesh gets raised, we can start the Hermitage. But now we can drop a turn into the bank. And we need to work our public school slot. We are now freedom, so we're getting a lot of food from this stuff. So we're back up to a respectable amount of food here in the cap. And we should actually try and get some more slots worked in here too. Cap probably can afford to give back one of these tiles now. So let's give it back this one and unwork the horse for a second to get up to a good number of food per turn. And keep growing. Fresh ballot can grow if we find it another food. Which we actually can't. Which is actually unsurprising. Besh Balak is working the best it can. We've got two school slots going. We can actually work a school slot here in PCJ Law's court. Let's do that. And it's 13 turns to a school in Boston. We might need to try and provide it some support somehow. I don't know why we're repairing tires with this worker, but there's nothing else to do with it. Boston can grow. No, it can't. Okay. We should probably just give Boston this iron and... Take the iron away from PCJ Law's Court. Because the iron's a good tile. This J Law's Court has a forge, but... I think it's okay. And then we can carry the sim on. We're doing okay. I mean, our food is now... We now have 91 population, so about 14 to go. We're third food with 245, which is not the best. Because this empire seems to be a bit low food. There's a lot of hills and not a lot of flat plains. But we're doing okay. And as soon as Assyria, we get Assyria switched over to our side, we'll probably be generating more food as well. We've discovered loads of coal though, which is perfect. We have three nodes of coal. We actually had one in our capital of all things. Okay, well this coal is going to become ours. And rip up some roads. And then we want to get this coal as well. And our declaration of friendship with the Iroquois expired. We should try and get that back. Which we have. Bank is done. We want to go stock exchange. And hermitage here. Ahead of this bank. And we're done researching some stuff. We should take astronomy now. Because we actually have two mountain cities. We probably should take an astronomy sooner. But we got a bit sidetracked by the war. And yeah, Scott says Pogface coal. I know. We actually have coal. It's one of this. It's kind of annoying in a way that this has netted out like this. But yeah, we do indeed have coal. We need more growth somehow. Can we get gold anywhere? Is there something that we can do to trade with AI for gold? We should probably just check this. Oh, no, wait. We can we can use EUI to figure this one out. So resources available. Gold is Kathmandu, Ragusa, and Riga. Really? Riga's asking for gold and it itself has gold. Kind of annoying. Our Karmachesh is gone, which means we can now general out for this aluminium that we're looking for. Because we do want that. It's a node of eight. Let's just make sure they're protected with some Keshix. And a Sir, we can get annexed. Oh no, we couldn't. Oh, I've annexed it and we've balked our way. We've balked our ability to do the Hermitage now. That's really annoying. Okay, well, whoops. Sucks to be me. That iron's a good tile. This iron's a good tile. It's just food. That's food. We don't really want to work much gold here. No specialists. Okay. This city is not good now. I really should not have done that. Oh, well, we're going to have to send it some stuff. Oh, well, for Hermitage. National Wonders Other. Circus and Colosseum is here. We need to finish the library, then go into the Lighthouse, and then all sorts of stuff. Well, we've got our Sir. We should probably just send it some trade routes. There's probably some that we don't need to send now, like the one to PCJ Law's Court. And, or the one to Boston. The Bishbalik grew. Work that food. And Boston grew. Work that iron, please, for sure. And we can now go and plant this general. And which means we can plant this general right on the aluminium. And that claims us a marble as well, which is nice. Any roads that we can get rid of here with the worker? Not really. I guess the Keshit can chill inside a fort. That's annoying that we screwed our choice chance of getting the hermitage though. 
That means we've got a long way to go in terms of social policies. We know we're going to get one, two, about three more, but that last one might be a struggle. We'll see. Since he becomes religious, okay, that doesn't really matter. Oh, PCJ Law's court. Apparently, we're kind of struggling for followers. And PCJ Law's court grew. This is fine. We'll actually work this coal tile. It's the one we want. Choose research. We can now run up to labs. And we should actually go and switch to observatories in our two observatory cities as opposed to whatever it is they're building. Apparently, we never bought a mosque in Beshbalik, which is kind of bad. That's why I don't do faith buildings a lot. It took us a while to get this much faith. We now have aluminium, though, which is perfect. And a Keshik sitting right inside that. Yeah, we can't get rid of any rows that someone else built, which is fine. It's worth checking. Keep this worker in Assur. Four houses close to being done. Not bad. Do we Golden Age now? I don't think we do. I think we just carry on. Very well. Apparently Germany doesn't like us. It's denouncing everyone. We can probably just use city-states then to try and bolster our culture. If we get somewhere with this other city-state that we're rigging. Bucharest. I guess that can help. Marble and Incense with Hiawatha ended. We don't need to trade with him anymore. Let's delete this worker. Save some gold. Oh, nice tile now, though. Oh, Pi Lover joins the stream today. Says, hi, welcome to the stream, Pi Lover. This was going to Karakorum. Karakorum does kind of need to keep growing, so we can do that. It's the ones that it's the ones that are going to PCJ Law's Court in Boston that we don't actually need anymore. What does it do here? Oh, I deleted a worker. Whoops, I deleted that worker as opposed to improving a tile. I guess we didn't really need it. Bit weird. Did not even notice I was deleting that worker. And now we can sell the incense to the Iroquois for 240 gold. Keep stacking some gold. No to open borders. Polish autocracy. Losing grasp on a couple of city-states, which is fine. Adopt a policy. We can take universal suffrage for the happiness. Oh. <laughs> Pi lover says, Pi is life caracorum. Customary. Pi is life. Pi is life. Well, welcome to the stream, Pi lover. You can always know when Pi lovers joined. Oh, um, cultural heritage sites is good for us. We don't really... We've got like five cities. We're not too worried about arts funding. Got a bank now. A hydro plant would be good here. Be a lot of production. We'll try and build Big Ben. But a hydro plant would be nice. It'd make the city infinitely better. Mon we don't even have a monument here. This is how bad this city's going. Maybe two turn a monument, buy an amphitheater, and build an opera house if we're really struggling for culture. But I don't actually think we're struggling for culture much. Let's build a uni. Probably should build a granary, actually. And then the university. Let's not delete the worker that's trying to improve coal this time. Very well. Okay. Have we got another school slot that we need to work? I don't think we do. I think we've worked them all. Yeah, because we're not finished school yet in Boston. Why did a sir have to have nothing of all of the cities that we captured? Arts funding passed. Cultural heritage sites passed. Peace treaties expired. It's fine. Boston keeps growing. And then we need to go and work some food. There's another nice tile up there for Boston. Boston's actually rounding into quite a nice city. It's our capital that desperately needs fertilizer, I think. 444 gold. I wonder if we could just buy a uni at some point in Assur. That could be quite good. We need to try and sell stuff to the Iroquois. Not the Maya. I wanted to sell stuff to the Iroquois, please. Four horses for 180 gold, maybe? Nice. And then four iron for 180 gold as well. And we'll keep trading away whatever iron is necessary. We don't need this aluminium right now. So four for 180 gold. And then the Maya will take aluminium. But we don't want to sell it all. We're going to need some hydro plants. 
That would make these cities a lot better, actually. Declaration of friendship with Brazil expired. I'm not that interested in renewing that. We just need to make this city have good production now that it's finished a zoo. The hydro plant here would be great too. Let's just work on one of those. And just keep chipping away on the next turn. Apparently Bismarck is marching an army towards us. I don't think so. Is Assyria dead yet? No, two cities left. I don't know where they are. Probably in the fog of war. There's no way Germany's marching an army towards us. The Iroquois is just being a bit weird. Orders of Not Venice finally grew to another one of our regional. Perfect. More trade. Don't really need to do much with the workers. We can nearly build factories. We can afford to buy a university. I mean, we're building a university. We'll buy a school in eight turns in Asa to help it catch up. We have another scientist. So that's two we'll have saved. I mean, okay, we'll be friends with Brazil and their two cities, 29 pop. Probably shouldn't have been, actually. We now have some scientists chilling. Let's sleep them. And we have Bucharest that we could really do with friending or allying. <laughs> yeah, Gurren says they can try. I know they can try running an army over if they want, but it's not really going to go well for them. We're 66 behind in Bucharest. We can just keep rigging for a while. Not really any need to get a rash about anything. I certainly needs to grow more. It's only plus 6.9 food. It's a terrible city. It really is not good. It needs fertilizer. It needs anything and we don't have anything for it. Okay, we've got some coal up. That's more stuff to trade to the AIs. We do need to build factories everywhere. Almaty has been captured by the Maya. Hopefully that makes other AIs hate them. Maya's life. Crew. Work the horse, please. We've got our three coal. And is that only the three coal we have? Or do we have this coal as well now? So we've got this coal. That's three more coal. So that's all we need for our empire. Is all that coal. So factory... Factory after the observatory. Factory after the observatory. Factory. I guess it can go after the hydro plant. It's fine. And factory after the public school. In Assur, we can go for a factory after the uni because we will go ahead and buy a school. Or do we buy a factory? We can buy a factory and build a school. But I think we just want science from the city. So we should build the factory and buy the school. Not a lot we can do then for now. We should probably, if this is a big significant period where we're building buildings, because we've got 11 turns to another artist, we can start a golden age. Because we now have universal suffrage. And that will get some turns down. Observatory is nearly up. That's going to increase our science quite a lot. Once we've got these two observatories up in the public school in Boston, I'd quite like to see what our science becomes. Boston grew again as well. Boston really is growing like a bit of a steam train now. Now that it's actually got some good tiles, it's so much better. It's finished a school, so we can go ahead and work a slot. It, it would be too much to go and work a lot of slots right now, but we can start We can start getting stuff into slots. But I don't know that we can, because we just need to get the, the build time of some of this stuff down. So it just needs some help really badly. And our cities are starting to cap a little, but we're up to 98 population. Again, my six city benchmark would be about 105, so we're not doing bad. I mean, we're a bit behind benchmark because we've got a lot of conquered cities that have taken ages to catch up. But it's not the worst thing ever that we're doing. We're up to 112 culture per turn in a golden age as well, which is fine. BCJ Law's Court grows. Perfect. Indeed, keep working production to get us better. What can we do? We can try and get a stable here in Boston. That would be beneficial to the city. Are there any... Yeah, there's a jungle tile in Beshbalik that we haven't fixed. But we can go and fix. Just keep chopping jungle for no reason. This food tile needs to be worked. So it's going to grow. Grow somewhere good. Work the coal for sure. 
We have this coal improved for not Venice now as well. Not Venice is pretty low food. Which we can handle, I guess. It's not great. We should actually get ready for statue in a bit, which is going to be pretty big for the Empire. So this was going to not Venice. We actually need that to continue because not Venice is not good. It's the ones going to PCJ Law's Court in Boston. Those are the ones that we need to give up for Assur. We have another incense available that Brazil wants to buy. I guess we're going to get some proceeds from this friendship after all. That's going to up our gold even more. We're establishing some quite decent gold reserves. Another pop point for Beshbalik. Wants to work the science there. And the pop point for Assur. What's it going? Oh, we're on gold focus. It should have been on production focus. And this is this was going to Boston. Boston's got plus 16 food. Doesn't really need any more. We do need to send probably two food trade routes to Assur. So this can go from not Venice. Chuck lumber mills down. Make us a bit better than it is. As soon as we get fertilizer, a lot of these cities will round out well anyway. But it's not worth going for fertilizer before plastics if you're freedom. Because you have civil society to help yourself grow. It's a desperation play if you've taken order or autocracy and don't have enough food to go for fertilizer before plastics. Oh, we can't actually reach a surf from here. Where can we reach a surf from? Trade routes available, food, a sir. Beshbalik. And Pyre's life. Oh, okay. Apparently we can't reach it from the capital. We can reach it from Beshbalik and Pyre's life. So we'll do that. Carry on then. We can buy a public school in Assur next turn. That's what we're going to use all of our gold for. Let's purchase that for 920. That's quite cheap. And this caravan does need to go to Assur to make it better. And then, as we keep saying, fertilizer is what's needed in Boston to improve the city. It's working a couple of unfertilizer tiles right now. Once it gets fertilizer tiles, it will be all game. All good. Not Venice has got hydro plant. That's making some of its river tiles quite nice. Food is still pretty terrible here. Not a lot we can do about it for now. PCJ Law's Court. Yeah, it's still running a massive food positive. So we need to stop sending it that caravan when we get the chance. Serious stole industrialization. Don't care about that. They're miles behind. First to Pedro ended. We were just selling those, I think. We don't need to sell them anymore. Okay, so it's up to 13 food. Not good. Fertilizer, it really is what we need. We should think about bulbing a scientist, but I don't think we're going to have enough scientists to bulb too many. Also considering we've only just got full schools everywhere now. So we don't really want to bulb a scientist until we finish replaceable parts. Which is something we could try. In here, what do we need? Production's not great. So we need to work production. Okay. Now that, that actually kind of does need the food. So maybe we give up the trade route that's going to Pyre's life once it gets to pop 18. My Boston's okay. We can probably find a way to eke out a little bit more food in it as well. Cotton to here, Watha ended. Oh, we can get gold from the Maya though. Wow, okay. Let's do that. That's a city-state quest for Riga. I want us to build Eiffel, but we can't. We don't want to do that. Make Brazil host again. He wants to repeal cultural heritage sites. Has a vendetta against that for some reason. So this caravan was PCJ Law's court. We need to send this to Pyre's life to go to a sewer. Just need to get everything up to respectable population, I think. Let's production focus trick in the cap. White forces for silk. We can carry on doing that with Poland all day.
We got friends with Riga now, and everyone, everything loved the king, which is quite good. Not Venice grew. We know what that was. These jellos court grew. Definitely take these hydro plant tiles. Now we have them. Very good. That's really nice for production in PCJ Laws Court. I'm glad we built those. I often don't, but just a couple of hydro plants. Quite useful. An Asur for food. And where was this going? This was going to not Venice. Do we send it to Boston? Let's send it to Boston. Not Venice has got plus 11 and a half food, but it's already big enough to be useful. It, it can squeeze to pop 24 or 25 probably on what it's on now, which is precisely where we want to get to. Doesn't need to be any bigger. No, I don't want to war Bismarck. You do that. And I think we just throttle down for the sim to stealth. You just got to build those wing tassars, man. <laughs> what wing tassars? Poland, I guess. Yeah, we want to work this iron now for sure. We have a spare pop that wants to go on the lumber mill tile. I think that's good. Factory up in the capital. Stock exchange for more gold. Seems good. Circus Maximus would be nice. We still have no way of getting a hermitage. Ironworks. Now, now feels like a good time to build the ironworks. Now that we've got factories up. Scott says, when the winged hussars arrive. Yeah, well... Well, hold on a minute, because we can't actually do wing to SARS. So what, is it Poland that gets the wing to SARS? Who are chilling with their 16 cities, 197 pop and 3,562 gold. Whereas we've now reached our population benchmark. And right about on time as well, I would usually say you want to get to 85 population for four cities, add 10 population for each additional city. We've got six cities, so we're looking at 105 population. You want that by turn 160 quick speed? We're actually going to get We've actually got it by the equivalent of turn 140 quick speed. So we're on for a decent game, and we've got our schools up as well, which is the most important thing. 673 population with two observatory cities. So hopefully that means we're doing good. It means we'll arrive to stealth in a reasonable time. Our Keshik Wars with America were pretty cheap in terms of production, so we didn't slow our core down. Our core cities aren't great, but this is an empire built to have... Built to be a six-city empire, not built to be a like a three-city empire or something. Another scientist has been spawned. I want to store empire's life. We don't need these generals to do anything. Let's just move that around. And just have great people chill. We've got some research agreements still. Again, we should have a review to make sure we're working with the school slots we can afford. We are. I don't know what a great person generation is going to be like. I imagine not the best, but also not the worst. We have all of our factories up soon too. German order as well. Still fourth production, 253, but not doing bad. Turn 140 quick speed would not be the worst time to arrive at replaceable parts, which is exactly when we're going to get there. Eyes life grew. Probably just want to work the factory slots because that's actually food right now. Over production tiles. Which is something that we should do everywhere we actually manage to build a factory. With well, aside from the capital, I guess, that could use the extra hammer or two. It, it doesn't really actually need the extra hammer or two. Let's just work the factory slot. It's actually food. We know we need that in the cap. Very weird empire. We've got the Great Wall. That's kind of cool. We need to make sure we don't take dynamite. I'm really missing the fact that we didn't put a spy in Riga. That could be really handy for the food. Instead, we got one in Colombo, which is just our ally for life. Jewelry's been banned. I would like to drop one in Riga. We can maybe rig in Colombo once more and then we'll put one in Riga. Oh, we need to be ready for statue next turn. We can engineer that down. I don't think we got the production to not. We've also got plenty of faith. Bogotar recognized our engineer. Cool. We should actually just put apparently our spy in Bogotar. Because we're going to win this tech quest soon as well. Apparently we should put the spy in Bogota. We'll check that next turn, but I think we should. 
Our surge just wants to continue to grow and work good tiles, which it is. We can go for labs in eight turns. Can we drop a scientist to get there? 48 something. 4,800 something. That means we'll get there. We'll speed it up by eight turns or something or seven turns. But labs, are we ready to build the labs? We sure are ready to build labs. Although it would be nice just to be... Yeah, next turn is fine to build labs, isn't it? We're totally ready. Statue in 17 turns. We actually need six production to build this sooner. Well, we can do statue now. Apparently our city of not Venice wasn't big enough. We can speed up our way to labs. We've got our artist. So we can get it next We can build it next turn. Yeah, build it next turn. And then just go golden age straight for labs. We're in for plastics and we have statue, which is perfect. We can adopt our free social policy and we'll take mints, banks and stock exchanges. For happiness, we are nearly done with the ironworks, which means we'll get a big overflow into labs. So there's no point pulling the lab ahead. And then we can pull labs into our building queues everywhere else. Well, the artist for labs. Factory done in two turns here and then we can go lab as well. No research agreements were about to come in. They actually were. We totally bought it again. I've wasted that. Whoops. Well, we need to work production for a bit here. What can we do? We can push for fertilizer. That's what we need. And chemistry. Now we have statue. We can afford to go and work all of our slots. And we're good here. We've got statue in here now. In Asa, does that mean we go and work any slots? Probably not yet. We've got a statue in the cap, we're doing it. We've got a statue here, got a statue here. I actually want to go and work a factory slot there. That's more science. We've got this writer that can wait until 12 turns before bulbing. I guess that means we do get to all the policies we need because we know we're going to get two more. We're already going to get one more. We'll get the second one with the writer. I wonder if we need to go to space or whether or not we need to stealth XCOM, the AI. Yeah, we've already got fertilizer. That was such a waste, bobbing that scientist there. We've totally wasted that. Whoops. Railroads would be nice. Biology for the trade route would be quite good. We can push for... What do we need for rocketry? We actually don't need biology for rocketry. I never noticed. So we'll go straight for satellites. We're going to try and do science. we got our Iroquois research agreement come through. Let's get another one. He wants us to give him a couple of gold turns to do it. Which we'll more than happily oblige with. And now we have fertilizer in Boston, which is making the city better. Fertilizer everywhere is making everything better. We've got plus 30 food in some places. Okay, well, fertilizer is another small boost to our growth. And we can go for full stagnation, I guess, once labs, once labs are done. We only actually have two scientists, though. Not great. We can take this next level policy. We should probably just take Freedom Foreign Legions would be nice, but Arsenal Democracy would be better. We don't need infantries. Oh, we we're going to put this spy in uh, Book Arrest we're now up with as well. We're 24 behind in Book Arrest. And we are 77 behind in Bogota. So I guess we'll stay in Book Arrest. We need to be ready for railroads. So all of these great people that are just standing around on the roads can get off the roads. So that we can prepare for the railroads. This is what we kept a lot of these workers around for. But just the small bits like this. Railroads when we need them. Is there any more aluminium going around that we can take? It actually doesn't look like there is. We could double general for some more if we want. Apparently the Maya is plotting against us. I'm not sure I believe that. But we have decent lab timing. And hopefully we've got some decent end game tech. Olin went modern. The Sir keeps growing. 
There is. We've got units suddenly chilling within our land. I guess we've got open borders with them. I think we need to get some slots worked in Asa now that we have all this food. And especially now that we have that you. Which is apparent it's just an incredibly powerful wonder. Get ready to do all of our railroads. Why are we researching flight now, actually? We're researching flight because the AI told us to. But we can take towards railroad before needing to do flight. And then we can go straight up to rocketry and satellites. We might be left wanting a bit in terms of science because our great person generation hasn't been good. We've got gardens up in our core. Got a garden in, have we got a garden in PCJ Law's court? We have the hanging gardens. And that means it's got a garden. Okay. PCJ Law's court probably just does want to work chemistry tiles now. We don't want to generate this engineer. We're pretty close to doing that. Let's not do that. And it's done growing for the most part. May purchase with faith. We don't want to do that anymore. Okay, we'll have immediate railroads to Pi's life. And we can get immediate railroads to Beshbalik if we had one more worker hanging around. Which we actually do, it'll be this one. Okay. Let's move everything down. So we can get immediate railroads to two cities. When railroads come. They're a bit of a ways away yet. But we're doing fine. The sim is going okay for sure. We actually have these workers chilling in Asur. It'll take us a year to get a railroad built to Asur, but why not? It's production. So let's have... Oh, we don't want the Keshik to be out. Let's just have these two workers waiting for railroad tech. Another research agreement comes through. Why not incense with the Maya ended? Definitely work this. Serious star rifling. We need a research agreement with the Maya. They've taken it. Perfect. And so our next round of research agreements is to come. And we have Railroad in eight turns. 762 science is quite good. Iroquois freedom. Perfect. I think our science is going to be quite strong here. We're up to 827 with a lab in the capital. Then we just need to get the slot worked. Lab is now up. Orcelain Tower is still here. Let's build that. While it's here, I guess. That's an extra scientist now. Asur grows. Probably do just want to work a workshop slot. Try and get our science up. Next city to build a research lab is going to be PCJ Law's Court. Let's see how that does. We're up to 844. How much science can we add? Like 75 to each city? If we can get this up to like 925, 920. Okay, only 886. Not the best. I would have preferred it to be a bit better. But we got the research lab slot works now. That is done. Should push for... I think we can go for some shrines just for a moment. And now we're ready for railroad when it comes. The Iroquois loves us for going freedom. Where are we doing in the demographics? Citrus available from Poland, says Gurren. Yeah, I know it's available from Poland. We actually own Citrus. We just traded it away at some point. We're only 1% behind in tech now, so we're flying. And with 366 production, we really are flying, actually. Capital might be done growing now. We can probably let it grow once more. Pi's life certainly is done growing. Can we make it get any more production? Barely. Okay. Oh, no. That's, that's starvation in there. Well, this is okay, isn't it? What we're looking at right now. Yeah, this is fine. It's done growing, so it's why not? As It's got a research lab that needs to be built. We do this for a little while. 18 turn growth. I don't know if that's a good... I. <laughs> Don't know if that's a good idea or not to grow it again, but we're doing it. Don't want this world religion. Let's vote that down. This caravan was to Pyre's life, I see. 
Probably don't want that then. Probably just wants to be production to buy his life. Guren says, do you still need Sinai? <laughs> Lol. I would like Sinai, but we don't need it. Let's just say that. Up to 906 science. Pakal is at war with Ashurbanipal. Where even is pa Ashurbanipal's last city? Should we get uh, an embassy with him so that we can see where it is? No, it's there. Imgur Enlil. You still need Sinai or Kailash? I mean, in your city. Oh, no, we got we had Kailash ages ago. I mean, if you're asking whether or not we still need to work it, I would like to make sure we get two scientist purchases. There's only one horse tile here. I don't know that's worth building a stable, so we can go for a bank. But yeah, we want, to, we want to try and make sure to get the scientist purchases out if we can. It'll be a bit of a shame to lose porcelain now. We can build maybe... Hermitage still isn't available. We can build a temple in the capital if we lose it. No need to sell furs for like three gold per turn. Germany doesn't like us. What's new? Sell the incense for gold again. We can sell incense for gold with the Maya as well. We could trade for wine, but we got so much happiness, so I don't think we need to. We can go for 240 gold. If we're freedom, all the gold is going to matter. It means we need to build a stock exchange and not Venice. Got another scientist in Pyre's life. Takes us up to three. Asura grows. Do you just want to start working max science? PCJ Law's Court has got another scientist to come in seven turns. Which means we're going to be up to at least five. The cap might produce... I mean, 24 turns in the cap. 47, 21, 7, 47, 50. Okay, so we're probably going to get two more or three. So we'll have four with Porcelain and then a fifth with PCJ Law's Court. And um, any... Any additional purchases are going to have to come from Faith. So why the Faith is important? We should almost think about Citrus Citrus for Leventa might actually be a good idea. If it's free, it's, like, it's a free trade, I guess. So we can do five iron for Citrus. And we got extra science from research agreements now with the Porcelain Tower. Which gives us a new scientist. Oh, and we've had Railroad for like a couple of turns without even noticing. I knew I was going to do this as well if we didn't have workers every turn to like do things with. I always knew I was going to do this. A hydro plant would be big production in this city. We also need to get this research lab worked. Which probably means we just give up one of these. This is probably done growing, but I would have liked it to grow a little bit more. A stock exchange here. For the gold and the happiness. We have another scientist that's chilling. Takes us up to four. Our golden age is nearly done, so we should buy with the writer. And a stock exchange for the capital, please. No, we're not we know we're not gonna need military units now. Or should we build Big Ben? The scientist part purchasing. Big Ben will probably save us more than building a stock exchange will. If we can get Big Ben, we will. Otherwise, we want to build a stock exchange. We don't actually need the Circus Maximus. Boston grows. Very cool. Work the workshop, please. And then we've got a bank here. We can go straight for stock exchange. Research lab done over here. So it's time for a monument, maybe. Monument's pretty soon. We should probably actually... Monument's not really helpful. We should eke out a shrine if we're going to try and do stuff like that. And we need to get the research lab slot worked. Let's give up the factory slot for the moment. Scientists to be slept. And we can continue working on these railroads. It's a shame we didn't get any world wonders from Asa. That would have been nice. We actually have another trade route available. Keep selling this iron. Nice. We can maybe sell more as well. I'm pushing it by building this hydro plant. There's eight aluminium in New York. We could just annoy Sophia and take the aluminium with one of our generals. That'll that'll get that'll be a good own back for what they did to us. Let's go away and do that. I would like to do that to Sophia. For taking New York. We're still gonna claim the aluminium as ours. Research lab up. So we've got research labs everywhere now. Just need to get them worked. 
What, which of these tiles do we even give up? We've got 39 production, so we have to give up a food. That's fine. Oh, an entire sleeve joins the game. Says, what's the game pace? It's standard game pace. Thanks, Gun. So we're pretty much maxing out in terms of science, give or take. We're working all of our slots. We're not working max specialists. So we're, we're as good as good. And it's 11.47 science, but it's actually not bad. It's a shame that we're only going to have about five scientists plus faith purchases in the end of the game. But it will do. And we'll have all of the social policies we need next turn to win as well. Oh, an entire sleeve says, do we slow, sell strategic resources for two gold per turn or is that too much clicking? It's not too much clicking. We do do it, but it's getting to the point in the game where it's probably not worth much for us to do. I mean, we could do it. I probably should turn around and do it a bit. But I tend to pay less attention once we get to this point in the game when it becomes a bit less consequential. We're going science. We should get space procurements. And we'll see how our science actually stacks up later in the game. We're growing still here. Factories. We probably don't need to grow any more. But we're working hydro plant tiles. So we can't give up anything else. Can we work an engineer? Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's max science in PC Joe Law's court. Hey, railroad time. Where can we go? There. So let's keep getting these railroads out. Increase our production. And then we need to bring these over here. These workers. And then we can continue trying to get a railroad over to Asser. But welcome to the stream and entire sleeve. And let's let's do some of this. Why not? Four for 180. We're just going to go for flat gold at this point, I think. Don't need to take GPT. And then horses as well. He desires. And then coal is desired. We can afford to sell that. Uh, three for 135. Okay, that seems reasonable. We've sold a lot of stuff now. Up to 2,000 gold. Spaceship part is more expensive than that, which is why we're building Big Ben. And hope that it gets us two purchases. We want to plant right on this hill that New York's got. So we'll wait for this Great War Infantry to move. And then we've got our faith up to maximum. We can actually faith purchase the scientists now. That's not the worst thing in the world because they don't increase your counter, so you can actually faith purchase them as soon as you need them. And yes, we will be having these tiles, New York. Thank you very much. That's more aluminium. <laughs> All of these great generals. Who knew they were so useful? Stable done. Oh, we can get stoneworks and a forge here. It's probably the best thing we can do is increase our production for the moment. Let's keep working on these railroads. Oh, we're one short on the railroad here. That's okay. We got a monument. The says they'll hurt your gold per turn, though, right? Um, oh. I mean, what's going to hurt our gold per turn? Sorry. I completely forgot about what was going on. I was probably talking about something that we were making. I mean, there is going to be some stuff that hurts our gold per turn. We'll fix it. We need to build some stock exchanges and stuff. And we've got a caravan that we can build. It might actually be the best thing that we can build in Boston right now is this caravan. Oh, great scientists purchased early. Oh, they do actually hurt your gold per turn. Yeah, it is like two gold per turn. So you are right. We probably should, for the sake of correctness, not do it. Stable would be nice here. Sell the bank. There's a lot of stuff that would be nice here. This was food to not Venice. It wants to be production to not Venice now. Archer plants nearly done in Pi's life. That'd be good. Yeah, you are correct. We definitely would lose gold per turn for that. Our scientist, our science is doing well now. We're top in top in literacy already. Stock exchange is done. We don't need anything apart from buildings. It'd be nice to get a windmill. But maybe we just need to build science. Or stable. Stable really isn't worth a lot though. But I think every little will help when building spaceship parts.
Let's see where we can help with the railroad out to Asa. Actually, a nice tile in Beshbalik here. I would quite like to work it. I don't know how we do. Give up one of these river tiles, maybe. Keep working on this railroad to Assur. Assur is rounding up really nicely. We've, we found our way up to 120 population on six cities, which is really good. And so we get Big Ben. That's going to help with our costs. We're, we've got no hope of getting mercantilism. There's no way we're getting two more social policies here. It's interesting to... I mean, we, we might, and if we do get the ability to stack that, it'll be nice to have it. We'll just go for a bank. And this city is more than done. So we just want to go and one turn to stable, I guess. Stock exchange done here. We can build a hydro plant here as well. It's working a lot of river tiles. I don't normally build this many hydro plants. But it seems like this game, we're doing it. All right. Got a couple more workers here. Build some railroads. And this is a railroad connection to Boston. Does that mean we've got a railroad to PC Joe Law's Court? We do. And we've got a railroad to Pyre's Life, which we do. So then we'll get the railroad to Boston on the next turn. Oh wait, should it be this turn? No. We've just finished it. Looks like our railroad's are all good though. This caravan was going where exactly? Oh, this is the one with the, that we built. Fine, let's send it from not Venice. Actually, where would be the highest gold? Because we just do just want to send it for gold. 13.1 from PCJ Law's Court to Grand River. That seems pretty bad. Maybe we should just send it as production to not Venice. More production towards the Big Ben. We actually should have... We could have tried to get Big Ben next turn, but I don't think we had enough punch for it. Stable's done, and now we just want to work research. Yeah, we do just want to work research in some of these cities. What are our best production cities? 78, 82, 56, 51, 109. This one, we said, is 49. It's 56 in here. We need to build the Oxford somewhere. Let's just build it in Assur. Why not? We need to build it somewhere. Assur is the least likely city to be building our spaceship parts. And we don't really, if we're going to do it like that, we don't really need to be sending Assur anything. What we need to be doing is sending Beshbalik stuff. Production. And then the railroad to Assur is nearly done. And delete this worker too. Is that a bit of gold? And hey, this worker can be deleted as well. And just start switching to research everywhere. And in the cap, we can build a stock exchange. Up to 12,000 science. We do get Big Ben, which is really cool. In Boston, we could choose to build banks and things, but should we just build research instead? I don't know. How close are we? We're on ballistics. We could actually bulb towards satellites right now. Boston adopted a religion. It's ours. Good. Oh, we didn't actually finish the railroad at Assur, did we? Apparently, we didn't put one right there. Kind of confusing. Did we start bulbing now to build the Apollo program? It feels like the correct time to do that, build it in Pyre's life. 8,000 science for a bulb. Like, the last eight turns. We'll see if it goes up. 8481. And then we'll have to decide what to do. Eight, five, six, six. It's going up a bit. I mean, it will continue to tick up as our pop grows, and our pop is still growing, kind of. Do we have a railroad here? Yeah, we do. We need to make sure we don't finish the Oxford in Asa, which we won't, but it's one to be aware of. 
So we have four scientists, do we, right now? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we do have four scientists. We've got a fifth to purchase, and then this one is like a sixth. We're getting a bit close to the end of the tech tree, so I guess we should bulb it. And then we can go through radar, can we? With one more scientist. Although that would be a bit much for the overflow, so we should probably only do one. An entire sea says, I, I saved scum for two things. Enemy great profits I didn't see coming in time to block them, and when I forgot to cancel Oxford. <laughs> yeah, that's about right, an entire sleeve, actually. I mean, I don't, I don't do that just because I, I don't know. Let's see, does Boston need production? It doesn't. PCJ Lost Court does. Yeah, PCJ Lost Court needs production. It's true. There's, there's not a lot to save scum about, but that's probably one of the... One of the good reasons to do it. And then we just sleep the workers. Hmm. I mean, this is a definite win at least. The question is how fast is it going to be a win? Our tech pace is good. So we're in for radar. And Asur grew. Work production. Oxford is down to two turns, but it's a long way from being one, so that's fine. And then we need to bulb one more scientist now. Do it slowly but surely. And we can finish the railroad to Assa. And we have Apollo next turn that we can start building. We could actually put this spy in Bogota if we wanted to. And I keep saying there's no chance of getting have another scientist. I keep saying there's no chance of getting to mercantilism, but maybe there is. If we can ally a couple of these city-states in the late game, we might just have enough culture, depending on how long it takes. The declaration of friendship with the Maya ran out. Let's get that back. We can. We can't. Oh, well. Push for satellites, and we want to build the Apollo program. It's 10 turns. We actually just want to hard build Hubble Space Telescope. So let's not build the Circus Maximus. What we'll do is we'll just get a little bit cheeky. We'll sell our shrine for 10 gold and rebuild it for maximum overflow. Bank is done. We can go stock exchange to keep stacking some gold. We don't have that much, actually. Our sir is about to finish Oxford, so we can go for a bank. And then we want to put something really random in there to make sure that we don't finish Oxford again, like the amphitheater. This caravan is done. It was going to Assur. It doesn't need to be to Asa anymore. It can be production somewhere. Ooh, not Venice. Okay. Not doing bad. Hydro plant's nearly done in Beshbalik. That'll give it better production. Probably space on standard map size, says Guren. Is it going to be faster to stealth or space? I think it's going to be faster to spa space, which is why we're trying it. We have good science, because we're up over, like, 12,000. Oh, apparently, we need to sell and rebuild our shrine again for satellites overflow. Didn't realize we weren't going to make it. Let's just do it again. Sell and rebuild our shrine. And then we save this for when we're actually building spaceship parts. Don't want to bulb this turn. How many scientists do we have left? Got two. One here. One there. Okay. And we'll have a faith purchase and a second one at some point. So we need to get up to something like 3600. Or something like that for the faith purchase. I forget how much it is. It's like, it's, what is it? It's 2600 on quick game pace. That's so probably something like 3000 or 3600. Or it could be only like 2000. No, yeah, it's got to be up to at least 3000. We're a bit of a ways away. But we are into the info era now. We found the Grand Mesa. All the way over here next to Lublin. We'll drop this into Leventa. It's prob it might well be worth trying to ally them as well. Our gold is a bit short. It's the only problem. But it might be worth trying to ally them. 10 turn Hubble Space Telescope is perfect. And there's our next scientist generation. So we've got an engineer in 14 turns. 
We've got a scientist in 14 turns in Besh Balik. So we actually probably want to generate that 14 turn one. Giron asks, you're at max science now, right? Yes, we are at 1,200. Uh, research, probably. Everywhere. Everywhere goes to research. In fact, that's totally what we should be building here. Just research now all the way. And now, with the, now that we've got to satellites, we want to push for nanotechnology. And we actually want to research it as well. And then you're Oxfording particle physics. Oh, no, 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 no. We're at satellites. We actually want to go to ballistics next. We're actually quite a long way off. 16 techs. That could be a while. That reinforces the fact that we need to wait for at least one more generation first. Okay, though. Declaration of Friendship expired with the Iroquois. Oh, I'd like to get that back if we can. Good. We got a reasonable amount of gold. Use a host. Definitely don't want to vote Maya. Let's just vote for ourselves. No reason to do anything else. Big denounced by Germany. I want to work a little bit more science if we can. Because we could go to stealth right now. But we also have the ability to do some science, some Hubble. We'll get two scientist purchases maybe. If we're going to do this, we should actually just try and buy out this face city state if we can. Can we? 166 to Poland, so no we can't. How about this one? 214. No. Best we can do is just keep a spy in there and keep our friendship ticking over. Which we actually haven't done. That friendship is a bit more faith. We could actually probably try and be friends here as well. I don't think that's worth it though. We don't have a, we don't have a lot of gold. We can afford to build three to four parts. We don't have a lot of gold otherwise to do much. Okay. Keep clicking next turn for a while. We can probably speed through these last turns pretty fast. Look look, look at Montreal. It's got this sheep all the way over here. It's because it was settled right up against the borders with a load of cities. That's the only place that it could actually go. We need to go full science mode everywhere now. This is actually about as good as we can do because we're working all of our best tiles already here. Let's just go full science mode everywhere. And even give up some of these river tiles. Mark and bank. Yeah, this is fine. 10 turns for the engineers actually too many, isn't it? Are we going to generate the scientist first? 10 turns for the scientist in Besh Balik. 10 turns in PCJ Law's court. So what we want to do is just unwork this for a second. Give it a couple of turns. Boston wants to max science. It's probably not going to be building any parts. Let's give up anything that's pure food. Good, this is fine. What do you want to give up a market for a production though? Beshbalik, we've done. We've done Beshbalik. Pi's life is actually going to grow in three. That's all right. The cap is fine. We'll probably give up one tile. Yes, it can. And Asur is done as well. Let's just pick up anything that's not production and work anything that gives us production. And then we've got a minus eight starve apparently here. So we shouldn't do that. We should just take that out and get a minus one starve going. And I think we're all good now. Maximum science, 1,320. Working research almost everywhere. Oh, an entire, an entire sleep asks, what is max science? You can always have more science. You can always have more science. But at some point in the game, it's actually you get more science because the game ends in a certain amount of turns. You don't gain from continually growing and getting more science through population. At some point, it's actually better to stagnate your cities to work specialist slots to gain more science because of the secularism bonus in rationalism. Plus two science from every specialist. At some point, you have to work so much food over production, gold and science that it's not worth growing anymore. And instead, you should just totally focus all of your cities for production and science, which is what we're doing right now. 124 pot, more than enough. A couple of individual populations, not going to make a lot of difference to us. We don't need the happiness from our cult, from our copper, I don't think. Let's just sell it for gold. 240 there. We actually could need it at some point. That was maybe a bit bad to do that. 
I saw starving, but it's only by a little bit. That's fine. We should... Oh, an entire sleeve asks, as you get deeper in the tech tree, the value of production increases. Well, exactly. It's, it's not really that the value of production over growth increases. It's that growth is an investment in the future. And at some point in the game, there is no future. Therefore, growth is no longer important. Embargo to Syria. Well, we might as well... We don't want the world religion for Buddhism. Let's just not do that. These two research agreements should come through and power us upwards but yeah so like production doesn't get like more valuable in terms of something to do but it just becomes better to not grow which increases the value of everything else cons consequently see if we can get mercantilism 25 turns research agreements come through we should redo those research agreements Factory slot, good. We now no longer want to grow. So we can work a bank slot as well for the science. And then all of this stuff's actually good production, so that's fine. And that is everywhere done. We need to get advanced ballistics soon. That's us, Bulba Scientist. So that we can start building boosters right away. Not Venice wants to start on a booster as well, even if it doesn't finish it. 450 gold is expensive. This research agreement. But it could be the last bit that gets us over the line. So I'm going to sign it anyway. Yeah. We've got enough to buy one part right now. We'll, have, we'll see how much they cost soon and we'll know how many we need. But we're not going to need to buy more than two. We can sell some units and stuff as well for the gold. The Apollo program is done. We should... I don't really want to bulb our next scientist until we get to higher level techs. 18 turns, 22, 15, 20, 19, 15. Okay, so our cat wants to build for a couple of turns. I mean, we can do Hubble for one more turn. 18 turns here, 22 here, 15 here. And how much was it? How much are they here? 22 turns here for a SS cockpit. How much is it in Boston? 20. Okay. That's fine, and then we can start a golden age. Perfect. And then Hubble, we do one turn into it and then flip to the boosters and then come back. And we need to see how much this booster is to purchase. So that we know. Take it off. How much is it to buy? 2590 is to purchase one. So we've got enough for one right now, and we need to just find the gold for a second one. But we have friendship with the Iroquois for 41 turns, and they are freedom. So hopefully there's no undoing that. 26 turns we'll have enough gold, but we can fire sale when we need more. We got this scientist coming in five, and then we want to finish Hubble after that, and that'll give us the final boost we need to build the parts to. We're a bit of a ways off in tech anyway. This mine research agreement needs to help a lot. We do still have at least one faith purchase to come. Oh, Mr. Jarvis says, oh snap, you're still here. Yes, the war, the warring was a bit sluggish. Probably the best way to put it. It did take us a bit of time, but we're on the last stretches now. Don't know how many turns it is to finish the game, but it's not many. Up at 1,300 science, which is plenty for our bulbs. Okay, got captured by the Maya. Research agreement comes through, so we've got five turns on computers. We'll put these bulbs into rocketry and nanotech, I think. We don't really need another research agreement, 27 turns. Hopefully we'll be done by then. We've got a lot of technologies, but there's a few cheap ones in there as well. Yeah, you're doing science victory? We are indeed. It's probably It actually probably would have been quicker to go stealth the world in this scenario. But I didn't actually know that it would be at the time, although perhaps it makes sense that it does now but we've got 1310 science i don't know how long we're going to be around but it's not going to be a slow victory buyer's life needs production need to wait for the scientist to spawn ai seems quite helpless against xcom says an entire sleeve they are for sure 
Stealth XCOM is an incredibly effective way of winning the game. I would say that domination is domination is my bailout victory on Deity for sure. If you are behind in science or you've got really caught up with like an AI irrelevant war or something, domination victory is such an easy way out. Last game we played on the channel was England. We we warred sort of, or we got caught up in a bit of an irrelevancy war, long bowing into America, eventually captured one city, ended up on five cities and then got two captured back and ended up being on three cities despite paying five cities worth of science. Let's delete Kublai. We don't need to pay for this. But in the end, we were still able to stealth XCOM the world and win. Even with three cities, three garbage cities, not meeting population benchmarks. And paying for five cities worth of science instead of three cities worth of science. And it was still a victory. Not that I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet here, but it's more like stealth XCOM is just incredibly powerful against Deity. And we can finish Hubble now. Got this scientist born. We'll just crowd our three scientists together, I think. So that I know that they're here. Where's the third one? I don't know where I've put it. We did have three, didn't we? Oh, we only have two here. Okay. Oh, we've got another one coming in seven turns. Well, we've got two, and then we got a couple more. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four. We should probably actually wait the seven turns for this as well. Okay. And then I guess that's it after the seven turns. But yeah, Mr. Jarvis says, to be honest, I think XCOM's not costing uranium is bonkers. Yeah, it is very true. I mean, they're, they're 100 combat strength. They're just ridiculously powerful. If you get to them, they stop almost anything that's attacking them, which is kind of strange. It's very good. Very powerful. Kind of strange, though. So I would agree for sure. I mean, it's, it's a bit weird because uranium is so scarce and atomic bombs are so powerful that it makes sense that you don't want to spend uranium on that much stuff. Because it's the reason why giant death robots are so underutilized because one they cost uranium and two they're so far up the tech tree if you did the same with XCOMs, they'd be unused as well apparently the Maya are going for a culture victory production to not venice is fine if we could get the turn timer down on this that would be good we can bulb a couple of scientists now i want to purchase our scientist here just so that we know how much it is to the next one. It's only 1,500. So we are going to get two purchases off. Yeah, giant death ropes are... Giant death ropes are... I mean, they're not underutilized. But they're a super powerful unit. 150 combat strength with movement. It's just they have uranium. And they lie at... Where is it? I would love to use more GDRs. But they're just hard to use. But yeah, Mr. Javi says... That's why I love the future era mod. Because they cost nanomaterials. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, fair enough. But like, we could go to nu nuclear fusion right now, but like the giant death robot costing uranium makes it harder to use than the XCOM squads, especially because the XCOM squads can power drop. World leader, we can vote for ourselves again. No need to get trick tricky here. And we can buy another scientist soon too. But yeah, that's kind of the point with giant death robots. It's just they, like, they, they're so... Ex costing uranium is ridiculous, and the amount of tech that you need is more than an XCOM squad. You get value for it if you can actually build them. But it's very hard to use them, and you don't get the power jump ability that XCOMs do, which is what makes them so good. Mr. Jarvis asks, what would make giant death robots worthwhile? 175 combat strength? To be honest, I don't know. It's just they don't have the utility of XCOM squads. Probably more, even more mobility. But yeah, I, I think you, I think you're correct, quite correct actually. Is that not power dropping is what makes them obsolete. Like, the, and we need to wait one more turn before we bulb this thing here. The, the, the best thing about XComs and power droopers and bombers and stealth bombers is how flexible they are. A really, really underrated thing about playing information era wars on Civilization 5 is to be able to use your arm is... I can't think of the right word here. But it's basically, it's to be able to use your army in as many different situations as possible. So use them for attack, use them for defense, use them for capturing coastal cities, use them for capturing inland cities, use them for defending resources, etc. The more flexible your units and your army is, the better.
and XCOMs are incredibly flexible because they can capture and defend and block units and stealth bombers are incredibly flexible because they can also attack and defend whereas the giant death robots robots are only really good for defense because they can't travel very far which is probably why it's a problem but like if it had loads of extra movement and stuff that would help but i think at the end of the day they're just not as flexible as something like a as something like an XCOM is because they can fulfill far fewer roles I'm just going to delete workers before it gets a bit ridiculous here. And horsemen and stuff like that. We'll go through a bit of a deletion period. Our golden age is nearly up. Seven turns in Boston still. The game's not going to be over in seven turns. Because we've got a lot of text that we need. One, two, three, four, five. About five text still to go. It's actually not bad. We should probably think about bulbing some scientists soon. But we need to get through a couple of techs first. Our golden age ended. This caravan is done. Back to not Venice. One more turn and then we can complete Hubble. We have actually quite a lot of science now. But we're going to need a lot for some of these final techs. Because they cost us nine turns to research. So we need, we're need we going to need at least one each for like the last four. Which is what we're going to have. We're going to have five scientists left over actually. Finish Hubble now. Apparently we've got a trade left to go for Poland. He won't do it, but that's okay. We're not unhappy. Okay, so when we go through archaeology... We need, yeah, one, two, three, four. These four techs are what we need to get through. We actually need to start bulbing soon. Probably need to bulb out refrigeration. We got our two more Hubble scientists, which is perfect. We'll just move them around. We shouldn't be standing our scientists on the road. They can be activated when off-road. So let's take them off-road in case they get into the way, in the way of spaceship parts. Like they would have done there. And then we need the gold... From the Iroquois. We need about 5,000. Let's just get another 2,000 while we're here. We can sell some coal first of all. We'll sell 4 for 180. And then 3 for 111. And 135. I'm talking quick game pace again. And then let's try and get ourselves this 2,000 gold. 55 gold per turn. World ideology autocracy. No. Sounds good. Maybe it's like 60 for this. 65. Yeah. Okay, we've now got all the gold we need to get all of the parts. We can actually purchase one. It's a stasis chamber. Is that what we needed for na from nanotech? Yes, yeah, the stasis chamber. 2590, so we know we've got enough. And we should probably bulb through a technology once we finish biology. We can buy our final scientists, so we're chilling around with five. these two parts on to oh we missed we can work research now in the capital we don't need anything else and we need to bulb next turn really yeah so next turn we're on to refrigeration and then yeah we got some of this stuff so we can start bulbing soon caravan needs to just do production to Bishbalik it's fine the so three turns down here turn there and then we can afford to purchase the last part when we get there perfect probably no longer than 10 turns i don't think now about 260 is not bad given that we did all of this conquering six cities lost a city as well so we're paying seven cities worth of science cost on six cities pop the part on we finally discovered oil just two turns in here for this part that's fine do we bulb now or do we wait a bit? We can probably bulb through penicillin. It's only four techs. I think we need to go now because we've actually got five scientists. Let's buy another one. Okay, 
Okay. And then we finish penicillin. And then we bob again. And we use this to get through ecology. Because we've got almost all of telecoms to go through, we can even bulb this turn. Our Venice and PCJ Laws Court. We can bulb again this turn to get three telecoms with one turn remaining. And then that just leaves us with mobile tactics next turn. I don't know if we can actually complete mobile tactics next turn or not, but we're going to need some time to transport this part anyway, I think. I don't know that we can finish mobile tactics next turn because I don't know quite how everything works. I'm going to assume we can. Should we just do Oxford? We do this and then we double bulb. And that should get us three mobile tactics. And then we should be able to Oxford out. If, if we fail, it's only like nine turns anyway. We can just do. But we should have enough. We've got telecoms. One and two into mobile tactics. Followed by free teching particle physics. Purchasing the final part here in Not Venice. And then we need to walk this SS cockpit over. And what perfect timing. I guess we can just research stealth. And hit next turn. This is not bad. So this is going to be a turn 264 science victory playing as Mongolia. Also owning three capitals. One part on. And move this second part up. Let's pause it. Let's see if we've got anything else to do, which we don't. Let's have a quick zoom out and review of our empire. This was a very interesting game. We went three cities because we didn't really have any luxuries, frankly. We had barely any of our regional luxury. We had a one lux cap. We settled Pyre's Life and Beshbalik, two observatory cities that had good production, but not very good food, which means they were lagging a little bit in terms of production, but not the worst thing in the world. However, because we're Mongolia, we went for Keshiks, and we were able to kind of cheaply do about a seven Keshik push into America and eventually take Boston, uh, Washington, which became PCJ Laws Court, and New York. We then turned our army around to go take Assur so that we could own a third capital. Although in the process, we unfortunately lost New York, so the... The detour to go take Asur totally wasn't worth it at all. We'd have been better hunkering down on our core six cities. But it, the game became what it came. We took Asur and we lost New York, unfortunately, to Sofia. But our in-game science without working research everywhere was about 1,300, Which meant that we have more than enough science with our good great person generation, culture from winning the World's Fair and decent production from... Statue of Liberty to be able to get ourselves onto a turn 264 science victory on Pangaea map played as Mongolia on deity difficulty after capturing two capitals with Keshiks. Here we go. Grab the screenshot. And into space we go. You have there is the victory. Really good demographics in the end. 438 production is exceptionally good. And a turn and a one and look at this. We won on 1770 AD. The last science victory we won, we also won on 1770 AD. It's kind of crazy. But yes, nice and chill bringing this towards the end. I do have to speed off pretty quickly, but it's another Augustus Caesar ranked victory. That's quite unusual for a science victory, but we do own two capitals. And we can take a quick look at the map replay to see how the game went before we have to head off. Thanks for the GG's, everyone. An entire sleeve. Scott Nolly, thank you. See how everything stacks out. We're a bit late to getting our settle down. The start was pretty slow. Just no food. So we got our settle down here. And we got another settle down here. Thanks, Gurren, for the GG at night, but of course. Then we simmed for a long time on our three cities, getting our national college up, basically being prepared for the war. And then in around about now-ish, we got Keshiks. We generaled in there against America, took some tiles, and then eventually captured Washington, turn 130-something. And we completed our conquest within 10 turns once we captured our first city. We then turned around to go and take on Assyria, which we did relatively successfully, but unfortunately we got New York captured by Sophia. 
but in the end we managed to clear out a lot of what Assyria was doing and sim away on six cities until the end of the game at which point we got our turn 264 or 1770 AD science victory so jetting off into space before it, well in the real world people were still using muskets weren't they without rifling there's the turn 264 victory right here what the map looks like three big empires maya iroquois and poland all locals of course we own the most capitals with three um, but that's pretty cool so thank you very much for watching everybody that's going to bring us to the end of the stream today the next time we'll be streaming will be friday same time as always that'll be 6 30 uk time 7 30 european time and 1 30 p.m new york time um potentially some multiplayer otherwise we'll be back for more single player civilization 5 so thank you very much for watching everybody who stuck around and I'll see you next time.